Jesus Christ, that actually scared me. <laughs> a little, little bit of a spook. I was putting in my tags for the record, which is why I was distracted. <laughs> There we go. Sorry, I was just trying to fiddle around with a few things, everybody. Also, yes, I am very awake. Well, actually, funnily enough, today feels like one of those days where it's like, I didn't go to work, but I felt super tired, just because it's like cold outside, it's raining, and it's like the perfect day to like wrap yourself in a burrito form and sleep, uh, which I did twice, and I pushed the stream back. That being said, I got tired of doing that. I was like, I need to play banjo. So I got up and started to get things ready. Da 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 da. My day's off, but I want to watch you. It's up to you if you need that sleep or not. Tired of being tired, that's a mood. It really is. So it's just one of those wrap yourself in burrito form days and just conk out. I feel like the rain doesn't help it. Taco Tuesday, no burrito Wednesday, exactly. Burrito Wednesday. It's nice to listen to him while being cozy. That's true. It's always nice to listen to something. Fajita Friday, as opposed to Flat Fair Fridays. <laughs> I'm going to check the mail one more time before we get started. Supposedly my one mug is supposed to be in today that has all of our friends and whatnot in our group on the mug. That being said, I've been scouting for it and it's just like, it should have been here by now. Regular mail got here, but not the, not the mug. And I'm just like, okay, who's bringing the mug? I, I think they have to get a seven, second delivery guy to get that here. And if not, I'm going to freaking riot.
Okay, I just checked the mug is not here, so we're just gonna get started. It's going to show up when I start. The mug will be here when I start. <laughs> Your mug isn't gonna be here till tomorrow. That's not that's not a terrible way. I just I, I would rather it say, oh it'll be here tomorrow and get here on time than it's gonna be here today. Mail's already showed up. Okay, so where is it? <laughs> I hate that feeling. That's scarier. It's spooky. Yeah, let's go ahead and pop on over to the live page. I think I'm ready. Oh, never mind. Let me do a thingy real quick. Okay, I think I should be good now. Get the game up on the screen. There we go. I don't know if that's going to appear. There we go. Okay, yeah, we're good. Ow. I was just waiting for it. <laughs> oh, wait. I paused the game. My bad. Ow. Hope you all have your fun. <laughs> Banjo 2, let's let the chaotic fun begin. Heck, yeah, I love this game. And, of course... It's being weird with my controller, which I think all I have to do is do that, and then... Yeah, I don't know why. It has to, like... It has to, like, verify itself. Like, yeah, I'm a controller. You have to go into input settings and then just leave, and it likes me all of a sudden. That's fun. I do have the door open for anybody who wants to co-commentate or anything like that, so... Door is open. I do believe we did most of what I needed to do in Spiral Mountain. I did get the little... What's it called? A cartridge in that little hut. Hut? Cave? Crevice in the wall? One of the two. One of the three? My brain is rotting very fast. Give me that! That's ice eggs. What eggs do I not have full of? Fire? Oh, I could use more grenade. I wouldn't mind setting up for some grenades before I get going. Oh, there they are. Give it a sec here. Sweet model, I think. Ah, I didn't grab the eggs in time. Frick, I hate that. I hate that with a burning passion. But yes, thank you. Uh, we're gonna go to, um, hmm. I believe Clifftop. I set up for Clifftop. We're gonna be going into Jolly Rogers Lagoon, which is a level I've come to like more and more over the years. As a kid, I did not like it entirely. I thought it was kind of annoying and a pain in the A. And it's a water level, so it's like, eh, it's okay. But as I'm getting older, I do like it. I don't know, there's like a charm to it, I suppose. I don't know. I just, maybe I'm more cultured and I just like the sea life a bit more. Everybody throwing the, the pain. Which accumulates to some kind of love, but it's painful. Miles, thank you so much for the one tier sub. For four months. Continue to uh, enjoy those emotes. Thank you so much. You guys have been super supportive lately and it's very awesome. It's going to be going into something incredibly cool, so your money will not be wasted here in any regard. It is it is going towards the awesome. So I can give you guys more awesome streams and other such. Go ahead and get that doubloon. We'll open this fricker up real quick. It crimis. Exactly. It's the it's the gift that keeps on giving. That's the one thing I like about Twitch, is like you you can like help somebody but like you get some stuff in return as opposed to just like oh just give people stuff like I, I like how you can get like an incentive out of it too it's a win-win for everyone all right so technically oh no 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 this is the way you open this i usually use like a grenade egg and then that opens that gives us a split pad or two split pads technically which allows banjo and kazooie to split i'm gonna try to be as thorough about this area as possible. I feel like with Banjo 2, as much as I love this game, I can be very all over the place. And last stream, I did well, but I was kind of like, I think Witchy World, there was a lot of like extra backtracking I had to do simply due to the fact I wasn't thinking straight. So I shall try to think straight today. No promises, but I'm gonna try. So there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of frick this guy up. Come here. Yeah, there we go. I think there's an empty honeycomb piece on this left-hand side is what we're aiming for right now. Let's see. 
Yeah, yeah, there it is. Okay. Ah, memory. You served me so well. <laughs> At least in the, in the fun areas. In terms of actually having to remember things I need to remember, that's another story. I feel like that's starting to fizzle. I feel like I'm finally at that age where, like, I'm starting to forget things, and that's not good. Although my memory's not the worst. I really should have opened up that icky whatever the frick that's called. The little... Well, no, it's not icky, but the thing that's coming out of that pipe is icky. The thing above it is an entranceway. So, we got some doubloons there. I don't... Never mind. I almost said I don't think there's any more over here, but I checked anyways. Yeah, there was. I don't remember if you have any leftover doubloons. When you collect all of them, the doubloons are used to, like, buy a few things around here. I think we're even going to help Captain Blubber here in a second. Um, but I think you use them all, so I would advise getting as many as you can. And by as many, I mean all of them. Ah, it feels good to play Banjo-Tooie again. I played this, what, a few days ago? I don't know why it feels like a week since I've played this. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I went back to work and time just shifts. Time's a fickle thing, man. I'm always saying this. So we'll grab... Oh, there's a red ginger out there! I was clamoring for the red ginger this whole time and it's way out there. Oh, I'm so happy. I believe in here, the Turtle View Cave, this will be a Kazooie move. So as much as I'd like to do that real quick, I'll just collect the balloons and get going. Da, 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 da. Mobile don't crap on me. No, no. They need, I, used to, I was going to say they need to upgrade Twitch Mobile, but I think they did a little bit. I actually don't remember. Maybe. Um, That's Captain Blubber. We could do that now. I don't think that's very much of a, oh, I have to come back later kind of scenario. And we'll walk in here. He's kind of, he's kind of all sad and blubbery. No. <laughs> Aw, poor guy. Let's, let's talk to him. Ahoy there! It'd be your old shipmate, Captain Blubber! How ye goin', me hearties? Bit of a hard day, really. <laughs> Feel that. Hey, these adventures are all the same. So many places to go and things to find. Beats standing around, though. How's business, Blubber Guts? Not good, land lovers. All me wave racers are shipwrecked, and the last one was eaten by a fish yesterday. Perhaps we can lend you a doubloon or two. Nah, shipmates, but I will sell ye me last possession for just one doubloon. That was about it. Me, oh, hearties, I think that's what they said. I actually didn't get to read the last part. Do you want to trade for the one doubloon? Yes. I like how it says I, as opposed to, like, yes and no. So hard to believe that a collectathon duo of Baron Bird made it in Smash. The OG devs must have been blown away by that offer. Heck yeah, I'm so happy that that was a thing. <laughs> that was the last day I was truly happy. Nah, I'm just kidding. It was definitely the last day that I was that level of happy. I'd say the next level is probably when they released Banjo-Kazooie for the N64 online. I was like, oh, heck yeah. I was so happy. All right, so those are speed shoes. We'll use those in just a second. I don't think my health is messed up. Yeah, I think when you reset or like start your adventure again, you don't have bad health of any kind. Let me try this. Pull. Try it again. Is this, maybe this isn't the way to do it. Hang on, let me try. Maybe I've been thinking about this too much. Yeah, I, I, I sure was. <laughs> no need for a backflip. This should be, I think. Yeah, here's a Jinjo. Got one of the black Jinjos. That makes four to nine. And I want to say that's it. And then if you go outside with the speed shoes, you can like run across water. So I'll read some stuff here in a sec and get going. Of every main Banjo-Kazooie character, I guess whoever has a name, who would you want to be and why? You can do top three. Uh, da, 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 da. ooh, that's a good question. I don't know. I never get these questions. Like, I can, like, never, like, grasp, like, I never, when I play Banjo-Kazooie, I don't think of, like, who I'd want to be. Sonic, yes. Mario, maybe. Banjo-Kazooie, I'm just like, it's kind of hard because I can't make the answer Banjo and Kazooie because that's two characters. So, I guess my first answer would probably be... Probably Banjo, I guess. And as for why, because he's a cool bear, and I have no good reason otherwise. Kazooie, for the actual use, would be my second choice because of the the eggs and being able to fly and whatnot. So that'd be my second choice. And the third choice, probably. But up, but up, but up. Third choice is gonna be the tough one. 
I love the main characters. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say... I don't want to cop out and say Mumbo. Probably not Mumbo, honestly. That is an excellent question. I never really thought who would I want to be in this game. Honestly, a lot of these characters are just sad to, to, to watch because they're all like in a bad situation. Like this pig over here is freaking out. This pig here has three arms. Captain Blubber is depressed. I don't care to be the guy in the shop over here. Like it's there's not a lot of characters in like a lot of these levels that are like worthy of being like, oh, I'd love to be maybe maybe to maybe tip top because he's a turtle. And he had a choir, and he's got a family, and I don't know, that's kind of like your average life. <laughs> that's a good question. I swear there's going to be an answer out there that I'll come across later. I'm just trying to think of what it is. Bottles wouldn't be a terrible choice, although I guess he gets kind of made fun of. So maybe not bottles. Maybe King Jingling, because he's got the bling. He got that bling. I don't think I can do... Let me think here. There's the mumbo thing in there. We could we could do a few things with Kazooie here in a second. I th oh, you know what I need to do? I don't think I actually used the shoes. Or did I? No way, I did. I got that, Jinjo. I swear there was one more thing you could do with the shoes, but I'm probably wrong about that. There is this wall here that you can explode with a grenade egg. Let me go ahead and... I'm gonna go into... The yeah, I'm gonna go in here first. I have made my decision. Yeah, because there's a wall we can destroy. Oh, and there's also a thing I want to showcase here in a sec. But first, I'll stand on this little little step stool. Okay, I didn't want the grenades, my bad. There's gunpowder in here. If you go ahead and just kind of aim a grenade egg right about there, boom! And that'll take us to the outside. And it will show a big gaping hole in the wall. Boom! Give us a second play on that. That'll be a very useful entrance, uh, more so later, but technically we could use it now. But yeah, l l let's look at this. We got the menu. Today's special, salty dumplings, toad in the hole, and seaman surprise for $5. Does anyone want any seaman surprise? I think I will go for the salty dumplings, personally. We can talk to Jolly Roger here. Oh, hello there. I'm Jolly Roger, town mayor and proprietor of this lovely Harborside Inn. We'd like a ginger beer, please. I'd love to oblige, but I'm less than jolly at the moment as my partner has gone missing. That's a shame. Now, how about that drink? Kazooie! Oh, sorry. Where did you last see her? She was out on a wave racer early yesterday, even or evening. I heard a big gulping noise, and when I got outside, she was gone. Perhaps she was eaten by a vicious sea demon. Oh, I hope not. It's happy hour soon, and I'll be needing some help. Would you like to rent a room? It's a half, or it's half price at two doubloons, as this naughty mole has dug a hole in the corner of it. How about it? Sure. Scared for a second uh, there when the game screen froze. Froze? I guess I could have read that, but it's not that important. Jolly Roger was just talking about his partner, who we will meet shortly. So this requires 275 notes. We have 425, so we have more than enough notes. I think I will take what's in there real quick. Oh, okay. I don't remember if there's something on top of that. Okay. So we really just opened this room to learn a new move. Sub Aqua Egg Aiming. When in the water and baddies attack, this new move will let you shoot back. Press up for the aiming site, followed by Z to start a fight. I very much butchered that tone of the, the, the song. Nice. What are these sheets, man? That's that's a that's a time capsule of sheets. I mean, we also got a jukebox in here, which I don't think I've used for yet. Fred, ju jukebox is broken. I think that requires a cheat code. I don't think I can turn it on. Let me try this real quick. I'm pretty sure you have to. Yeah, that's gonna be a cheat code. Which three reoccurring characters would you not want to be reoccurring as they appeared in the last two of the main games, and at least two of the main games? Um. 
Definitely wouldn't want to be Gratilda. She sucks. Um, I also really wouldn't want to be probably Clanker from Clanker's Cavern because Clanker gets chained down for a while. They get free and then they get turned into a Banjo Land amusement thing and it's quite painful and terrible to see. So that'd be kind of agonizing. And as for a third character, because they are they are a recurring character, um, who came into Banjo Kazooie twice. Uh, in terms of a third character, probably I don't know if I'd want to be bought. Probably not bottles because not only does he get made fun of, but he freaking dies in this one. <laughs> I think that sucks. But yeah, probably Gruntilda, bottles, and Clanker. I feel like somebody else in this game could have some pretty bad luck, but I'm trying to think of who. I definitely wouldn't care to be Canary Mary, but I feel like they don't have it nearly as bad, as sucky as their life was too. <laughs> Plus, they only really showed up in one game, so they're not a reoccurring character. So yeah, that's Captain uh, Captain Black Eye or Cla Captain Black. I didn't really read the dialogue. Um, they were talking about how they were supposed to have an adventure or something like that. They were supposed to be a Project Dream character, which is what Banjo Kazooie ended up being. So they they got kind of cheated out of the video game, but we have a we have two video games as at this point, uh, with later ones down the road. They have a stop and swap egg in the background as a painting, which is pretty funny, with the uh, treasure trove cove hole for it. Your drink is very fizzy. You know it's it's funny they really didn't have to add the fizz to this drink. They could have simply just kept it as like, like watch that see that they they could have kept that simply water, but rare was like now nah, we add the fizz. Give you a little bit of a, a little bit of bubble. Okay, so now we're pretty much done in here for a hot minute. Let's go ahead and keep going. I think... Uh, I don't know if I have enough doubloons. I feel like there are some doubloons up there, which means I need to split Banjo and Kazooie up for just a second. Let me try it. Let me give this a try real quick. I think it's either that or an empty honeycomb piece, but if it's an empty honeycomb piece, that'd be pretty darn fast. Let's see. Oh, it is the doubloons. Okay, I had a feeling it was. Because the other empty honeycomb piece will be a little bit later. So we go ahead and get Banjo back. And there's one more thing I want to do before I go into that guy's shop and buy some stuff. Yahoo! Don't. <laughs> Don't you dare slide off. We didn't slide off yet. I think I might be able to make that from here. <sighs> Oh, I wasn't sure about that, actually. I don't think I've ever tried it that way. Try to do a shortcut. Hey, at least it worked out. You said you'd want to be Banjo and Kazooie. In that case, who'd be your Kazooie, who'd be your Kazooie as Banjo and who'd you want... Who'd be your Banjo as Kazooie? Oh, my. Are you trying to fry my brain? Um, I guess... I don't really have an answer, honestly. I feel like that gets kind of... I don't know. I don't know. Not too comfy to answer a question like that. I feel like that gets into a realm that I, I don't know. I don't want to be picky. But I guess if I if I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> if I were Kazooie, I guess I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't feel comfy. As weird as that sounds, because that's a a very simple uh, question. I... I don't know. <laughs> nah, it's, it's all good. I just... I don't know. I feel like at that point, like, I'd be picking friends, and I don't want to be all, like, picky-choosy, I guess, if that makes any sense. You're fake! Freaking yellow Minjo. I'm going to commit collect ice egg again. God. I did not want the ice eggs. I'm tired of ice eggs, boss. I want grenade egg. You know, that place was not as useful as I thought it was. What was the point in going in there? Now I'm thinking about it. I don't remember. <laughs> if I did a thing in there, I don't remember what I just did. My brain, like, kind of shut off there. As it do. Okay, so I think 
That's all the doubloons I can really think of right now. Unless, maybe, wait, 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 wait. Mubo's hut has some uh, some doubloons, I believe. Let me check this real quick. Da, 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 da. Here's some doubloons. That's 21. That's not an even number, so that makes me wonder if we'll have a leftover. Oh, wait, that's not how we shoot. Is it this button? Oh, okay. My brain shut off in terms of, like, how that worked. Okay. So if we go out here, there might actually be some doubloons out here now that I'm thinking about it. I should have figured you were getting to going to choose who you felt was similar to each character, but I understand. Yeah, it's just one of those things, like, I don't know. It's, um... I don't know. I don't know how to explain it without giving too much or too little. But, yeah, basically, in short, I'm not really in a position to be picking people. Like, I have my ideas, don't get me wrong. And it's a very fun question. I kind of like to hear what other people have to say, like, who they think they'd be. As opposed to, like, me picking for them. Because the other day, I think it was, like, what? I think somebody said... I forgot. What, I think somebody said, like, <laughs> Zinni was Jam Jars or something. And I was like, what? What? <laughs> It made like no sense honestly other than maybe like maybe the outfit and even then that was a bit of a bit of a stretch Okie doke I guess I have enough to balloons question mark. Let's just go in I actually don't remember the the pricing of like I think we're supposed to get a jiggy and a cheeto page in here I'd laugh at the red balloons I can collect in here when they're clearly his. I hear Globo. Which they have a picture of Bruntilda back there. Which is kind of funny. I never really it never clicked with me until way, way later down the road. But Gruntilda is a bad witch. Her other two sisters are bad witches. But then there's the good witch that's in the first game. So there are four witches, kind of like the Wizard of Oz. Difference is there's only one good witch. So it's like one good sister and three bad, which is kind of weird. Poor Bruntilda. Her sisters suck. Close enough. Okay. Here we go. Let's talk to you. I think his name is Pono. Greetings, friend. The name is Pono. I like Pono. I'm the local pawn shop guy. We're interested in that Jiggy in the case. Ah, yes. A real nice piece. Circa Banjo-Kazooie. So I was told. I reckon 20 gold doubloons would be fair price. 20 doubloons. We only want the Jiggy, not your whole shop. God, so, okay, the one Cheeto page is more. I didn't realize this. Oh, boy, we do have a few more doubloons to go and snag. Hang on. I guess the gameplay is kind of freezing. Let me try a thing real quick. It might be, be the fact that I'm share screening a bit. And if I were to do this and that... And this? I don't know if that'll fix it. We'll see. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and collect this Jiggy. It's the stream itself in your case. Ah, uh, for me, it was... It looked like my gameplay was going, but not the... No, I'm sorry. It looked like I was moving, but not the gameplay. Let me try a thing. And it looks good on my end. Huh. Like, I'm able to, like, start up my stream immediately, and it'll, like, show me what I'm doing already. Like, within a second's time. I don't remember how many freaking things that <laughs> the Pano wanted. I didn't read it. I didn't read the quota. Okay, um, in that case, let's... I want to say there's probably doubloons down in this water over here. Although, I would like Mumbo, honestly, at this point. I think I can collect what's down here without Mumbo for a second. I want to say there's a few doubloons off in this direction. Oh, here we are. Thank God. I was like, oh, I'm not crazy. Which, by the way, um, for those who obviously, I say obviously, but most people know that I love G Fuel. Um, they uh, released, or are going to release in April, it's a pre-order coming up soon, of Conker's Bad Fur Day getting a drink. 
and it's the great mighty it's mighty poo flavored which sounds terrible but it's literally just the uh, some kind of tropical corn soda which i've never heard of till today so that's interesting i'm gonna be getting it because i'm a freaking sheep and i need to try it but will it be good that's a great question I'm taking one for the team. I got. I gotta try it. I see rareware. I buy rareware. How much for the worthless old page? Far from worthless, my friend. I was told that page comes from the legendary Cheeto book. Are you sure? Yo, yes. I'm afraid I won't take less than five doubloons for it. I think that's what I have now. So I see. We'll take it, good sir. Welcome back. The page is still available if you want it. I'm sure it would still be here next year. It would still be five doubloons. Do I have a sale? What do you say? Sure. Right, friend. Let's see some gold. There are loads. God bless. I'm going to get out my phone because it's going to bug me if I don't know if it's a me thing or... Let me check. Yeah, it's like working flawlessly on my phone. I'm gonna just keep going. I'm gonna just keep going. It's one of those things like, I feel bad because like if it is a me thing, I, I have to look into it. So, I'm sorry in advance. It could easily be like Twitch, it could be internet provider, it could be hardware, it could be somebody, it could be me, it could be you. It could be Auntie Ann, the pretzel lady. Who knows? Actually, I don't know if that's a pretzel lady. Every time I hear Anians or Anians or whatever you call it, um, I know it's a pretzel place, but it's also like, is that a person? I, I actually don't know the history behind that place. Okay. So now I've got the Cheeto page. What is our start so far? Usually I collect everything on land first as much as I can. One Jiggy, one Empty Hennigan piece, one Cheeto page, one out of two Globo, 16 notes. You get a lot of the notes on land. Two out of five Jinjos and one out of three moves learned. So that's pretty solid so far. Um, I don't need to go in there anymore. I wouldn't mind visiting Mumbo. Mumbo sounds like a fella who could help us out right about now. So let's go do that real quick. And then I guess I'll learn Kazooie's one move before we go underwater. I think that's what I'll do. Under the sea. Under the sea. Da 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 da. da. The rest is the, the yeah. <laughs> sure. What the frick was that? Was that my dog crying? That sounded like a cry, my guy. The big baby. Are we actually Mumbo's head? Yeah, he's his hut is always a uh. The, the, the shape of his head, like a skull. It's like a skull hut. And in the witchy world level and part of Cloud Cuckoo Land, he's got like a devil version of it with a bluish one that's like representing the good guys slash heaven. I don't know, Cloud Cuckoo Land's a whole nother thing. But yeah, usually it's like this like mumbo shaped skull head. Yeah, that's right, he's full of himself. He's gotta have a house shaped like his freaking head. I guess Tails does that in Sonic Battle, but like, I feel like with Tails, it's, like, tasteful. With Mumbo, it's, like... Man, you fool yourself right there. <laughs> Tails is just a... He's a kid, man. Who wouldn't want to make a house that looks like them? I Well, okay, actually, I don't think I'd want a house that looks like me. That's kind of stupid. Actually, come to think of it, that is kind of stupid. Who would want a house that looks like them? That, that'd just be weird. Maybe, maybe your character, but, like... Imagine, like, a, a house that looks like you. I feel like they'd just be disturbing. I don't even know how you pull it off. It'd be weird. Mumbo Shine, big light on water. It now has plenty of oxygen. So this is the one Banjo-Kazooie slash 2E slash... Well, no. Okay, I'm just going to make it simple. It's the one banjo 2 e level where you can breathe as much as you want. Mumbo literally leaves his hut and only has one purpose, and that is to give you oxygen in the ocean. So we don't have air bubbles in this particular level. We can swim as much as we want, which I feel like was a smart choice for the developers to do. Give you a water level where you don't feel like you're going to drown, but you can just continuously swim. I think that makes it interesting. Cool. I have one. I, I took a meeting. When did I take a meeting? 
<laughs> I don't remember taking a beating. Oh, well. We, we can heal up shortly. Upside to that, you'll never confuse your house for another. That's true. Kind of like when people make their house pink for some reason. It's like, well, chances are you'll know what your house is. Fair enough. We'll not argue with that. And then I think I told myself I'd switch out for Kazooie here. There we go. Let's go get that move. I want to say the move we're getting right now is the... I'm going to say it's an attack move. I don't think it's a flight one yet. I could be wrong. Yeah, I, I think that's the case. Let's check it out. Wing Whack. You've lost the safety that Banjo brings. Defend yourself now with your wings. Whirl them around by pressing B. A useful attack. I think you'll agree. That'll be all. Dismissed. Sweet. All right, so now we can, yeah, we can do that. You can do it on ground or in the air, which kind of gives you a bit of air for a second. Although I guess your flapping would probably be a bit better for a sec. Well, actually you can combo it. Let me try this. So you can go, if I can do this right, here we go. You flap, then you wing. Gives you a little bit of a uh, little bit of air there. It's not quite the flying we'll get here shortly, but it's better than nothing. Okay, so now I think that's all that I can do on land for right now. So we are actually going to go ahead and dive into the water. This is the part of Jolly Rogers Lagoon that I would argue is like the meat and potatoes of the level. Granted, uh, I prefer the land segment just because it's, it's pretty straightforward. Here it's going to be a bit more... Uh, what's the word? What is the word I'm looking for here? Well, first, let's go ahead and get out some eggs. I think I'll use ice. Ice eggs get used a lot underwater. If I can aim. I might need to change my controls at some point for when we do the crispy bacon segment. Just... Is that a note I saw? Or am I crazy? Nah, I am crazy. There's a crispy bacon section that we gotta do, which is like about this pig who's trying to take pictures. If my control stick is so sensitive that I can't do that mission very well, I might have to change the analog controls real quick just because i feel like that could get difficult real quick i know i know a bit of a what's the word a i don't want to say a cheat but like a an easier way to do the battle uh but even with a, a sensitive control stick that could still be difficult not playing this on that real hardware like i'd like to i'm gonna be testing out my n64 sometime in the future to make sure like hey you good maybe it was just that one day but it did not like me when I streamed Diddy Kong Racing back in September. Here we go. Let's go ahead and speed up. Gotta freeze that octopus to get through. I do like the music here, though. It's kind of relaxing. Certain segments that I like the variant of the song. That's the one thing I like about Banjo, too. He's like, you, you can get to like certain parts of the level, and like the song... Well, Kazumi does it, too. But, like... You get to a certain part of a level, and it's like, it's the same song, but a different, like, set of instruments or tempo. It's really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and collect those. That was great timing. Granted, I'm not dying for ice eggs, but a refill is never bad. Go ahead and take that warp pad. That'll be super handy to get back to land. So we got that going for us now. I want to say there's a an empty honeycomb piece here. Hello. Ain't gonna say no to that. Boom. Got number three. I think we needed six for the next energy unit, but I don't remember. Something like that. Let's go in here first. <laughs> I can never remember these rooms by heart. I think, like, maybe one building I know, but, like, the rest of them, just like, oh, what does this lead to again? A wall. You are dangerous, my friend. You're an electric eel. Stay away from me. Oh, God. This better not be a... I can only learn this with one character move or I'm gonna cry. Let's see. Okay, yeah, we can learn this. Let's see. Talon Torpedo. Z launches bird. Just watch her go through the water like a torpedo. Control stick to steer in A for speed. B to cancel if it's banjo you need. That'll be all. One day you'll hit your silo, good sir. Okay. So now if I dive into the water again, we can go ahead and turn Kazooie into a torpedo. This will actually open up a few things for some previous levels that I need to go back to. I might do a little bit of backtracking before we end the stream, but I shall see. Uh, which, by the way, today's goal is uh, 30 jiggies. We had 30 last time. We're going to try to do 30 tonight. 
and uh, just kind of do 30 each stream. I think it's a pretty solid number. Although, if we get more, then that's fine. Later jiggies are going to take longer, and, you know, obviously the game gets harder. So, it's fine if we don't quite... If we go over the 30 quota... That is the worst time to ever try at the torpedo, just now. It's for it to embarrass me like that. The torpedo is a little strange, by the way. So, I shall try to do this to my best ability. But, like, Kazooie can literally phase through things. Ah, it's very sensitive. I need to change the, the sensitivity on the control stick. Here, let me get a little further away. Go ahead and let Kazooie do that again. Yeah, you're going to be up here. There we go. Said Shiggy number 32. I don't think I can just kind of swoop in here and grab this, but let me try. Ah, I thought I was on something there for a sec. Oh, wait, that's right. I think there's a Kazooie thingy that I can reach with this. Oh, no, wait, that's the alien ship I'm thinking of. Okay, Kazooie's going to go back now. That's okay. So, now that we've done that, I think there's a puzzle to open this door. So, it's going to be... It's kind of that God of War symbol. So, we're going to go ahead and say Horseshoe 2, Triangle 3, Horseshoe 2. So, Horseshoe 2, Triangle. Sorry if that's a weird way of saying it. Horseshoe 2, Triangle. So, that's going to be... This one. Ah, frick off, dude. I'm trying to think. <laughs> Horseshoe 2... Did that not? It sounded like it didn't. There we go. Two. I think it was triangle. And then it was three. And I want to say it was horseshoe and then two. So that's going to be... Luckily, you don't get timed on this. So if you need to take your time, that's fine. And then it's going to be two. There we go. That'll open that lovely door. Oh, that's the one with the piranha on it. So that's going to be the crispy bacon section. I think I'm going to hold off on that for at least a second. That way you guys get a decent show for a while until I can get truly angry. Maybe I'll get used to the control stick a bit more between now and then. Who knows? The water's the limit. I would say the sky, but we can't see that right now. Boom. All right, let's go in here. This is a pretty safe bet of a location. We can get some stuff down here. I think so far I'm not doing too bad. I mean, we just started, but I don't think I'm doing too terrible. Okay, here we go. Donk. Is that some health? I guess we need to take a, a few hits here and there. I need to, need to heal up a bit. There is a Cheeto page there, which will require me to... I'm going to freeze you real quick. Doink. Nice. That's satisfying. Black Jinjo, which I believe is a fake. Gonna freeze you right there, bucko. Boom. Dead. Okie doke. So let's see. There's a split pad here. Banjo has no use here, I believe. So let's go ahead and switch over to Kazooie. I think they expect you to have the flight move to be able to do this. But I, th I want to say this isn't a Banjo section. I could be wrong. I want to say it was like... Oh, can I not backflip yet? I don't know why I thought I could. Never mind. Ow. I might be able to pull this off as banjo. I just don't remember. Might have to come back, honestly. Let's see. Let's give it a whirl. Ow. There we go. Oh, no. Ah, I hate how they never give empty hunting pieces sometimes. Nothing again. They're like, no healing. Although I wouldn't mind doing like a challenge someday where you don't get to heal on Banjo Kazooie or Tui. That'd be fun. I feel like someone like me would actually be into that for once. Okay, yeah, this was a Banjo thing. So we can grab that Cheeto page. Kind of jump over the eels real quick. Do not wish to become Kentucky Fried Chicken today. That KFC death. Will you give health? You sure do. Then I'll combine with Kazooie, I think. Yeah, that's about right with health. Okay. Sometimes the health gets a little finicky when you split them up. Doink. I'll take that. Yeah, this place was fairly simple. You really just come in here for the Cheeto page, which is a bit of a... Now that I'm thinking about it, a bit of a complaint here, but that is a boring room. Also, did I really have to take two things of damage with that eel? That's not cool. That is an, uh, a certified stupid gamer moment. 
Which I believe, by the way, these fish that you see with the uh, the transparent fish, they are, I want to say, randomized. So sometimes they'll have the jiggy here, sometimes they'll have it be, I think, what's it called? Um, the empty honeycomb piece, etc., etc. I want to say that's the case, but I don't remember. How's your day going? Not too bad. A little bit of a cozy day, honestly. I kind of just ended up laying in bed longer than I really had to. I told myself, I'll start stream today at 3, but then I was like, eh, I'll make it 4. Then it was like a little after 4, but eh, that's okay. Truth be told, I don't think I'm going to do streams at 3 p.m. anymore, unless it's Saturday or Sunday. Just because, like, not everybody is off of work or school or anything like that after 3. And I'm just like, I should probably start around like 4 or 5. So I think going forward, I'm going to try to stick with, like, 4 to 5 p.m. streams. Weekdays. If not, later at night, like we've done with collabs. Except it's about 3 three p.m. Just, it ain't it, chief. Give me them grenades. Oh, I already have that. What am I saying? This place is green, dude. Like, well, it's green. They got green moss. You got green jump pad. You got green visuals. You got green everywhere. Today's been quiet. Yeah, I feel that. I, I have come to realize with my job, it's a bit of a blessing and a curse where it's like, I love working earlier in the day because I get all my stuff done out of the way and, you know, I can have the rest of the day to myself. I like that and I get to interact with my coworkers that are at least the fun ones I get to talk with. That being said, I cannot stand getting off of work at like 3 p.m. in the regard that like, I'll come home and be like, hey, I'm gonna make some tweets. Hey, I'm gonna share stuff on the server. And like everybody is like so quiet because nobody says or does that much until like, I think like maybe three or four hours later, maybe even more than that. And I'm just sitting there like, by the time everyone's like, hey, everyone, how's it going? Hi, hi, how's it going? I'm just in bed like, I'm already ready to end my day. <laughs> I'm tired, boss. I'm up and at him early. So we got a yellow Jinjo, I think. Yeah, we only got one more of those left. That's great news. That is awesome. Which means if we find one more yellow Jinjo, that'll be like a gold Jiggy. And we do like our Jiggies here. Okie doke. We did need to come to this side. I'm going to go ahead and wait for some ice eggs. I do believe I needed some of those. I almost did that. Ooh, give it a sec. There we go. Fill up on ice eggs all the way. Oh my god, I almost, I almost did that. Okay. Oh, one thing I've been really happy about lately is, like, I've been on an itch to play, like, N64 games and whatnot. And it's, like, this with the combination of, like, Banjo- oh, yeah, Banjo-Tooie, Ocarina of Time, Randomizer, and I think I did Diddy Kong Racing the other day, or at least a good couple days back. Um, I am getting- I am getting the fix that I've been needing for a while. I love the N64, and I'm playing some of the best ones, honestly. One- one in multiplayer form, which is such a treat. Yeah, eating good. I am gonna blow your teeth out, good sir. Well, I got two teeth. <laughs> you actually do have to knock out this guy's teeth, for the record. Man, we getting that real deal in 64 slow down. Attack your hit. Okay, here we go. Eventually, it'll knock out one of the teeth. For fuck's sake, I miss all of those. Go ahead and speed up again. I don't think they'll go to the right, so I'm going to go as far back here as I can. There's a few N64 games I want to crack at, like Killer Instinct, Gold Nine, maybe multiplayer Mario 64. Yeah, Mario 64 is definitely one I want to play. The other two I wouldn't say no to. How could I? Dude, did you really? I didn't even know that was a direction you can go in. Frick you. Did I knock out that other tooth? I couldn't tell. I think I did. Which means I just gotta knock out one more tooth. I sure hope I don't miss. It's on the other side. I, I gotta, gotta get a little further around. This segment's very Jabu Jabu. There's something about the N64 and being eaten by fish. Take that as you will, Internet. Will that do it? Oh, frick off. Really? None of the owl played myself that's it give me here we'll try this on for size i hope this works yeah i did it i had to get a little aggressive there but it works 
Nice, went inside. Certified rare moment. I think they're all like, you can swim in 3D now. <laughs> Get eaten by fish. <laughs> it's only cool now that we're in 3D. God, this place is fleshed out. I will take some health. Oh, there's a Jinjo in here. I'm gonna guess that this Jinjo, well, maybe it's to the right. I'm gonna guess that the Jinjo, okay, I'm on my way. I'm gonna guess the Jinjo to my right is going to be, let's check the colors real quick. I'm gonna say blue. I can see it being blue. The second choice will be green. Yes, I know those are my colors. I wanted to say yellow originally because that would have been so cool and you can get a jiggy. Okay, I got a jiggy. I swear on my soul I was going to say yellow because I thought how cool would it be to fight the odds. But I, I went against it. I told myself, what what are the chances? Yeah, yeah, that's a pipe dream. It sure was. Now I'm sad that I didn't say it out loud. Dang it. Could have had that on recording. Uh, you must be the rescue party. Only if the price is right. I'm Mary Maggie, partner of Jolly Roger. I was out on one of Blubber's wave racers when the fish knocked me off and swallowed me. The fish's mouth is open now, so you don't have to stay in here. That's lovely. It's soon to be happy hour at the end, and Jolly will be needing some relief. Any chance of a jiggy? Oh, see Jolly about that. I'm sure he'll give you one. There they go. Living their best life. Nice. So we'll get our Jiggy here shortly. I wouldn't mind some more feathers. Wait a second. Thank you. Quite the run animation. It really is. They got a, they got a bit of a strut. I think we're done being in here. All you really get is a Jiggy and you save the partner. Which is fine. Because that'll end up being a Jiggy later. Technically speaking, in a sense, we got two Jiggies in here. So that's awesome. Not too shabby. Oh my god, that face. That's a pog. I'm not even joking either. Um, I want to say I'll go this way. Oh, the teeth are still here on the ground. It's kind of fricked up. Did we get the teleporting pad? We did. Okay. Teleporting pad's here, so if we need to come back, we can. I'm going to go this way instead. Because I think this might wrap around somewhere. I kind of want to check it out. Ice eggs. I could really use more grenades. There we go. We'll go first person for a sec. Until I'm comfortable enough. You know, we're not doing too terrible so far. I say this as I've yet to do the crispy bacon section. I also kind of forgot about this area. Don't touch me. Those octopuses. <laughs> the octo. Give me that. Oh, but which by the way, I love the lockers here because I believe they do have names that are associated with like the devs and whatnot. So I want to say there's a Grant Kirkup one around here. There's Davy Jones. You gotta have a Davy Jones locker, to be fair. D Jones. Or unless it's actually somebody named D Jones who worked on this game, which in that case, thank you. That's not who I'm looking for. Croctopus. Croctopus? Crocto? I swear there was a Grant Kirkhope one. There's no way I'm crazy. Although I do need to destroy this one real quick. All that Donkey Kong Country Super Nintendo. Oh. Fair enough. What if I go in here? Oh, I didn't. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm not ready for this boss. Hey, Banjo, I can see a Jiggy down there. Let's take a look. I really like using grenade eggs for this fight. And I have two to my name. Actually, no, I have one to my name. What? Who dares intrude on Lord Wu Fak Fak while he sleeps in his... Appalling, cramped, whatever. I didn't get through that last part. Oh, er, we've just brought some mail for you, Lord. Fack. Don't lie to me. You are going to steal my jiggy and drain my home, leaving me to flap pathetically around on the bottom until I shriveled up and died, weren't you? Something like that. Then a watery grave awaits you. That's quite the, the thing to say. I gotta get out of here. 
I'm gonna try to get some grenade eggs real quick. They literally put grenade eggs and nothing else in this boss fight to the side. That's how you know this game literally says, you need grenade eggs, kiddo. Oh, I need to schmoove. What a terrible way to start. I usually just kind of start laying into the guy. Actually, I like to be like the, the missile version of uh, Banjo, if I can, for this fight, because you get unlimited torpedoes. But I kind of dropped the ball by just coming in here. I thought it was a different area you entered. Memory did not serve me well today. Where's your first boil? Is it going to be on the other side? I was really hoping I was going to be able to have that. Get out of here. Stop. Wait, actually, I could probably use the health, honestly. I did not pick it up. Fudge. That sucked. We'll try to swoop around here real quick. Good, sir. There we go, that's one. And this song made it in Smash. I was thinking about that. This one and uh, Mr. Patch, which I love the Mr. Patch song personally. I did not want to shoot that. I need to move really quickly. There we go. Don't touch me. I'm so desperate mode right now. There we go. Okay. I need to not be nervous. This guy is easily disposable. I just need to not get nervous. I got nervous because I had a kind of a rough start. Da 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 da. Don't touch me. Da 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 da. Go ahead and kind of let you do that real quick. Surprised you don't have more than one shot on you so far. Is it on the other side, Frick? Ah! Darn tail. Hey, let me get a little distant. I gotta prepare for this guy. Here we go. Get a nice front view. Is there not one on the side? Where am I missing the boil? I don't think it changes. Oh. Ah, this has been the most annoying start to this fight I've ever had. Okay. I'll turn this way. Now I should be on the right side, correct? No? I don't see the boil. Do I shoot you in the eyes? This might be the part where I shoot him in the eyes. Let me check. Also, no, no, no backseating for the record, just to be clear about that. I've beaten this game a million times, just for the life of me can't remember right now. Da da da. Okay, I'm gonna go over here. Holy freaking crap, I didn't expect you to be so close. Get an aerial view here, a bird's eye view. No, that does not count. Oh, there's the boil. Why I couldn't see that till just now, I don't know. Dude, you suck. No, I suck. I'm sorry. I should have said that. That was mean. I'm the one with that aim. Okay. I was like, I could not see that that whole freaking time. I'll take a hit. Oh, I didn't actually. It didn't count because I... Did that. Cool. We take those. Okay. I don't think I'll be able to get one in time, so let me go ahead and kind of just move away. Grab some eggs down here. Thank you. Now you should be turned around to where I need your side angle here. Did that not land? Crap. I thought that would have easily gotten one. Man, you are annoying. I have a jiggy. Ow. Those are useful. They're nice to have. Come here. Duh, 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 duh. I was really hoping that'd be a pro gamer move. I just pulled off it. No. Get out of my way. Oh, 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 that is a terrible spot to be in. Okay. Do it. Hello. That scared the frick out of me. <laughs> How'd that not count? 
I am so done with this boss. I've never had this many issues with him, but I, I once again, I prefer to have my torpedoes. Ah, uh, the struggle is real. Oh boy, it's the Panuki. Is that so? Is that your thing now? <laughs> is that your title? That is my title. It do be that title now. Okay. Don't freaking think about it. Ah! I'm gonna die fighting this boss. Nah. Uh, there was a boy on there. Back. I hate this point of view so freaking much. Okay. Turn it around. Jeez. That only took a century to get one hit in. Okay. Try to get around this guy. I mean, Come on! Ah! Uh, ow! You can do it. It's there. You go. He's doing two shots now. <laughs> People are throwing jiggies at you now. They sure are. Yeah! Come on! That should have counted. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! You gotta be flipping burgers. Dude, I'm gonna die. That, that should have worked. What the heck? <sighs> I ain't gonna make it, kids. Hey, that's quitter talk. You can do this. Even if I get this guy's next three boils, he goes for phase two. Ah! I'll try. You got it. Crap. Oh, I felt death ringing at my door. Oh, I... that... I, I'm probably seeing it a few seconds later, but I, I saw the... You were right near the antenna. Come on! Oh my lord! I can't see! I can't see! You're in his... you're in his maw. Oh, God. Come on, land. Thank you. Uh, stress. It's okay. Grabbing eggs. Get your eggies. Okay. Grenade. One more left. Where's the next one? There it is. I can just kind of... Grenade. Grenade. There we go. Alright, his eyes are open. Have you no sympathy? Hitting a poor blind fish? Time to open my eyes to see what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, great. I could use more eggs, honestly. Now you gotta get his eyes right. Holy frick. Okay. Yikes! Run! There we go, that's a shot. Urgh, please, not my eyes. Now I'll definitely shoot them. Keep moving, there we go. How'd that not count? Nonsense. You probably had a second of invulnerability. There we go, that's a hit. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Man, I just went to town, but that was not enough. Oh, and 64 C stick controls. Aren't you are. Great? They are of a time. <laughs> like, I'm, I should no. be used to them by now, but dang. I gotta get comfy with what we have nowadays. You mentioned that, and I'm like, I. I, I, I don't miss them. If I don't fair. either. No! I had one hit left and I died. No. I hate that so much. And it spits you out there? Oh. 
dang. Frick. They gotta go all the way back. Thank God for teleporters. Oh, there's the play sound. Sad. Lunar? Nunny? Nunny. Kind of move you guys a bit here. Uh, let's see. Okay. We shall do a little bit of a schmoovin'. We'll put you here. Bring Looter closer. Yay. There we go. Alright. Pull these out. There we go. That's better. Try to get some eggs real quick. Alright, I'll show you guys uh, a real battle with that guy when I'm not at a disadvantage walking through his doors. <laughs> Don't... I need more grenade. I'm gonna start with grenade eggs from the get-go. I ain't... Been fricking around no more. There we go. Is it, is it impossible to ask for a real time? Scene? Yeah, I had it yeah. up and then I took it down because somebody's saying the stream was freezing, but it wasn't that. So I could have easily put it back up. Um, okay. Let I mean, me get that for you. We have to watch from the stream, then that's okay. Oh, that's fine. I, I can definitely do a share screen. For some reason, sharing the screen of the actual game makes it flicker a lot which is really strange i think that deals with it's a graphics card thing if i remember so i'm gonna give you guys the actual like live page which means you won't really get audio but you'll at least see what that's i'm doing okay. that's, that's okay okie doke cool cool now, excuse me no. i'm gonna beat the frick out of this guy no i do not go on lunar's head no yes please don't <laughs> sit on me will that work <laughs> i could dream Let's go ahead and stay right about there. I'm going to be smart about this. Turn around. There you are. That's a hit. Or not? Did none of those land? No. Nonsense! Oh, I hate I hate the hitboxes on Lord Wu Fok Fok. <laughs> What's his name? Lord Wu Fok Fok. That's his name. Lord Wu Fok Fok. <laughs> yeah. Spelled F-A-K for the record. Okay, they knew what they were doing when they named this thing. Ah! Of course they did. They're British. And they're clever. This, those two things are very different sentences. They didn't correlate. Are you sure about that? I'm very sure about that. As somebody who has lived in this country my entire time, I can tell you, you know, that... <laughs> you can't be British and clever at the same time? Those two sentences do not mix. It's like trying to call something big and Frick small you. at the same time, it just doesn't work. Biggie Smalls! I really like how they're like, I got a great idea how to do this. We'll just do it all by chance. <laughs> I freaking hate their hitbox. Ah, I've been hit by the tail. Wait! Oh, I was hoping that would do it. You just got fish smacked. They no. smack me with the fish tail. Ow! He oh, God. Ah. Well. Uh, I'm okay, I swear. Wait, where'd you go? Oh! <laughs> Get your tail away from me. Ow. Yeah! Ah! You're a fish. Uh, they're gonna slap me with that tail again. I understand. Have a great day. That'll do it. Ow. Listen here, you. Wait. I hate that they didn't double up on the boil. No, they did double up on the boil. It was double, double boiled side. Double boiled up on a Tuesday, Wednesday afternoon? I don't know what day it is. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Time to clean the windows. <laughs> For no good reason. Where? Oh, there it is. Gamer. Yeah. Okay, then I'll... We name, our, we name uh. our days weirdly, and we name our months weirdly, too. No, you know what it bugs me as of late? There are two types of people, and I don't know how to feel about either. Um, there's the people who, when they make a schedule, they're like, oh, my week is Sunday through Saturday, which is me. Or you're the people who, I'm going to make my schedule, it's Monday to Sunday. That's weird. Yeah. Yeah, where's, that's, where's that confusion? That, that's just that, that's, so weird. That, 
Isn't that basically European? I think. Monday's the start of the week, Sunday's at the end. That makes sense, doesn't it? No. Mm. I think that's how Matthew does his schedules too, and it bugs me every time. <laughs> I'm, I'm so used to actually doing it because, you know, yeah, Monday may be the start of the work week, but I'm so used to Sunday being the start. Right. On this side. So it's like Sunday kind of makes me think of the sun is starting anew. Yeah. So it's just like. It's like Saturday a day of. Is when the sun sets, you know? Right. Although I, I get the perspective of somebody if they were to say it the other way. I, I do get it. I don't like it, but I get it. Come here. Come here. At the very least, you say schedule and not schedule. I, I would like to. <laughs> Although it's like a lazy way of saying it, though. If somebody said schedule and actually meant it, though, that's different. That's that's not funny. So You're just yeah, weird. Look at my Ow. Schedule. If somebody yeah. Said my schedule and actual me and actually like meant it, I'd have to suddenly kick in the chorus of free bird. Oh my god. I miss my wife. Okay. <laughs> I miss her a lot. I'll be back. I miss my wife tails. I miss my wife tails. <laughs> Listen here, you. Oh, I will not stop until I figure out how you do that rapid jiggy fire. So, a little, little bit of an insider fun fact of the, the rapid jiggy fire. Um, I believe that does require being a moderator. Yeah, that is exclusively... It's, it's a thing fire. where... It's a thing where I think... How does that work exactly? So, essentially... Well, you select you them enter... all, and then this happens. Fodge. Frick you. <laughs> that was really good. Essentially, whenever you redeem a reward on Twitch, it gets added to a reward point queue. Yeah. And in doing so, what mods can do is that they can accept, you know, that it went through, or they can decline it, you know, to refund points. The yeah. issue is that when a mod chooses to accept it, it will end up on programs fulfilling it again as if it was redeemed. And because right. of the fact that you're, you can accept multiple at once, what what we're doing is essentially accepting like 50 jiggy throws all in one go and the program just throws them all at you. Yeah, right. it's really funny. So it all is. those all those huge jiggy throws you see that have like multiple, more than one, that was a mod redeeming them that you can yeah. see. You know, that, like, that's either been between Trixie, me, or Ocean. We've been the ones doing it. Or if you're like Matthew, who accumulated like a billion the other day and collectively yeah, got some other you. people in on it and then just released the hounds. Matthew is prime suspect number one for that. I I just did it to show you an example. Dude, I'm going to un peanut your butter. Holy frick. Please do. I don't like peanut butter. I like peanut butter. I'm going to redo the. I'm going to make it peanut butter again. Oh, well, well, there we go. Now we have a problem. <laughs> Guess what uh -oh. I discovered today. What'd you discover? I know what Yoohoo is. Yoohoo? Yo what is Yo Yoohoo? Yeah. Dude, I'm gonna. Yo Yoohoo is basically a drink I usually get like at a gas oh. station. And Yoohoo, I used to think, contained milk in it. That is not the case at all. Dude. Dude. Is Dude! Just I'm gonna frick! <laughs> no! That Yuhu is just chocolate syrup with water mixed in together, and you got Yuhu. Oh, okay. I forgot to about Yahoo is in like the search engine. Now, Yuhu! Oh, wh where's he going? What happened to my model? <laughs> you turned around and then tried to slap your neck back. With what happened You're to my. Flipping out. What happened to. What happened to my model? Oh, I'm throwing it back. <laughs> now move your arm up and down and with your leg, your other leg going side to side, just like yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Dude, I don't even know how, I don't even know how I did that. Holy frick. You get the game now. There we go. Jeez. But yes, thank you thank you thank you for the fifty bitties and the coconut cream pies. I believe I believe I've lost my sanity and this is gonna be my diet until I become uninsane, if that is possible. Yeah. Cream more Ow. Well, let me assist you. I'm trying to throw you back in the shit. I'm going to frick. You're going to sit back down. You're going to sit back down get back. How does it not land? Ow. 
I'm going to cry with tears. Ow. Oh, God. Frick you on freezing. Stop it. I'm already dead. God. <laughs> oh, my God. Kayla, why do you follow? <laughs> God. Everybody do the conga. Do the conga. Bring your arms from side to side. It was Chixie's idea. Dude, stop frickin' flipping your fish on me. Please! Okay. If I had the option to throw Chiggy at chat, I would. <laughs> God! No, I'm going I this see. way. I see you, bird girl. I'm, I'm glad our eyes are working, because I think I can see them too. I will literally take a hit if I must, which I just did not, question mark. But I still got him. Where's your other boil? Show yourself. I'm going above you. Ow. That might actually be a very dangerous spot. Oh. Yee. Ah. No, no support. No support. Ah, God. No support. Ah, God. Ah, God. Fudge. How am I down to three health already? Dude. I got him. Oh. You can do it. You can beat Lord Wu. Fuck, fuck. <laughs> God. You got him. <laughs> I think he broke his neck. Ah. Hang on. There's a way to fix that. Ah. Oh, we hear just the sound of your neck. Uh, 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 give me your. <laughs> give me your freaking money. Money. Well, hamburger. hamburger fixed my neck up real good. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to commit hamburger helper to my neck. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you for the hundred bitties. Really appreciate it. Where would you get your burger? Um. Ooh, did I get to tell you the good news yesterday? No. So I like this place called Freddy's that has really, really good steak burgers. Wait, like it's hang on. yeah. Did you spend five nights of them? Only, only like maybe, maybe thirty minutes. Okay. Yeah. Good. Um, the one that's closest to me was about maybe twenty to twenty-five minutes, but now they're going to be building one next to the mall I like going to, so it'll only be about a ten-minute drive. Oh no. Oh yes. Swim, swim. I got your number. I got your number, Al. I really shouldn't do what I was thinking. Me to the hot single in my area. <laughs> I like the one meme where it's like, there are hot singles in your area. The guy out in outer space. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> I hope that lands. In your area, me in the middle of the Antarctic. <laughs> Will it work? There we go. We take those. Ow. I'm getting reckless. We both have two health apiece. Personally, don't get their cheese curds. Culver's is goaded. Culver's is really freaking good. I don't get to go there as often for some reason. I don't know. I, I guess it's a little further away, but I like, yeah, Culver's is great. Ow! How'd you hit me? And this might be a bit of a revolutionary fact, right? But what if I told you that I was British and I don't understand what a call this is? I need to get out of here. I'll cry if I die again. Don't cry. Uh, do I win? Yeah! You win! I did it. Now he's dead. Also, the red you've been seeing, yes, is blood, and that was blood in a rated E game. There was no E10 at this point in time. What a legend. Yeah. We could handle things better back then. Can't believe the Evangelion Kazooie shows blood in it. Also, I was a good victory fanfare for that, which I believe at some point today, Matthew will be streaming Crisis Core. Not sure if anyone wants... Yeah. Spoilers for that, but I, I kind of wanted to raid him. 
I don't want, I don't mind being spoiled. The thing I'm most curious about is whether or not it'll play out the same way that the actual FF7 remake does. Oh yeah. Oh, that took way too long. Okay. How many jiggies do I have now? Wow, I've gotten a total of four this whole stream. Let's go. One was a fluke. It was gonna be really funny if you went to the wrong door. <laughs> There's only one door, and we're going to Davy Jones' locker. I need health. You know what I wouldn't mind doing? I have, an, I have an idea. Where's the puffer fish? There you are. <laughs> um. There we go. I died. Puffer and that's. Kills you? Yeah, yeah, puffer fish got me. That's okay, because you... I wanted to start here. <laughs> it's a speedrun tactic. Something I noticed in this game, you're not, you don't have a breath life thing underwater. Here, in this level, you don't. Every other level, okay. yes. Mum Mumbo uses some magic in this particular level. It says you can breathe as much as you want. So that's, that made this one of the first, like, platformers that let you breathe underwater as much as you want in 3D. To, like, give yeah. reason as to how that works. So it's pretty clever, honestly. Although there is a, there is a cheat code where you can just slap that in and always breathe. All right, time to egg it up. Eh. Power up the other crystals quickly. You have the perfect excuse to egg it up. I hope I don't miss. <laughs> There we go. Not bad. Almost. Thank you, Earthling. Bear and bird. Now, please exit our ship as we need to leave. We are late for dinner. Er, any an chance of a reward? You are an exemplary uh, example. <laughs> example? I've been using egg punch this whole time. Your, <laughs> your example's sunny side up. We don't tolerate that around here. Where is my exit? Oh wait, that was an egg joke too, wasn't it? But they look, these aliens look like children. Probably afford to uh, tilt myself down a bit. There we go. You said these eggs? The aliens. Yeah, they landed on a shiny gold thing. Well, this is taking a lot of fail time. My favorite part with these aliens, because we have not seen the last of them, they are going to another world. And by another world, I mean they're going to bypass a level that we are going to go to. And uh, it gets kind of fricked up. <laughs> there they go. Look at, look at their awesome driving skills. Yo. It's kind of kind of hard to control a spinning top. True. Technically, I could teleport to get to where I want to go next. I don't think I need to be a Davy Jones locker anymore. I don't know why I call it that. It's not Davy Jones locker. It does have a Davy Jones locker. I just call it that. The whole place is Davy Jones locker. When your locker's next to Davy Jones, it is also Davy Jones locker. Yep. Known fact. Uh, I suppose. We always, talk about, we always talk about Davy Jones' locker. What about Davy Jones' gym? <laughs> Davy, yeah, that's true. What gym does Davy Jones go to? <laughs> gold's gym. <laughs> the Gold's gym. <laughs> Probably knowing Davy Jones. Okie doke. Um, this is something I don't look forward to because of how sensitive the control stick is, but I shall try. Hello, Chris P. Bacon. Hello there. Oh, hi, I'm Chris. Chris, not very pig-like if you ask me. Actually, it's Chris P. Bacon. Oh, I see. What are you doing, Mr. Bacon? I'm on vacation trying to photograph those lovely paintings on the wall down there. Which, by the way, he's he's holding a Game Boy Color with the camera in it. He's 
got the Union Jack flags as shorts. How yeah. Looter feel. <laughs> this pig's British. <laughs> I mean, Rareware is a European company. <laughs> yes. I'm a big fan. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. Seeing that pig with Union Jack flag kind of makes me remember a story someone once told me about themselves. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I had a teacher that was in World War II. And uh, they actually talked about how they were... Uh, part of the U United States Army at the time. Yeah. And they were stationed in England. Well, they they came from English parents. And Dude. they go there. And they want to conscript them in, as part of the English Army. And they're like, you can't do that. And they're like, look, you're, you're in the country where you're supposed to be, where your parents came from. And they're like, we're, we're United States soldiers, though. Yeah. And he's, so the person's like, let me let me ask you something. If a kitten has kittens in a pig's sty, they're still kittens, aren't they? Yeah. And basically, they were calling America a filthy one. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so... They, they they didn't like it very much, so they tried to insult the British flag as much as possible after that. They so they like they weren't allowed to do certain things, so they actually made sure to Dude. like one of the things they did was uh they if they were gonna fly their American flag, they had to fly the British flag above it. So instead they were like, Okay, let's let, let's have fun with this. So they put the flag up. And they're like, where's the British flag? We can't see it. You get, you have to put the British flag up. And they're like, the British flag is there. And they're like, what are you talking about? So let's take a look. And they took it down and they realized they put a very tiny, minuscule British flag above the American flag that they couldn't see it. <laughs> Lunar. <laughs> oh. Oh, poor Lunar. But I, I usually think of that story that uh, my old history teacher used to tell me. I was just like, that's pretty fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I, I'm just saying that as one example that uh, not not all people are that bad. Dude, I cannot so. physically do this the way the my controller is set up. There's got to be way to lower... Let me turn this down to 11 and this down to 19. I don't know if that'll make it better. The control stick's just very sensitive, unfortunately. Like, I'm good at this part. It's just too sensitive. So, is something biting him? Yeah. Wait. I need that to be grenade eggs. Fudge. Hope you're ready. Here they come. I guess. Here they come. I can try. Of course you can try. Anybody can try. <laughs> you got this. You got this. Shot. How many do you have to do for him? Good question. We only have eleven shots. Get him. Oh, I did it. Oh. Oh. It's not a very hard mission for someone like me. If you get to the top of the water and you aim down, you get such a better sight. The control stick yeah. is so sensitive, I just could not. But somehow I did. I, like, yeah. like, when I'm moving my control stick when I did that, I am, like, barely touching it. Like, and someone like me, I, I kind of 
I put a little oomph into my controls. That's just how I play, so it's like... I have to, like, really hold back, and that's tough. But look at the Game Boy he's holding. It's a purple little Game Boy with the, with the Game Boy camera. I love it. It's so cool. I don't think in the X... I think in the Xbox Live version, they don't change it. They just keep it the same. Because it's so... Um, like, it didn't have anything Nintendo written on it. It was just... Uh, what's the word? Simplistic enough to... They didn't really count it as like, Oh, that's a, that's a Game Boy. You should take that out. Fudge. Mm. Right. I want your grenade eggs. Fudge. Nope. You get those eggs. I keep thinking the B button's like the break button. Like, no, the B button actually speeds you up. <laughs> okay, we got some grenade eggs. Ah... Uh... I love this game. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Let's see. I've been in there. Actually, I don't think I've been to... Have I been in here? Let me double check. Bird up. Bird up. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Oh, no, it begins. Ow, 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 what part of O and W do you not understand? Ow, 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 God. I specifically hate the fact that I made the greatest possibility. Pain. That globo I hear? It's a pink little friend. <laughs> I got them. Used to find the home. Heck yeah, then you got Wumba's Wigwam that's covered in water. How is she surviving in there? That's a good question. Let's take a look. Oh! I didn't think I could actually do it that way. Oh, she's just kind of chilling. Her book is soggy. You have global give to Humba? Yes. Gumba Gumba. Humba Gumba. Gumba Gumba. Magic ready. I understand. There we go. Oh boy, this is kind of what I wanted to be when we fought that boss. Because you get unlimited uh, missiles. Walrus? Oh no, you, you become like Clayton. I'm a submarine. Now you and Quaker have something in common now. I'm trapped for life underwater until somebody frees me with that little twisty key thing. Oh, you're with me in the middle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see, during that boss fight we did, I could have just done this. I could shoot as many as I want. It just cruise around like this. That makes that boss fight so much better. Like, I could even do that boss fight well with Banjo and Kazooie, but my control stick was so sensitive. <laughs> Two things in this game that shouldn't have been that painful have been painful. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll have you all know I'm picking the N64 version over the Xbox version for the sake of uh, it being a little bit more polygonal looking for this model. Not only did we lose widescreen, but uh, I, I have a hard time playing this game. You're welcome. <laughs> Are you give me that Taco Bell? <laughs> I did it just right. <laughs> Let me know when it's happy hour. <laughs> Actually, oh no, happy, happy hour ended already. Happy hour is over. I'm sad now. We can't get our property <laughs> easy now. It's now sad hour. Get away from me. Ah, puffer fish is everywhere. Leave you me alone. Happy hour. Do you usually get the Baja Freeze or do you usually get something else? I get the Baja Freeze. I love the Baja Freeze. They're really good. Most people get Baja or like we're going to get the freeze. Let me see. Hang on. I need to check this out. I love how they're like, you can't go to town and center. You'll die on land being a submarine. Me Happier hour. Taco Bell. It's at what time? Da, da. It's happier where I'm at. I can totally get one. Not for me. Uh, I can go get a Baja Blast freeze. Give you a Baja Blast. 
Sea Bomb Cavern. Actually, I tried to get you a Baja Blast, but I couldn't. <laughs> Do you want to read the instructions? No! I'm good. Watch me shoot things. You know, I used to do this in the first person, but honestly, it's easier in third person. I'm just gonna stay away from that guy. There we go. Uh. There we go. I forget how many points I needed. There we go. I'm doing it. Oh, wait. Yeah! I'm not going to get any more points. No, don't get any more points. My other missile hit. I had 69 points. Oh, well. Rats, you luckily scored enough points to win my prize. <laughs> Rats. Oh. Shrapnels. For the life of me, I can never remember all the, the enemy names in this game. The only name I remember, like, definitely easily and by heart in the first Banjo Kazooie game is that the bulls are called Big Butt. My Big Butt? What about our Lord and Savior himself, Lord Wu Fuck Fuck? <laughs> I remember the boss names, for the most part. Oh, you know what? I think I will at least take a second to go see if that mail came in, because I want I want my mug. Uh, I want to see if it's here today. It should be. <laughs> it came in. Yo. And for some reason, it's like in a foam box. It's a very interesting choice of shipping. I mean, it makes sense. Thought it's a bird. Yeah, it's not a bad way. I'm just I've never had a package like this before. Like, oh no, there is there is a. Wait open this. I was like, is this just completely covered in foam? Did they create the foam around it? <laughs> It'd be funny if they did. Although there is a hall. Oh, oh, uh, uh. <laughs> when I when I opened it up, I kid you not, the way they had the mug that came out, Luna was the first character I saw in here. Cause it's the way it's like right where the handle of the mug is so when I opened it up. That that still makes me cringe. <laughs> what? <laughs> Styrofoam rubbing together. Oh, okay. I sorry. I was like, you what? You what? <laughs> Made in China. <laughs> Listen, don't hate me because I'm gorgeous. I'm looking at everyone on the mug right now. Heck yeah. Yeah, but when I grip this mug, Lunar and Willow are on the, the far end to the grip. That's me. So every time I sip... Actually, hang on. If I were to if I were to hold this and I sip, who might... You know what? That's kind of funny. Ooh, that's kind of funny. Um, so the way the mug is designed, when I hold it, my hand is on the, like the grip of the mug... So it's close to Lunar and Willow. But when I go to sip it, because, you know, you sip down the middle of, a, of the mug, it's me. <laughs> it's you. So you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be comfortable with that. <laughs> Okie doke. I shall make hot chocolate tonight. Um, right, I already did that. Okay, so I don't need to be a submarine anymore to my knowledge. That's the one thing I don't like about this world in particular, and, like, in Banjo-Kazooie and Tooie, this happens a lot, but, like, especially in this game, Momo has one use, and 
Humba Wumba. Technically, you can use it twice. Um, but realistically, she's only there to use one thing, too. Oh. Which is just being a submarine and do that minigame. <laughs> Although there is one location that I'm not remembering where the heck it is. I'll find out soon. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Whoa. Man, I wanna use my mug so bad. There we go. It's such a nice mug. I'm gonna keep it right here. I'm bug so happy I'm on the mug. You're on the mug. <laughs> no, I don't want to talk to you, Humba. <laughs> Yippee! Zach, do you know what time it is? No! Oh, you get us nah. all the cheese of them. Not, not. Who's there? I said not, not. Who's that? Oh, not, not is what you said. Yeah. Pufferfish time. Oh, there's so many pufferfish, though, as it is. Look at, look at all these pufferfish out here, Ocean. Look at this. There's one right there. They dangerous. Honey guys. There's one right there. They dangerous. Who's this funny guy? Ah, they're constantly trolling me, too. <laughs> oh, God. They're doing a little bit of trolling. It's okay. Just a little bit. Uh, we'll go Big Fish Cavern. I want to say this is where I need to connect to the next part. Don't frick. <laughs> Shoot, frick. Sit down. Get back up. <laughs> they, they also curse when they do that, too. <laughs> yeah. How many grenade eggs? I, I could probably use more. Give me that. More grenade eggs. Happy grenade day. Grenade egg day. Wait a minute. Oh, that's a pog right there. <laughs> ah, I'm awful. One day I'm going to get this model to do uh, the Fortnite default dance. Oh, you could. I probably could. I really want to look back into like how to do this model, like get into VR chat and whatnot. But like, I professionally will pay somebody who knows how to do that to do it because I only say this because I, it's not that I don't believe in myself that I can't pull it off. It took me a while the other day and I got close. Thing is. I really fricked up my computer in a lot of regards, and I had to fix a lot of programs and other such. To the point, like, Adobe Premiere, I can't even save it normally now. So, I have, I have an alternative as to how to make Adobe Premiere work, even though it's annoying as heck. That being said, can, can I just pay someone to do it? <laughs> I'll pay somebody. You might know somebody. Like, there was this one guy I used to know a while back who was like, they were, they were trying to teach me how. And I was like, what if I was like, what if I just give you money? I said, you know, name your price. He goes, it's not that hard, really. And I'm like, listen here, you. I'm trying to give you money so I don't have to freaking do it. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a bit of a spoiler alert. They were kind of a uh, bad person at day's end. Like they were nice. Okay. Like they were nice, yeah. but uh, to say it shortly, on their like, and I may have said this uh, said something about this guy a while back to you guys personally, like months ago. But this character. Um, was very against what people are trying to fight for right now, if that makes any sense. Right. Right. So, yeah, that kept coming across my timeline, and when one day it just kind of came across, and I was like, I'm done with you. Like, they had talent, doesn't matter. You suck. No point if you're just garbage. Ah, I'm gonna be puffer fished again! I don't know. I used to, used to do, like, Unity and whatnot. Yeah. On this side, but they hadn't done it in many years. Yeah. And, uh, it, it, I don't know what they said. They said they really couldn't get back into it because things have changed so much. That's fair. Uh, it's constantly changing, from what I hear. 
Yeah. Because I think someone made a thing that you can easily see if the expressions work. Yeah, because I was going to say, there's a, there might be a few easier methods as to how to do it. I know I saw the other day that VR chat themselves made a post saying like, hey, it's even easier to put your stuff into, um, uh, the VR chat companion thing to like post your model up on the, the game. But anyways, um, what was I going to say? Um, I have a program that like you guys have probably seen me have some like different like exp not expressions but like um almost like animations that my character was able to do through that program i can the only issue with that program as cool as it is is that it doesn't let you to my knowledge let you use your microphone to speak and do expressions my model because it's a low poly model it's got less um what's the word i'm looking for here um less of a um like the speaking like there's no like lips lips it's it's sprite work so yeah. because of that, it's when I talk, it's like my voice is what determines like the shape. So if I do like a, ah, uh, oh, like that, it gives me that O shape. Like that's how that works where I'm going to give you the biggest smile right now. Mm -hmm. You can't see it because it's not, it's audio based, which fun fact, uh, last stream, I said I had to come back to glitter gulch mine for, uh, what was a ginger that I was missing. I just got it. They sent me back to another level just now. <laughs> oh, nice. So as fun as it's a pain in the butt, but it's also fun. Um, eh, I like it. I can't complain. It's kind of funny. Did you ever do the Canary Mary race? Yes, we did finish the first race of the like the two races you do in this particular level. And then now we just got to do Cloud Cuckoo Lance, which will be, I think, the next stream since that's one of the like last levels you do. Technically, you don't have to wait till then, but... Yes, welcome, Flame Crystal. Welcome, welcome. Have a, have a nice seat. Ooh. I want to say there was one more thing I could do here in Glitter Gulch Mine since I have Torpedo Kazooie, and then we'll, we'll literally have to go all the way back to where I was manually. I love this level. Speed shoes. Da, 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 da. Oh, wait, that's right. That's always open. What am I thinking? I expressions I'm talking uh, are like expressions where you can activate dances, items, the spawn on a character, and no one else can have it or appearance change. Oh, nice. I have a, I have one program that I've been delving into other than VC Face, which is what I'm using right now. It's called v Up. I always considered it just calling it VUP, but most people say it's called VUP. That one, I can do a lot of cool stuff. The only issue is, once again, I don't have access to uh, speaking in that program. I might look into some more programs, maybe. I guess it wouldn't hurt to... At least for the low-poly model. God, I want I want a freaking low-poly Zonic one of these days. That'd be cool. I think if I did get that model, I'd want to debut it with something like Sonic Colors DS or maybe Sonic Rush Adventure. That'd be really cool. Not Sonic Rush. I suck at that game. It's a cool game, but I suck. <laughs> There's a particular Blaze level I just I could not beat last year, and I just gave up on the stream. I was like, I'm done. You could you could play that one DS tech demo from E3 a while back. Ah, heck yeah! And then everyone can just go home afterwards. Uh, oh yeah. V up, yeah. So it's 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 spelled V U P like VUP, but like they call it V up, even though it's spelled VUP. So that's it's confusing to me, right? But I, I guess that's how you're supposed to pronounce it. Kind of reminds me of, like, PRPR PR Live. It was like, some people were saying, like, oh, it's PRPR. PR. Some people said PRPR. PRPR. PRPR PR. <laughs> PR, PR Live. Ooh, this is a fun part. So I did get the ice key in the last uh, stream, which means I can plug the sucker in. This is how ice keys work, for the record. Oh, no, they went in the hole. I thought they were going to place it in the top part. And then we get a giant globo. Look at this little friend. A big friend, Aww. really. They're about as tall as Banjo. What were they doing in here? Wow, you've caught the legendary Mega Owl Globo. It's supposed to have really special magical powers. So that'll be a fun thing we're going to run across here shortly. I think I will do the playthrough uh, with using what that Globo will be for, and it's super awesome. Ah, oh, God. This is why I have shoulder pains. 
In the Xbox Live version, you can't get this unless you play Banjo-Kazooie on Xbox Live. Yes, that is correct. That's actually a fun fact. So if you play the original Banjo-Kazooie, that's how you get the ice... Like, you get the ice key in that game. In the original, it was useless. But if you have Banjo-Kazooie on your Xbox, um, you would bust out Banjo-Tooie, and you would have the ice key on hand. Then you use that to unlock the door, and that would get you uh, the Globo. They actually had Sapa Swap kind of implemented. So that's fun. That's the only really cool aspect of Stop Swap, in my opinion. The one where you get the eggs and everything, that, that should have been really cool. Um, they they kind of dropped the ball. They give you, like, little fuzzy dice and super crap for your car and nuts and bolts. They're like, yep, that's Stop and Swap. Aww. Like, okay. After a decade of wanting that to be realized, it's like, eh, they could have made the reward better. I mean, they also give you, like, Xbox Live profile pictures, which obviously, until this day, mine is Banjo. Which I think I had to change not long ago because Microsoft wore something on me. Um, then I mentioned I love companies and their decisions and they're great. Um, big fan of Microsoft. I mean, hey, sometimes they just give you a hundred dollar box that's just filled with a plastic candle, mouse mat, art book, cloth mat, pin. Crimey. That's not even including the game. God, you just paid for junk. You're going to mute the stream and lurk so you can eat while watching Dragon Ball? Heck yeah. I'm honored that you mute my stream and lurk to watch Dragon Ball as you eat. Because that's something I do to a lot of people. <laughs> Only... I did that a, while, a good while back. I don't do that re like recently, but... Yeah, sometimes like... I don't know why, but like when I'm watching a stream, it's hard to eat and watch somebody stream. Like it's okay, not hard, but like I prefer to watch like a show. I'll eat while watching the show, and then when I'm done, I like I like go back to the stream. I don't know, I'm weird. I like to eat and watch people. Yeah. You gotta have the legendary Mega Globo. Do you got it? I sure do. There you go. You're 135 episodes in. Ooh, nice. Magic ready, jump in Wumba Pool. Alright, guys, here comes the cool reveal. So, what happens to the Wumba, Wumbo, Jumbo? Uh, they kind of faded off in the background, and I don't know what happened to them. <laughs> Wumba called this dragon, but what's changed? Kazooie, now big heap dragon. Burned many baddies. No, that's cool. It's so cool in this game. It's Dragon Kazooie. So Dragon Kazooie stays with you forever? Oh yeah, you can go to any level. You can play the entirety, uh, have all the cutscenes be done with Dragon Kazooie. Um, that's really the only ability you get out of Dragon Kazooie's this fire. It's it's more of a cosmetic, but you can burn people as much as you want. Which is handy if you don't want to use fire eggs. Yeah. They're green. I love it. So Kazooie, in a sense, becomes a dragon from here on out. Exactly. It's not, okay. like, story-related. Uh, that's if you only get the ice key, which I got. Oh, yeah, and you get unlimited fire eggs. Yeah, see how I have 33? Yeah. None of them run out. I can okay. shoot as much fire as I want. So this, in a sense, is Kazooie Super Farm. Yeah. See, now that this game were released nowadays, uh, you'd have to pay $5 to get this cosmetic with the abilities. Mm, no. <laughs> I would, I'm sad. If it's a banjo game, I'll, I'll give you everything. I could, I'll hate you at day's name, but I'll, I'll give you my money. I'm willing to buy Mighty Poo flavored G Fuel, Trixie. You have to understand. But you have chili dog G Fuel that you don't Okay, listen, that one is disgusting, and it was a joke. This one's gonna be good. What if it's a joke? It's not a joke, I think. Look, I'm, I like I like Conquer at the end of the day myself, and even though I've only listen, gotten so far in the game, and I want to play the listen. game at some point in my life, I I, 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 you know this as much as I do. But listen. You drink something called the Great Mighty Pooh. Listen, listen, you have I to start to question things. Listen, you have to understand. They 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 say it's called corn uh what's it called? Um um uh I already forgot the title of it, but you have, you have to trust me. <laughs> I trusted you for chili dogs 
and he took one whiff and he's just like, no, absolutely not. Yeah, and tropical. People, yeah, tropical corn soda. Going to buy that stuff. Listen, like, I wouldn't sell that stuff to anybody. Listen, listen. <laughs> Where do you buy that tub of the chili dog flavor G Fuel? You get. You get <laughs> the peach drinks okay. drink with it and the cup. <laughs> they give you a joke tub filled with smelly powder. It, the thing is, technically, Nathan, you're getting a higher value. Does it suck? <laughs> yes, but you are getting more than you should be getting. It's like if it's like if you got a game and somebody handed you over a jar of pee. Sure, you know, you don't want that jar of pee, that's stupid. But like you got more than just getting a video game. You got a jar of pee with it. <laughs> yeah, you could use that jar of pee to throw against somebody you don't like. Exactly. It's like <laughs> Team Fortress 2. Oh, uh, wait, you can actually buy yourself a jar of pee and fill it on your own ingredients. So you, ah! It costs you too much, just the jar. Give somebody a nice thing of Gerardi. <laughs> Where is that Kazooie symbol? There it is! Let, let them let them learn the, 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 the word jarhead for themselves. <laughs> jarhead. Jarhead. Jarring. It sounds very jarring to me, yep. Uh, what did I just come on to? Jar of peace. I'm trying. Oh I'm trying to God. explain the value that is, even though it's garbage. The chili dog flavored uh, G Fuel flavor that came with the peach ring Sonic drink, and the cup that came with it, because we were on the talks of the Mighty Poo flavored G Fuel, which is tropical corn soda. For the record, it's the only thing that makes it through his rear. How do you think he keeps his lovely grin? Doesn't sound good. It's gonna be fantastic. I can't wait to play, to freaking. I was gonna play it to drink it. <laughs> Red Jinjo. Yeah, you miss some good stuff if you don't if you mute us. <laughs> Listen. Listen. I'm. I'll buy it just because it has the rareware logo on it. It's got Conquer. What they need yeah. to do is sell a cup. I'm tired of them yeah. selling these U2s. Yeah, you're getting a U2 with it, so it's like, hmm. I'm tired of U2s. Like, holy frick, I went on eBay earlier, and people are selling the U2's golden banjo figurine on its own for like $100. Because so it's sense, sold out. So in a sense, this is another form of fruit pee. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> ah! I got a jar of pee. <laughs> I, I could just see Zach holding up his uh his G Fuel and just like, I got a jar of I got a jar of poo. I got a jar of poo. I got a jar of poo. I guess what's inside <laughs> it. <laughs> I can't I can't wait to take that flavor to work and my coworker goes, Zach, what's today's flavor? And I'll tell them I'm drinking poo. <laughs> <laughs> It's great. <laughs> Did you say jar of pee? Yeah, technically. <laughs> well, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> Watching horror and help you if you need to be helped. <laughs> Let's see. Go oh, ow. Nose against the wall. How's that a crime? Hey, Zach is a grown man who can spend what he wants on his money. If he wants to spend his money on a, a jar of poo, let him buy a jar of poo. It'll probably be smelly in the end, but y y you never know. You what? You what? I've already bought poo. I'm just gonna buy more. Um, I'm trying to remember where I gotta go next. Ow. 
If only that helped me think. Hmm. Sunken ship. Yep, everybody starts singing that Listen, song listen. I, I didn't I did not say the words I think the jar of poo will taste good. Or no no, I did I I did not say the jar of poo will taste good. I said it might, and I'm going to try it and take one for the team is what I said. Yeah, I said I said I said it might be great. That's what Zach did say. I remember those words. For I don't know what the heck uh I already forgot the name of it. <laughs> Uh, I'm the one who told people now. I'm the one who can't remember it. Um, where the frick is it? I think I also remember you saying, you know, people will be asking, what are you drinking? And you say, I'll be drinking a jar of poo. <laughs> it's just like, that's, that's all you said. <laughs> I'm drinking some great mighty poo. I wonder, oh no, I wonder what color it's going to be. It's, it could be yellow. It's going to be yellow. It's It'll corn. Yellow it's corn. I will cry if it's brown. Watch it be brown. <laughs> I'm gonna. Why would you sell someone brown water? I mean, there is the chili dog flavor powder for whatever sicko out there actually decided, hey, I'm gonna drink that. I smelled it, and I you'd have to pay me at least maybe. Eh, yeah, somewhere between 300 and 500. I have a standard. That's about about where it might be. I'm a mod. Oh, I didn't want to come here. I forgot that. Is yummy. Ocean. You knew what you signed up for. <laughs> At least you should have. Da, 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 da. I didn't want to go here. I thought I I forgot where it led. Let me think. Actually, let me check my Jolly Roger Lagoon totals because i might actually have everything i need for a second five out of ten jiggies that's not good but i got everything else so i need to remember what jiggies i'm missing and then i could go from there okay that's actually we've made really good progress so far like i have five more jiggies to get but one's hatching an egg i can't do that yet so that's six out of ten the other one was go to jolly himself and collect the jiggy that's seven i haven't done that yet there is <sighs> thinking, thinking. Uh, how do I not know these? There's the pigs that you help, but that requires another level. That's 8 out of 10. <laughs> I kind of want to get out of guide so I can just look at what jiggies. He's even quoted as saying a jar of poo might taste good in quotes. It might. You never know. Da, 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 da. The Sonic Twitter. What they post? Oh. I'm, I'm about oh. to ruin a food for you because this has poo on it. Oh no. Um. You like Doritos? Yeah. It has bat guano in it. That's great. I, I, fantastic news. <laughs> so happy. Yeah, now you know that you're eating cat back guano when you have it. Then there's the jiggy I can't get till I can fly. Jam doors hatch one, blah, 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 blah. The balloons I did, crispy bacon I did, inside the seamy fish I did, get the UFO back up and running I did, free... Mary Maggie, which I'm going to go collect that one real quick. Win the mine shooting game, which I did. Defeat Lord Wu Fak Fak, I did that. Hatch Chip Tubs Egg, can't do that yet. Inside the Smuggler's Cavern, which I will have to fly to. And clean and warm the Piglet's Pool. So, I'm actually almost done with that level. Is there a silo nearby? Oh, there is. I don't feel like walking there. Okay, we'll go collect, I think, a Jiggy and get out of there. You don't feel like walking there, so you make the bird walk for you. Yeah. <laughs> the dragon. The dragon. The dragon. 
She's a twig. Okay, so this would be number six. This egg is seven. The pig is eight. Why am I? Why do I feel like I'm always missing something? Let's see. Thanks for rescuing my partner. Think nothing of it. No, honestly, I'm rather pleased. How about a tankard of my finest ginger beer on the house? Perhaps later. Then please accept this modest little trinket instead. Trinket. Mine. Oh, how do you know that's what we wanted? <laughs> yeah, how do you know that that's what I was looking for? Clean up the pigs. That's 7 out of 10. Smuggler's Cavern, that's 8 out of 10. 9 out of 10 for the egg. Uh... That means there's a Jiggy I didn't pick up. Oh, no. Inside Smuggler's Cavern. Hatch the egg. So it's either in the Lord Wu Fak Fak location. I know I collected the submarine one. Because that's the only way you can leave there. I did the Mary Maggie one. That's what we just got. The UFO I definitely got. The See Me Fish I definitely got. Protect Crispy Bacon. I want to say I got that one. But I know two locations where it might be that I may have goofed and not picked it up. So I'm going to check. I'm going to go with my first instinct. And go to the lockers real quick. This might not take long, actually, because we can teleport. Yeah, go for it. We got this. I thought I was kind of low on something. Oh, I did not want to do that. No, Dragon Kazooie, not today. Not today. Not today. Uh, where's that broken locker? That's gonna be over here. If there's a Jiggy on the seafloor bottom, I will be happy and I will understand because I don't remember collecting the one here. Question mark. Ow. Hmm. Maybe it was the crispy bacon one. I swear I collected that one too. If not, I will be thoroughly confused. Oh, what a, da, da, there's the teleporting pad. Right there. Uh, let's see, that would be at the Atlantis section. There's a lot of names, levels, and things that were, like, the same on N64 games. Like, at, you had Atlantis here, then you had Atlantis and Glover. You have the fish you can enter inside for, in this game. You can enter Jabu Jabu and Ocarina of Time. You got Jolly Roger's Lagoon. You got Jolly Roger Bay. And you got Whale Bay and Diddy Kong Racing. Quite frankly, I'm always getting confused. And so many lagoons, ah! bays, oceans, Atlantis. Yeah, there's... I mean, to be fair, entering the 3D age of gaming, everybody's going to want to tackle everything that hasn't happened in 3D yet, but... Hello, Adara. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I didn't even collect it. My bad. That's ah, okay. Here we go. How's how goes the jiggy hunting? It is a going. Ow. Actually, I, I think for the time being, I finished up Jolly Rogers Lagoon, so we can actually get the frick out of here. For the life of me, I did not collect the crispy bacon jiggy. Although when I looked at my like the list of jiggies, I was like, okay, there's only two locations where I could have possibly didn't pick up the jiggy and didn't think about it. Maybe got a little distracted, um, and we are okay. That did not take long at all. Uh, so that means I need a teleport pad, and we can move on to the next area. Oh, uh, hang on, turn around. There you go. To the town center. Getting jiggy with it. Nah, 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 getting jiggy with it. I got woken up again, didn't mean to doze off. Oh, that's okay. Honestly, like, at least over here, like, I said this earlier, but for those who weren't here, like, it is a cold day, it is raining outside, it is, once again, the perfect day to just wrap yourself up and just sleep all day. But I did that, like, twice, and I was like, I really need to get up and do the stream I said I was gonna do. So... Okay, I'll live. I shall do the thing. Um, 
What level is this considered number wise? Let's see. Level eight. Because we did view totals. We have one, two, three, four. If this says six, that'd be interesting. I want to me I always think this would be the next one, but it is less well, than 38 jiggies to open. Um Did I not open this level? I thought I did. Oh well, we'll go to Jiggy Wiggies anyways. There's a few backtrack thingies I can do. As soon as I get in the thingy. There we go. Actually, we'll go to Ginger Village because if we go back to Spiral Mountain, there's a torpedo uh torpedo kazooie yeah. thing we can do. So I shall go do that. Da 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 da. I wanna fight Klungo again. We're getting close to another Klungo fight. Roar. Actually I could use health. Thank you. How many times do you fight Klungo? Three. You fight him three times, but in the third fight, he's like, you know what? I'm tired of working for Gruntilda. And then in Nuts and Bolts, he's like, yeah, I'll help you out. But And by help you out, I mean, um, I want you to play Klungo's video games. Klungo's video game is called Klungo Saves Te World. Which sounds very late 2000s, saying ta instead of the. You're back with Pringles. That sounds good. Which, by the way, for those who didn't get to hear this earlier, I did get the uh, charity mug in the mail, and it does look good. So if anyone's got that on their radar, you will not be disappointed. If you're left-handed... Actually, I'm wondering something. Because I'm right-handed, so when I hold the mug, what I sip from is going to be, like, around my character more so. But if you are left-handed... Uh... Lynx? <laughs> Supposedly? We shall go to Wooded Hollow. I'm gonna bank some jiggies in. By bank them, I mean use them. What are some of your favorite Gruntilda sayings? Just curious. Ooh, some of her favorite sayings? Yeah. Ah, uh, ooh, that's a good question. Uh, my favorite one is the one at, at the end of Nuts and Bolts when she's like, I'll be back and I'll have my own game. Just you wait, Banjo and Kazooie. She's left me hanging for this long. <laughs> so many sayings. What about me? Oh, so what, I got the I got the charity mug in that had all of our friends on it. So if, you, if you're right-handed and you hold the mug, Al, if you're right-handed and you hold the mug, when you go to sip it, it's going to be kind of around the area where my character is. So you'd have to put your mouth there. But if you're left-handed and you sip from that part of the mug, you're probably going to get, uh, Lynx. <laughs> Ow. Ow. So if we are right-handed, we sip on Sonic. If we're left-handed, we sip on Mana. Exactly. Exactly. Ow. Fudge. Oh, is, uh... Is this the one you were saying? Uh... How I lost, fail to see a three-time loser. I cannot be. Oh yeah, that one's good. Here was a big Ow. mistake. Just wait for the devious game I make. Yeah, that's the one. I like that one because it's a freaking cliffhanger, and you need to make another banjo game. There we go. It's kind of funny because um, in Tui she doesn't rhyme. She's she's just had it by Tui. She's like I'm done rhyming. By Frick Tui. you. Let me see. Oh God. Banjo Tui opening. When did she uh. say she's done? Um, oh no, she doesn't say she's done rhyming, she, she just slapped, like, at the beginning of Banjo 2, she just does not rhyme, because she's just done. She comes back to life and is like, that's it. <laughs> Looks like you didn't have much trouble with the censored puzzles, yeah, I'm good. 
You gotta put the piece in, you figure it out. Oh, now, see, yeah. if they had, if they flip like bottles bonus in the first game, that I can see that being an issue. Possibly. Her sisters tell her to stop rhyming. Oh yeah, her sisters say stop rhyming, and then she just kind of, kind of gets out of it. Yeah, she only has a few in this, from what I see. Yeah, just a few. I like how Gratilda has her with her other two sisters. They're three bad sisters, but then you have Brentilda from the first game, who's the only good sister. Oh, wait. Oh, I only have thirty-eight, don't I? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, I'll come back later. She only has eight, eight rhymes in Tui. Man. That's not a lot of rhyming. I mean, it's, well, on a technicality kind of can be, but for Gratilda, that's not a lot. Prison compound. I'm going to prison. There we go. And now I can finally destroy this rock. I could have done this last stream, but I decided just to save it for now. Here we go. It's a game called Banjo Kazooie Grunty's Revenge. Oh, yeah. It's a Game Boy Advance game, and it's pretty good, in my opinion. And it's published by THQ, if you're familiar. Nice. Let's see, one of these start it. Oh, this is it. Okay. Da, da, da. It's the prequel to Tui. Yeah, it takes place between Kazooie and Tui. And they put Gratilda's spirit in a... Ro uh, I almost said a robotic. In, in a robot. Is Tui in... Is uh, Tootie in that one? No. It's good, but okay. yet bad. Yeah, I mean, like, it's definitely not the best Banjo-Kazooie game. I would consider it, like, a mid-tier Banjo game. Like, if I had to rank them in order... I mean, like, on a personal, if you told me right now I could only play Nuts and Bolts or uh, Grunty's Revenge, like, maybe a bit of a hot take. I'd rather play Nuts and Bolts, because I think it's more interesting. Whereas Grunty's Revenge, it's, you know, it's a quicker, fun little game. But it's a bit more... I don't know. I, I just think I think Nuts and Bolts is neat. It's... I don't know how to explain it. The, the best games are always going to be the first two, no matter what. <laughs> Okay, I'm done with that. I need to schmoove. I mean, like, at days in, I enjoy all of them to some extent. Even Pilot and all that. There we go. Give me that. See, Klungo made a robot of her. Her spirit went to the robot, and she kidnapped Kazooie. and went back in time to try and prevent Banjo and Kazooie from meeting Al. Yeah, that's right. Wonderful. It's a time travel game. And instead of Bottles the Mole, I think you meet one of his ancestors. I don't remember the name of him, if I'm being honest. Might have deleted that off my memory card. <laughs> Spoiler alert, it didn't work. Yeah. Turns out, turns out Gruntilda's a failure. She was more useful in the background of Smash Brothers. That's saying something. Uh... <laughs> One of the funniest lines I've seen uh, Gruntilda say is, Ouch, my butt. It's now quite sore. I'll make you suffer. That's for sure. <laughs> That's a good one. Hello there. Here, let's burn them. Come here. Come here, you know you want this. You know you want this. There we go. Would you like to try some too, good sir? They actually will run away from you if they know they're going to get lit on fire. Fun fact, the AI in this game isn't completely stupid. For 2000s uh, technology. Well, I say 2000s, but... I'm going to give you a way to use... Um, whatever the AI is called on the... AI currently being used, the problem mistake it is dead and use a different song. What? 
<laughs> I don't think I heard that. Ah, uh, Hailfire Peaks. This is a beefy level. Two years, finally, I've made it to the warmth of Lava World with a belly full of water. Oh, Gobi. I'm gonna frick you up. Gobi's here. Gobi's oh. here. Oh. In the first... Yeah. yeah. In the first game, they say, I'm done. I'm going to go to a different world where I cannot be, you know, basically bothered. Here they are. There they are. I'm going to mess up their life. Again. Again. Okay. Twas I who released them from prison in witchy world. I get to choose their fate. Let's see. Um, Can I get to the top of this from here? I sure can. Or not. <laughs> you can't pull yourself up. Alright. Hailfire Peaks is a bit of a love-hate level for me. I like it, but it's a lot of back and forth. So... I think I'll start over here? It's time, but... Oh, God. I should probably fight the bosses, too. When I get the chance. There's two in this world. Purple Jinjo there. Don't touch me. Gonna burn your f furry hide? I'm about to end this dude's whole career. <laughs> Isn't Gobi dead by the time it's nuts and bolts, or am I wrong about that? Quite more more so a question for Adara, if if you know. I I, I wanna say they're dead by then. Like that might be right in some respect. Now why did you hit him? Oh god! I'll do more than just hit him. Come here. Is that not a real Jinjo? That's what we call a Minjo. Uh, they evil. Minjo. Boom. Meningitis, no Jojo. Oh, those are the suction cups. I don't have those yet. I shall. Let's see, it's unique in the literal polar opposites of the elements. It's unique in the literal polar opposites of the elements. Oh, yeah, yeah, Sorry, I don't know why that didn't register in my brain. I get you. I was thinking about Gobi. I was like, <laughs> yeah? <laughs> no, no, no. This level. Okay. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, blue ginger's back already. I'm gonna clean your clock, good sir. What's in here? Remove the rocks. <laughs> ah. Oh, now where does this lead? Oh. Where am I? Ah, that's right. We're back in Mayhem Temple. We came back again, baby. I love this game. Like, we were just here. Yep, we're back. Banjo Kazooie nut and bolts. It sounds like a rat problem now that I'm thinking about it. That banjo looks like a little uh, gremlin. Yeah, he's a st oh, <laughs> he's a stony. Stoned out of his mind. It's it's uh, one of Zeddy's favorite characters. Probably see that honestly. Um, Kickball Stadium Lobby, please. So in the first Banjo Kazooie game, if you had Mumbo Magic and you tried leaving the world, they'd be like, "Oh, Mumbo Magic, get weak." But now, I just transformed into Stony Banjo, and we are skipping from World One to World Five. This should be World Five if I'm not wrong. I'm gonna check just in case I don't speak. Hailfire Peaks is seven. Now the frick am I here? 
Okay, we skipped quite a bit ahead, but that's okay. Why is the Jinjo yellow now? You just feeling a little yellow. That's you know? disease. <laughs> oh god. Wait a minute. I need to talk to you. It's Stony Bear Boy, exactly. Major looks like that troll toy from Toy Story. Troll toy. Let me think of what that is. I don't have the troll's doll. Troll toy. Low score wins. Low score wins, correct. So this particular kickball tournament is different. This ain't the Mayhem League now. Oh boy. Humba's better than Mumbo. That's true. The best stony win. Yeah. Frick. Don't you freaking think about it. Still, I already fought a lot. Oh, you got two points already. Yeah. I need to lose. Wow. I'm actually doing really well. There we go. Dang, they really bullied yellow. I won with the score of two. Yay. <laughs> You've won your quarterfinal. Now you may move on to the semifinals. Stony Banjo makes you happy? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Probably could have went the other way. That's okay. Crash and bash looking fire on N64? Oh, heck yeah. On the subject of funny Bowser doing funny things. Yeah. One not too far. I think I'm probably gonna go eat myself with the bed not too far. That's okay. I hope you have a good night. Thank you. Good night. Sleep Thank well. you. Thank you. Okay, yeah. Have a good sleep. Whoa, I didn't know you could do that here. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Oh, you're a piece of garbage. You're the purple? Or the blue? On the blue. Nice shot, Bucko. Oh, God. Yeah! I win! But on But on I don't get to hear that sound. Oh, never mind. See, Gooby was never seen in Nuts and Bolts except for two log vehicles that you get to... Or you get the, the log Gobi and the log Aqua Gobi. No reference or explanation. It's basically uh, like a Dragon Ball creator for getting launch existed during Dragon Ball Z and the relationship she had with Tien. Oh, okay. That makes sense. In my brain, Gobi's dead. <laughs> Gobi he, has passed on. He's kind of old. Although, yeah, I guess he didn't officially get a funeral. I like the beginning of the Invincible Tethers. It bottles the mole. Um, what's the word I'm looking for here? There's a bottles the mole gravestone. Even though he's alive again. There we go. How dare. Stop putting things in my goal. Like Stop! Your goal. <laughs> Holy freaking crap. No, you don't. As long as I... As long as I goalie. No, you don't. Uh, there's stuff in there. Yeah. Ooh, Red was close, though. <laughs> the funeral must have been off-screen. It was a small funeral. Declaring the new Coliseum Kickball Champion. Did we get a trophy? 
Of course. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it's appreciated. All right, time to get time to say goodbye to Stony Banjo, everyone. They're gone forever now. Bye, Stone. Bye, Stony. You got uh, one more use. You think he's related to Agent Stone? Possibly. They're about as effective. Have you ever seen the, uh, do you watch the, what's the one channel called, uh, Cinema Sins? Yes. Have you seen the Sonic 2 one? No. I like the part where, like, there, there's a part during the video where he goes, How did Robotic know how to set up this elaborate chat that specifically knocked down these guys? <laughs> and he uses, like, stone and everything. It's like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's so silly. It's so... I kind of, I kind of miss uh, the opportunity they they kind of dwindled. Yeah. Having Stone actually talk uh, in the first part where he named the rock Agent Stone, where Stone could just talk to him like as if he was going insane. Yeah. <laughs> He's like they needed that. It would make it much more relatable. <laughs> Because for all intent and purposes, when we saw Agent Stone, the rock, being thrown out, we, we just laughed at it like it was just a rock. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for Sonic 3. I've heard such good things from the people who are making it. Oh, like what? Like, basically, in short, they're saying, like, this next movie is going to be, like, a lot more crazier and honed in on, like, what makes Sonic Sonic. So, like, even though this last movie came out, had, like, Tails and Knuckles and Bridging all that, like, this next movie is going to be very, like, p like, pure Sonic. Like, they're really going to give you probably, like, a lot of fan service and whatnot. Yeah. Oops. I'll take those. And actually, which other egg do I need? Regular eggs. Dude. Regular eggs. Got split pads. Uh, I don't think I need to do it. Let's see. There's a chain. Yeah, I'll try to do this real quick. I don't know if I can. I'm mad. N64 controller won't be delivered until tomorrow. Thanks to Nintendo. Not but my number on the address. Oh, hon, I, I understand that. Oh, that's never fun. Ow. There, uh, how many controllers have you bought from Nintendo directly? Two. Hey, what about the N NES controllers? Do you have those? I did not grab the NES controllers. Um, I think that was because like it came with two, and it was sixty bucks, and I was like, uh, <laughs> no. I'm gonna sound terrible. I'm not the biggest fan of the NES. Like, I don't mind it, but like, I'm I'd rather play Super Nintendo. So I was like, oh, I'll live. Yeah, Super Nintendo has a somewhat better library, in my opinion. Yeah. I I love my Super Nintendo. So, I mean, it was one of the first systems my dad ever gave me for my birthday. Holy frick. Like, uh, yeah, Super Nintendo super cool. Ha. Huh. Oh, I see. Doi, there's a little crack here. I can kind of grab the ledge. Nice. Yeah, don't fall off. Okay. I don't know who's going to voice Shadow, but I'm hoping it's either Carl Urban or Robert Pattinson. <laughs> Just imagine. I feel like Robert might see himself as too good for something like Sonic, if I'm being honest. I mean, like, I don't know him well enough to, to make that call, but I can see him being like, ah, Sonic, why? So, I have a confession. Yeah. I kind of saw Sonic Prime a little bit early with Sora. Oh, yeah. Night. And I'm excited for it. Heck so yeah. It, I was pleasantly happy to watch it, but I wanted to watch more afterwards. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. Good. <laughs> I'll have you know I illegally took the second season. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, God. No. 
Let's see, I guess I'll need the split pad. But I will say I'm looking forward to a better watching experience with Netflix. Um, I did not like how Roblox did it. Yeah. They tried to make it like a 4D experience, so like the, the screen would shake or rings would fall out. And I'm just like, I don't want the distraction, okay? Right. I, I, I want to watch the, I want to watch it. <laughs> I feel like Days End, like, because it's Roblox, the kids are going to watch it and they, they like a good distraction. So that yeah. works for them. But like for us, we like to like sit down and like enjoy all of it for what it is. Not so much to have like little... Yeah, gimmicky kind of stuff, exactly. Okay, so that spot's for Kazooie. I think I can get Kazooie to fly. So we're not far from here. Oh, you've got one health, Kazooie. It's because I shared health. It's funny because Sora saw it twice. But when oh my god. Streaming it the first time, People were dropping in on their stream because they were just wanted to watch the movie and not make an account with Roblox. I didn't know you could stream it. They, she, she was, she was like, okay, whatever. Uh, I don't think, I think they kind of expected it because people like to stream Roblox. Yeah. So, you're, you're streaming the game Roblox while watching the movie that's set in Roblox. Where they right. Got yeah, I was wondering about that, actually. I'm dead. No. Oh, this banter gets sent back, too. Dang it. Ah, uh, I'll do the Kazooie part first. Do the harder part first. Yeah. Here we go. Got to find that flight pad. Got to fly. Watch out for that hand. There we go. Could always do it this way. <laughs> Can't believe that worked. Try it again. Darn it. Nothing. Just technically. There we go. I don't need to worry about you. And then... I would not mind going... No, wait, I don't need to go in here. Well... You know. Not really. Although there's a thing I want to do. Sorry about Mumbo. your home. Sorry about your home, Mumbo. Blow up a hole in the wall. That leads to the icy side. I don't know what it is, but when I see, like, lava and ice coming together, it gives me this fun feeling, you know? Oh, yeah. That's right. That's cutscene activated. Do your worst. Any day now. Wait, you want me to go down here? Ah, that was a dumb mistake. No. But when will they attack? Oh, here we go. Now we'll get that cutscene. Too late to use the Yoda death sound. <laughs> Song of ice and fire. Mm. Light ice cube on fire. Did I ever show you the video of the person playing the ocarina near the volcano. I think so, yeah. That's a fun video. Yeah. Bolero of Fire. That that was it kinda always puts chills up my back when I see Oh that. yeah. I just realized I can't do this part yet be No <laughs> Why what happened? I forgot when Banjo steps on the switch it opens the, the possibility for Kazooie. However, I'll try to Meet halfway. That's okay. I shall do what I can. There you go, Banjo. Don't touch me. Whoa. Ow. 
I saw that Jiggy. They're yeah, throwing so, Jiggies. Where do y'all get these from? What What are the notes called? The musical notes called? Notes or musical notes. What is that sound on Matthew's uh, channel of yours? It's not a Jiggy nope. sound. It's a note. He kept calling it a Jiggy for about a year, and I never let him know until like not long ago. <laughs> I was like, Matthew, I just gotta, I gotta let you know. That's not a, that's not a jiggy. Ah! No, no, no. No, no, no. Am I alive? I did not do my obligatory nunny joke. My bad. Um. I can try to go this way. <laughs> Nani. Oh, here we go. That's a grenade, but I mean, it do work. That works. There we go. Should be one more hand if I'm not wrong. Here we are. There we go. I think this is a move for Kazooie. I'll cry. It's for Banjo. All right. All right, all right. I'll come back later. Um, I can try something, but I don't think it'll work. Yeet. Yeah. Looks like it worked. Yeet. Yeah. Oh, that was where I needed. Oh, God. Oh, God. That isn't the easiest thing to pull off. I'm going to freaking die. Ow. That's okay. They are fine. Uh oh. If only I had this open. Listen here, you. You can't be making those noises. You'll throw fireballs at me? Honeycomb. Wait. There we go. Oh. They actually run after you this time? Yeah. In this game, there's evil ones that come after you. For Is revenge? It... Yeah. Honestly, it's not as bad compared to the bees in Banjo Kazooie, but I do not like the bees. Not the bees. Not the bees. Shoot. That should be enough. In my eye. Oh, how does that count as falling? You're a bird, dragon. You're, you're, you're a dragon bird. I'm um, a, a, a derb. Too bad it's not a, not, not an owlbear. A dib? Da, 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 da. the owl bear. I wonder how that would look. That's a good question. Don't touch me. I'll cry if you kill me somehow. Okay. Okay. That should not be as normal, as difficult as I made it out to be, but that's okay. And then that unlocks the banjo spot. I switch over to banjo. You still got a good thing of health. There you go. Aww. Oh, banjo. There we go. And that unlocks. Oh, nice. Tiki. Who should I do that with? What if I get off? Okay, that doesn't get rid He's of it. Got Good. Plenty of health. Yeah, I'd rather go with banjo. That counts as falling due to gravity. I'll take that. And because they are both kind of low on health, if I'm not wrong. Well. Goodbye, cruel world. <laughs> that gives me that gives me the full health and it brings both characters back together. Okay, so now that we got that, um, did the kickball tournament. What colors did the ginger this time? Purple. purple. Ow. I love purple. Purple's so nice. God, this new thing. I I'm so happy I have it in a lot of shades of purple. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
I'm actually kind of glad I'm trying to keep my background for streams mostly purple because I was like, oh yeah, I like the green. But I realized with my character being green or having like green and blue aspects, I was like, I should have the background be purple so it pops out more. Yep. yep. Those are good colors. Exactly. Um, I think I could do this. Yeah. Got some notes. Child me never questioned how Kazooie shot eggs out of her beak. I can't somewhat understand the selective on command egg laying, but coughing them up. Yeah. It's one of those things that like at days and it's like it's a video game, it's got cartoony like characters, so you're not supposed to question it. However, it does make you think. Eggs come out of all holes, which can't be healthy. Even your ears? Yep, even the ears. Dang. I feel like I'll cry when I'm trying to think, game. I think I just opened Pandora's box by saying all holes. Probably. <laughs> Every single hole. There we go. Doink. Um. I wouldn't mind continuing. Get a pop tart real quick. Sure. Ow. I got this. Holy freaking crap! Everything's trying to kill me. I need to find the boss. Get them out of here. Ah, uh, do I want to be up here already? Eh, why not? After all, I'm entitled to it. Fun fact, I shifted my stream set to be mainly blue to be, or for, to a more purple aesthetic due to not wanting to appear as copying Deku, because we both had Twilight in our names and these inspired by Le uh, the Legend of the Twilight Princess. Now I le learn you learn on, or lean more on purple for your layout. No, that's perfectly fine. I mean, today's it, everyone's got to have a layout. You know, you pick your colors. Matthew, I believe, has, like, blue going on. I don't think I ever had inspiration in terms of, like, who I worked off of. I just kind of always like like more so just more, was more inspired by like a synth wave looking kind of setting and then like the the actual like transitions for my screens I pay for Streamlabs so like the synth wave stuff all comes with what I pay for so at that point it's not inspiration it's uh, uh I pay for that and that's mine <laughs> I let them do the thinking for me yeah synth wave is awesome I think it's a really fun aesthetic that and like things like 90 shapes and all that I like that kind of thing. Give people a bit of like a calming, retro, nostalgic looking vibe in your streams. It's definitely what I'm all about. Fun, fun, fun. I don't... Actually, I wouldn't mind going over here. That's fine. This is what I was thinking of earlier, I think. Question mark? Or have I, have I just did this? I just did this. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what my brain's thinking. What do you That's... have your brain thinking? My brain was thinking that this was a new location, even though I just did this. Uh. Let me ask you, are you yawning yet? No. I did earlier. You, if you're yawning, your brain is working overdrive. No, 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 nonsense. I'm doing great. <laughs> Not tired, you're tired. Ah! Oh, God, I'm in danger there we go really wish those hands would give health uh there is a thing I can do here soon ish there you go Nice. Um, teleporters. Hang on, let me look up for a sec. I could go in there. There you go. Oh, I know. I haven't seen. Oh. 
JonTron is very like says I'm gonna do a lot of things, guys. Says like three or four videos nowadays, and it will like fall off the face of the planet. And they appear, and then they get lots of views. Yeah. It's almost like their absence kind of helps them out in a sense. Sometimes. Why is this stream marked as unhinged? Because it's funny. The, the last thing I saw him do was something two years ago. Oh, really? Jimmy tells all from Kid Nation. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, Kid Nation. That was an episode. Oh, that's not good. Oh, yeah, I, got, I got about one, four, eight, twelve videos to watch. Those are fun to watch. I don't know if I've watched all of them, honestly. I may have missed a few. Yeet. That's not good. Freaking A. How does that not work? Dontron is the goat. I'll just go ahead and do it the basic way. There we go. I always make things harder for myself, honestly, which is fine. Um, I don't feel like dying. That's true. Some people say he's a jerk. Yeah, which, I mean, I don't know. We don't know everyone's lives and all that kind of stuff. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know. You know, the thing I like to present to people is, can you separate the creator from the creation? Right. Why does it take me back here? Dang it, game. Oh, okay, no, I get it now. On a technicality, I understand why I came from that door. That being said, game. Listen. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da
So, I mean, even even when I get dreams about my friends, like I told Zenny last night that I had a dream about her. Yeah. And uh, she, you know, I told her, you know, people have told me, oh, don't see her because she does this, this, this. And I'm like, what are you talking about? She's my friend. Why should I, you know, listen to what you say? If she wants to tell me that she can't, I trust her. Exactly. And, uh, the person just disappeared right in front of me. Oh. <laughs> I woke up. <laughs> How do you? Try? Oh my! I'm gonna take a hit. Oh, I missed him. Yeah. Okay. Well, Gobi's up there. I don't remember how this room worked. Um, that might have been a different situation. Oh well. I'll go to the other side. Wait, is Japan I've had a... living in Japan now? I thought he was in New York. Sorry. I didn't know. I was going to say, I've had a lot of instances where a friend will tell me, like, oh, this person's great and they're amazing. And then they're not. Like, they end up actually being bad. Like, there is the other end around where it's, oh, no, they're not as great as a person said they were going to be. Yeah. I've had a lot of scenarios where people have told me, like, oh, this person's great, and they're really freaking not. Yeah. Oh, you meant PewDiePie. Okay. Eh, PewDiePie's PewDiePie. Not too uh, knowledgeable of him. Like I am, but I'm not. How the frick do I get up to? Oh, I know what I'm making mistake wise. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got this. It's also one of those things. Like I hate it when like somebody goes bad or does bad things or something like that, and then like they actually take the time to leave to better themselves. Actually, do come back and better themselves, and everybody's like not as inviting. They're like, "Oh, you're garbage. You did this. You did that. You should be ashamed." It's just like, okay. You know, they can say they're sorry, they can do all these things, but it's also like, are you going to judge them for what they are now? Because a lot of people like to throw the the Frick You game to something somebody's right. bit was once before. Like, some people came better than themselves. Now, yeah. I've heard so many stories before where somebody's like, oh, I'll come back and be better. And they come back in like a week and they're like, guys, I'm better. It's like, not a week, get out of here. Take some time to think. You know, reflect. Like, maybe you improved, sure, but, like, I don't know. Yeah. A, a week's usually a pretty big stretch. Yeah. I mean, there are plenty of other people I've met in my life who said, I used to do this, I used to do that. And I'm like, well, do you do it now? Yeah, and right. I'm like, no. And I'm just like, I'm not, I, I'm a high believer in second chances. And if you say you're going to do something different, I want to see it. I don't yeah. want you just to tell me. Make the action. Mm -hmm. And that's what I base it on. Like I'm I too gave, a believer in second chances. I, I gave my mom, for, for a bad example, <laughs> I gave my mom so many second chances in life. Because she was my mom. Yeah. And there was another person I... I, who really was a jerk in high school to me. Yeah. And they, I met them later on in life. And uh, oh, what the were, fudge! They were a completely different person. They're like, they actually came up to me, and they said, "I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do this all to you. You're actually a really nice person, and I shouldn't have acted that way to you." I'm like, I don't accept your apology. And at first they were crying, and I'm like, because. That person is no longer there. Yeah. And they just start crying. <laughs> oh, jeez. The tears of the kingdom. That one's for Lunar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, I mean, people would be lying if they said they never made mistakes in their lives. Like, I've made my fair share. And some people do have to live with the mistakes that I've made. Kind of the same way around. Some people have made mistakes and I have to live with them. It's those who decide to learn from said mistakes and try to better off of them. Who proves, who proceed in life better. And then there's the ones who get stuck in their past. You get stuck in your past, it so weighs you down. 
Like, I like my dad. He, he's way better now than he was when he was young, from what I hear. That being said, like, that's kind of a, uh, a bit of an example of second chance. He took, like, he probably got a lot of chances, is the thing, but he ended up better now than he was when he was young because he was kind of dealt a bad hand when he was young. So, like, he's better now. I'm better now. My mom's kind of learned a lot of things. We're just trying to work on my brother. <laughs> Well, all I can say is the best motivator for people is show, not tell. Yeah. I'm not, so, like, because, I don't like talking yeah. at talk. You have to do. Yeah. You can say, I'm going to do this and see what people think about it, but don't say that a million times. Do it. Oh, here's the cutscene I was talking about from The Last World. So the aliens that we saved and helped them get out of there... Now they're in this world, and... Yoikes, I calculate it's a long way down. Huh? <laughs> What's going on? Keep ship steady. Whoa. Activate jetpack. Crunch. Gonna keep it steady. Uh, never mind. I'm okay. Wait a minute. No, I'm not. I'm dead. <laughs> I love this cutscene. I was like, I'm okay. No, wait a minute. I'm not. I'm dead. Dies. Is he really dead? Yeah, he's dead. No. And don't worry, I'll bring him back to life somehow. <laughs> wait, you bring him back to life? I think I do. I think I used Mumbo Magic of some kind. Oh. So many people die in this game. <laughs> Those who refuse to accept help from others don't actually want to change. That's also true. Some yeah. people some people want to be stuck that way and I for what reasons I don't know. I don't envy people like that. I have this one coworker who you may have heard me go on about them before. I won't mention the name, but they're kind of a character that's like very stuck in the past. And they're, they're kind of pitiful. Lately, they're more so pitiful than they are like annoying. I knock on wood. I'm going to eat my right. words tomorrow. But um, they're so <laughs> stuck in the past that like the other day they were going around asking everybody like, hey, who still has like their landline for phones? And a lot of us young people were like, we got rid of ours a few years back. We don't really use a home phone anymore. Yeah. And he, he was like trying to figure out who did. And I'm like, I I mean, it was nice for what it was, but we don't need it now. So, but they're very of that time. I mean, it's probably the same equivalent of saying, who has a Walkman now? Right. You know? We don't use Walkmans. We use, like, our phones for that. Yeah. Like, one less thing to carry in our pocket. Holy frick. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Uh, actually, go ahead and... Let's see. <laughs> Galaxy C4. <laughs> I see what you did there. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I told my coworker this the other day, but, like, I had this other co-worker who's she's maybe in her like early 60s i think and the computer was taking super long for her to clock out or clock back in or whatever she was trying to clock yeah. out and it was taking so long and i knew it was taking long i'd seen another co-worker struggle with it too they're kind of of the same age group and they're like oh my god this takes forever reload the page which completely gets rid of the progress you had sit, like loading up the page so they kept mm. thinking refresh 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 that, that was honestly making it worse um so the other day I was telling them, I was like, hey, you know, uh, I just saw another coworker have that issue. You just got to give it a minute. I know it's going to take a sec, but you, you got to trust me because I know technology. I've even been able, I've been able to fix the computer in that back room like not even a week ago. And everyone was right. like, Zach's a hero. Holy frick. But anyways, you know, I did that and I'm like telling them, oh, hey, you know, I, I know how that computer is working right now. Um, just give it a minute. And they kept refreshing it. And, I, like, they started complaining and complaining. And I was like, just give it a minute. And it finally popped up. They were able to clock out. They started laughing. And I look over at my other coworker like, oh my god, that's what I was trying to tell them. They leave the room, and I told her, I said, you know what I'm glad about our age group? I consider, like, anywhere between your 20s and 30s, maybe even people in their 40s, 
we're the adapting age. We can adapt to like newer technologies and new things that are going on. Maybe not as easily as some people, but like we're in an, we're in an age where like you know we get used to certain things. Where anybody who's maybe in their fifties onwards, I'd argue, they're like they're they're a certain way, and it they find it hard to like adapt to things. I think we're more of an adaptable like age group, and even kids nowadays, they're constantly adapting. <coughs> the only thing about wow. them is that. Kids have a lot of things that are handed to them nowadays and make it simplified. So if they don't have it, they're up a creek. I think we're that right age where, like, if something was taken away from us, like, oh, the internet's gone. We figure it out. They yeah. lose their internet. It's like, I don't even want to know how they think. That sounds terrible. Yeah. I remember the day my, my <coughs> dad told me, you don't watch cable or you don't watch TV. I'm like, no. Not really, she's no. Like, she's like, ah. My life would be totally over without that. What are you talking about? <laughs> Aww. I get it, I though. Can, I can live just fine without cable. <laughs> yeah, I know so many people who got rid of their cable. And it's kind of weird. Like, yeah, it's weird to say that. And things are changing and whatnot. But I'd be lying if I said, you know, mm, the streaming services are nice. I have a lot of episodes on hand. I can rewatch things. I don't have to watch commercials half the time. I mean... I hate to sound like a, your modern guru, but that is kind of nice. Yep. I mean, shoot, if people were given that option 20, 30 years ago, do you think they'd say no? They'd take, no. They'd take that frick up. That'd be the coolest thing ever. It would be. It's, it's kind of funny because ever since they started putting video on computers, things have drastically went in a di different direction for, like, entertainment in yeah. general. So... It's like you don't really need the high end celebrities as much. You have each other. You have other people who are just as talented. Yeah. Who can entertain you. You must be the pizza just... delivery boy. No, just the local jiggy honey. <laughs> Lies. I bet you've got my 12 foot spicy meat special in that backpack. Afraid not, oh, wart face. What? Then I'll eat you instead. Crap. Have an egg. Sorry, Burr. pizzeria called. They said uh, they don't deliver in your area. You're too far out. I'll soon have you licked. Uh-oh. Yeet. I want to say the same green they use for that tongue is the same green as Dragon Kazooie. <laughs> nope. Nope. There we go. I think that gets... Oh, I can do more. Nope. Do more. I gotta get out of here. Right. I think I think you could do two shots if I'm not wrong. I'm gonna wait that out. That could be bad. Yeah. Okay. I almost lost my perspective there. I'm okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, got carried away. Yeet. He he's eating. <clears throat> You're telling trying to tell him to go suck an egg. Egg. Egged. Ah, criminy. You lost perspective. I sure did. Oh. Choke on this. <laughs> you should just take you out to dinner first. Enough. Mm. I've changed my mind. Forget the pizza. But I'm sure my brother will still want his. I love the bosses of this world. Hmm, I reckon I'll go get a couple of big owl burgers. Don't do that. Don't, don't, don't do that. He, Where's owl burgers? So, big owl burgers are in Witchy World, which we did in the last stream. That's a rhinoceros who, when he makes his burgers... Uh-huh. It's a rhinoceros where when they make burgers, uh, they're sick, so they're sneezing and boogers are all over the burgers and they're all over the floor. And he and he sells them. There's literally a part where Kazooie says, oh, I think there's one underneath your foot. He goes, really? Where? <laughs> it's like, God, it's so bad. Yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. I got no ginger so far. Dang. Okay, um... Where would I like to go? I might go to the snowy side. Let me think. I don't think I've been in there. And then there is... 
the ginger from over here. Ah, uh, man, I can't control worth a hoot today. I, I don't know what I do in that situation, Zonic. If I saw that part, <laughs> I'd, I'd just be like, It's pretty freaking disgusting. Forget if you could just kind of. Oh, yeah. That's how I do it. Because the f water's hot. There we go. Also, apparently, he used to clean toilets. Yeah, that was his other job, was he used to clean toilets. Like, if I showed you a picture of Big Al, you would not want his burgers. Now, there's Salty Joe and his fries. He's clean. Somewhat. Somewhat. He's more a rude worker. Like, Big Al's nice, but he's disgusting, whereas Salty Joe is, you know, clean, but he's kind of, kind of snippy. He's like a bad worker. Um. If I'm going to be healthy at the end of the day... I'll go with Salty I'll Joe. Take my chances, yeah. I'll go with Salty Joe. That's uh, I'm okay with that. Salty Joe is unsurprisingly salty. Yeah, he's a salty fella. And Big Al's big. He's a rhino. Probably could have left the other way. Oh well. I'm gonna go to the icy side now. Because one of the things I'm missing that this side would make things easier is the well. I have to do backtracking here anyways, but, um, there's the suction cups that I can, like, walk off the walls, and it's on the icy side. <laughs> and now that I'm thinking about it, for some reason, the icy side just has so much more going for it. Fire side does it not. Does. Would I'll you rather be here. hot than cold, or would you rather be cold than hot? Um, that's a really good question. I've been kind of like shifting over the years. I used to be a person that was like, I definitely prefer hot over cold. Um, at days in, if you told me right now, I had to pick summer or winter. I used to very much be a summer person. I hated winter. Now I'm the opposite. I kind of prefer winter because I could just stay indoors and stay warm. And weather's not nearly as bad in my opinion, whereas summer, it's like summer gets fricked up. Yeah. So I, I prefer the winter more. Yeah. In summer, I oh just dear. Swell up. During, right. During the winter, I do not swell up, so it's like I'm much happier that way. Yeah. That's true. I prefer winter nowadays, which I never thought I'd ever say. I listen here, you. I have feelings. That's a jiggy we'll get later. I believe that's from Al. Can't you, can't you fire it? Can't you fire it? With no. 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 I believe we actually have to go to another world and it connects to this one. So that's Pterodactyl Land. No. And see, if this were Kazooie, you probably could just bust down the wall. Oh, we have another dragon. It's the brother and they want their food. What cheek fancies trespassing in Glacier without my permission, boy? Are you going to suffer? <laughs> uh, I'll go this way. Leave me alone. Wait. Come back here. Where'd you go? There you are. Imagine dragons. Yeah, that's a pretty good group. <laughs> Imagine dragons. I've been listening to a lot of ghost. I like ghost. The one song da, 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 I do not da. like by Imagine Dragons, I believe, is Demons. I know I'm I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for that. <laughs> oh yeah. I just don't like it. I just don't like it. I don't think I'm familiar with most of Imagine Dragons music, honestly. I don't know why. I know of like maybe two. When I think of Demons, I think of like out of control, not somber and quiet. Yeah. You know, so. Hi! Freaking ice crystals. <laughs> radioactive. Oh no, you gotta get that checked out. <laughs> radioactive. Radioactive. Bad, Jinjo. You can just keep them in the ice, honestly. I love that about this game. You see a Jinjo in ice, you're like, I can save them. You get them out of the ice. Oh wait, they bad. 
No Spooner. No. I knew you're singing the lyrics to it. That is not the demon song. <laughs> At least not the demon song I could accept. <laughs> can you accept it now? No. <laughs> Switch to good old Kazooie here. Listen. I'll get to that in a second. Let's go with fire eggs. Doink. Oh, that's right. You want grenade eggs. Boom. <laughs> sure, that's how that works. Somehow, how in the world do you miss that? Thank you. We'll go with there doink. Go. Doink. Get a little sloppy. You missed the game. Oh, wait, no, you didn't. That'll do it. And then Kazooie. Uh, I swear. Where there was a jump pad for you, but that might be something else. Wow. Wow. I can't believe wow. it. I'm a, imagine dragons. The champ. <laughs> <laughs> I love the one joke with Matthew the other night where he said, they're Lightning McQueen. I'm like, I'm like sure, if you shock them. <laughs> I think Lightning that's McQueen. where I'd fall. Okay, yeah. Oh, I'm gone. You're gone. That's okay. That means I'll get my health back and then and then some. They also did that one song, Enemy for Jinx from Arcane. I'm trying to culture myself, people, I swear. I'm getting there. You bet the bird can't fly. <laughs> They're dropping like a rock. Hello there. Boom. Also, like, half the deaths I get in this game are for me just not caring enough to, like, oh, I died, oh well. Because there's just no lives in this game, so if I fall, I'm like, well, that just means extra health for me. Like, as in Kazooie, I, I'm so uptight about it. I'm like, no, I don't want to die. I want to keep my nine life counter. Oh, right, we're on this side. Huh, that's awkward. I still need to come back through here, I believe, for a Cheeto page. Question mark. Da, 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 da. Oh, oh, wow. I didn't know Grunty could do that to your game save file. Oh, in the first game? Yeah. Yeah. I've done that once just to see if it worked, and it does. Is this a split pad thing? Frick. Forget it, punk. You won't be needed to learn this one. Just flee, girl. Alright, I'll get the split pad. The Xbox Live Arcade version doesn't have that effect, though. Oh, and if you do it in the N64 one online, you can actually just save your state. Therefore, she becomes null and void. <laughs> it didn't happen. Take that, grunty. Uh-oh. I didn't realize the trouble clef was there. Am I blind? Holy frick. Like, I knew this spot here was there. There we go. I'll take that. Oh, hanging on the edge of tomorrow. Live and learn. Man, why don't I give Flair a clockwork kazooie egg? Get that ginger real quick. Although, technically, I'll be getting a move here now. The only way to lose is to give up. <laughs> That's good advice. Well, I liked Matthew's one inspirational quote the other day. Like, it's such a Matthew thing to say, but it actually, like, I don't know, kind of hit home for me. Let's see if I can find it real quick, everyone. Because it was actually a pretty good inspirational quote. I gotta find it. Knowing us, we have so many inspirational quotes, I won't, it, it'll take me a sec. Was this November? No rock bottom had a basement. This might have been November. No, I'm pretty sure Matthew said this not too long ago. Oh, wait, that's right. I'm looking for Matthew's username. It's a quote, which means somebody else must have put it in here. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Mm -hmm -hmm. Here we go. Life is like a burrito. Fill it 
with what you want to fill it with. <laughs> that's that's my favorite Matthew quote. <laughs> it's inspirational and a burrito. Ow. Not enough flea bag. I want to see at least six. Oh, I need more notes. How many do I need? How close was I? Oh, shame on me. My bad. I kind of forgot I skipped from world four to seven. Honestly, I probably shouldn't even be here in this level right now. Hmm, I'll go out here. I'll make do with this level. I really want Banjo Tooie for the N64. Please. Yeah. Make me happy, Nintendo. Please, I'd like to play that game. It's so good. And it's like, it's a longer adventure, so it's portably, it's just awesome to take on the go. I don't right. take my Switch to go very often, but like, still, to have the ability to whenever, I'd be happy just knowing I have that on hand. I'm going to smash on the floor. What's hey. wrong, Banjo? Is it tough? No! Oh, no bad enough. <laughs> Darn your wind. Hang on here. There we go. Doot, 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 doot. Uh oh, that sounds painful. What if I go in here? <laughs> oh, that actually takes me here. Right, right. There's a quote. I saw that I had a picture of Adam Sandler on it, but I won't say it because it's kind of inappropriate and hilarious. Oh. The Adam Sandler. Hello, Mr. Bigfoot. Let me help you out. I'm big a foot. I have enormous foot. That's nice. Yes, it is, isn't it? And if you try to steal my shoes, you'll be seeing it up close. But those shoes won't even fit you. I don't care. You don't you not having them. I shall wait. There we go. I'm gonna wait for chili over here to kind of pop off. Here we go. I need to get back. Go, 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 me, go, go, go. Go fast. Got the next quote ready for when you get hurt. <laughs> oh, do you? Here we yes. go. Boom. Ouch. 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 My poor number's foot. Where's the first aid kit? You got the suction cup. Ow. I want to say... Oh, get away from me. Go up here instead. Da, ba, da, 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 da. Oh, Don't care I'm, to go there. I'm glad you like the story. God. <laughs> story? I, I don't really talk about my, my stuff I write. Um... I posted it up in uh, Arts and Crafts. Oh. Nice. Nice. Get this teleporting pad here. That'll make life nice. When they're already, so let's turn this way. Um. I don't know if I need to go up here. I don't think I can. I'm just, did, I'm just surprised. Did you read all nine chapters? Because that's, that's a long read there. So <laughs> I can fill up probably two books. There we go. Nice. I shall get those notes yet. 
Hello there. Hey, young man. I'm Mildred Ice Cube, but I have seemed to misplace my husband, George. There was this terrible blizzard, and he was whisked off into the sky. So, isn't it obvious? I want you to go and look for him. We gotta save her husband. Maybe he's all in pieces. No, he's alive. He's in Cloud Cuckoo Land. Ah, uh, okay. However... Ah, tell George his dinner is in the... She's dead. You killed her. Yeah. Why? I got a ginger from it. I'm gonna kill her husband next uh, stream. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'll toss him off the cliff. And he'll melt, he'll melt the hot... Oh, he'll melt into a thing of hot water that uh, cools off the water, and then the piggies from that last level who were like, oh, the water's too cold, Mr. Bear. It'll be uh, nice and cool now. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. You throw one more what, thing at me, Chili. What did these ice cubes do? That was so bad. They existed. Hey, it's Matthew's favorite character. What's he doing here? It's Mr. Pants. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wow. It's a masterpiece. <laughs> and then you got Boggy from the first game. Hello, Boggy. Take a look at my new widescreen TV. I've got loads of features. Or it's got loads of features. I'm sure it does. It has actually 100 hertz scanning. It'll be 5-1 surround sound. 9,999 9, channels. 15 SCART sockets. 3 remote controls. Yawn. Oh, sorry. But it's got no online shopping. And I'm really hungry. Sigh. What do you want? A big hot fish would be great. Man, Boggy, I love your TV setup. It's, um, it is a nice widescreen TV. Bulky, even. It's so, um, so iced. Yeah, it's a, pre it's a pretty cool, pretty cool <laughs> TV. Must, must be, must have got it during the blizzard of a sale. Yeah. <laughs> that Y2K sale. I'm sure they had a bunch of those. Okay. Got through like two before falling asleep and forgetting to go back to it, but from what I read, it was really good. Hello, Sled. From the first game that is now larger for some reason. Hello, Boggy's house that has Banjo Kazooie sheets. He's a fan. Yeah, they're a fan. <laughs> I'm glad you got through two chapters. I I get I get very I think it was probably the six chapter or something mm-hmm so it's there's probably the fifth or sixth chapter what I is that photo what is this i don't think i've ever taken a look at this i can't tell i don't know what that is but there's two beds here then there's the big bed that i'm assuming is the husband and wife bed and then this bed slightly smaller so i'm assuming this is for the large child that we have to save in witchy world eventually yeah. Who, who cannot get up for they've eaten too many hamburgers. So then I have to put them in a backpack. Oh. Jesus, Boggy, those noises you made are terrible, my guy. You need a doctor. Yeah. Need a doctor. So that's a mumbo pad. We'll get to that shortly. Oh, heck yeah, a specialist. As opposed to a normalist. I don't think my own fireballs do this. Eh. Worth a shot. I think I gotta get Mumbo first, then I cool them off with an egg. Which makes no sense. They're just iced. I could easily thaw them out. But you know, video games. Gotta do it the hard way. The hard way. Or the normal way. I'll take the normal way, please. The normal way is always good. There's the dead alien. How do you get him up? That's the neat part. Mumbo? Mumbo! Guess that's that regular slope. I don't need to worry about that. Humble Wumba's over there. We'll get to that transformation shortly. Which means... I'm gonna check out over here. Ah, that's bad. Oh well, I've already taken the pain. Might as well come over here. I'll take this. 
Health. That's not what I had in mind. We gotta move. It was cool. Ice chill, even. I didn't realize you were there. Hey, Banjo, you're looking glum. It must be hard being so dumb. <laughs> you waited so long to say that. Why so glum, chum? Uh, teleportation. Wait, Grunty actually says this? Why did she say this? Because she's mean. No, uh, she says this. Grunty admits she's a hog. I really need a big hot dog. Grunty, what are you trying to say? What does what does Gruntilda want? It sounds like she needs a, a dog of some sort. <laughs> the twelve inch weenie. A twelve inch weenie. <laughs> Eat the wiener. <laughs> While it's hot. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm gonna go get, get Mumbo, everyone. Let's go get Mumbo. Anytime I think of the word, like, the hot dog wiener or whatnot, I think of the stream we did of, uh, the, what was it, A Way Out? Oh, yeah. Where, where the, where your character opens up the grill and eats the, eats the hot dog. Oh, yeah. He's like, he ate the wiener, he ate the wiener. Oh, yeah, that's right, he takes off the dang, uh, little, little, what's it called, uh, grill. That was probably my favorite part in the whole, whole thing. <laughs> he like takes all and goes, ah, eats it. Like, he ate the wiener. <laughs> That's not even their home. He just eats their food. Oh, oh no. Mobo not welcome. Leave now or in big heap trouble. There was also the part you <laughs> went up to this old woman who had a bat in her lap. It's just like, hey, who are you waiting for? My husband. I'm waiting for him to get home so I can beat the crap. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like, She's ready to hammer him up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was such a good game. It was. I'd even argue, everyone, that's one of those VODs that on the YouTube channel, just go, just go watch that if you've never seen that stream before. It's, it's a treat. She has dialogue from Mumbo swimming in her magic pool. Oh yeah, like, get it out of the pool. You dead. Mumbo used powerful shaman magic. You alive. Didn't need punny earthly magic. Could have used special powers instead. Spaceman, ungrateful. Waste of Mumbo's time. Me should teach lesson. Sorry, strange friend. My special powers are low and we need your help. Our three children escaped from the ship before we crashed in the lagoon. If you can find and return them to me safely, I'll bestow the earth with wondrous gifts. Mumbo like gifts, not techie alien merchandise though. Ha! That is a very 2000s thing to say. Kids will be hiding from danger until they detect alien signal. Mumbo impressed. Mumbo magic better work. Okay. Nice. That's uh, somehow that's how that works. Also, a little bit of a what's it called a um a. Uh, What's we're looking for here? A little bit of a stupid thing to think about. So Mumbo just brought this alien back to life with Mumbo magic, right? Why the frick did we not bring bottles back to life with your magic? Right, you'll, you'll bring an alien back to life. You see Banjo, Kazooie, and Bottles together, and you could do something. Exactly. But you do nothing. Okay, that's not how that works. Um... Maybe it was Banjo. Because plot, yeah, to be fair. I think it's one of those things that kids aren't supposed to think that kind of thing, but me as an adult now is thinking, huh, you know? Drill pack? Okay, I figured. I was just curious if uh, the ice cube could do it for funsies. 
I feel like in Kazooie you could get away with a bit more like funny technicalities of things that could work, but in this game it's very like it's got to be done a certain way. Which is fine. I'm not complaining. Get away from me! Oh come on! I respect the game for that, to be honest. Yeah, same here, honestly. It's trying to be a bit more professional. Don't fall off. Okay. I hope this works. Hello. It's Saber Man. From the game Saber Wolf. I think. Many thanks, young sir. Why, I've been frozen in there since 1984. We both have seen crazy old man before, perhaps. It's quite possible. I come from a golden age where wolves were kings. The name's Saber Man. Adventuring is my game, or at least was my game. What cable man doing in an ice block? <laughs> that cursed Saber Wolf chased me all the way here, where I was frozen in my tracks by the ice dragon. I'm rather cold. Could you see your way to warming me up? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. Oh. I love all the little sounds this game makes. Same. I don't think I need Mumbo anymore. You excited for Christmas? Yeah, sure. I look forward to it. A lot more Another simmered. Hit. A lot more simmered on Christmas nowadays. Dodge. Why don't you weave? Why don't you weave and dodge? So many things can be straight up skipped in games like Breath of the Wild and Super Mario Odyssey with exploits so you can skip planned out mechanics. Yeah. Which I do like in its own way. It's got its own charm. Um, I guess I'll go back over there and try to save the aliens. He's Captain America. Or he's the caveman. America. Mm, America. There we go. What's wrong with it? <laughs> Beats me, you could try beak to mouth resurrection. Or not resurrection, blah. That kid Respiration. is dead. This is a job for a professional qualified doctor. Frick. That kid died. And your whole family kind of perished there, bucko. It's like the aliens don't care. This is like, Ow. is their remains still there? We'll bring him back to life. We'll come back later. There we go. You're good. That one's alive. Thanks, Earthling. You have a ginger plushie. Is it yellow? Do I have a yellow one? I do own a yellow one. I can't remember what ginger colors they were. Ah! Just go. Ah. Okay, um... Do, 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 do. Still don't have enough notes. Um, could do some snowball shenanigans. Ah, oh, how did you know that? That's what I was referring to. I only said one word. <laughs> I'm jumping in.
Whee! You just became a snowball. Well, I'm call this snowball. <laughs> Great title. So the fun part about the snowball is that depending on how big they are, that's your health. So we have one honeycomb, but if I were to roll around in the snow a little bit, we get a little larger. And that nice. makes our health go up. But if we need to simmer it down to size ourselves, we can. Sweet. It's an interesting so, mechanic. So if you run out of life as a snowball, you just go back into becoming Banjo, or...? Uh, you die. <laughs> and okay. then, you, then you come back into your snowball still. <sighs> Such is life. A doobie how a doobie. A doobie? A doobie. <laughs> Adobe. Was that enough? Nope. Can you hit me again? <laughs> like, better? Okay, fine. I'll let one of these guys do it instead. I think I have a doobie. It's just like, I think a Scooby Doo. Yeah, Scooby -Doo. same. Eventually, I'll get up here. Come on. Keep going. Come on. Keep going. Yeah, come on. Use what you got. Do I have to go around? Yeah. Fine. I'll do it the regular way. Okay. The boring way. The boring way. There we go. No. Too healthy. Come here. Thank you. I think that should be enough. There you go. Or do I need to be the full size? I wanted to go through here anyways. What does that accomplish? Nothing. <laughs> Apparently. Nothing. In that case, there more snow. Okay, now you're big. We can hit the switch. You're big, you're big, you're big. There we go. Ice train station. Doobie is another word for joint. I had no idea. I didn't know that either. A joint, you say? <laughs> What's this? A joint. I don't I always think of Scooby Doo whenever I it's like Scooby Dooby Doo. Where yeah. are you? The Scooby Doobies. Can I teleport? Sure can. Upper area sounds good. You gotta be very quick though, cause you know what? Doesn't belong on the fire side. Snow. Ooh, that's not good. Ow. There we go. Fire and snow. The icy side. That switch looks rusty. You'll need more weight. Fine. Give me some more snow to work with. Don't tell me I have to leave that part of the level perfectly. Ah, fine. Get away from me. Watch Fiery you go, upper side. And you'll know. Now you have to get more snow. You're gonna you're gonna rhyme from now on, aren't you? I made that up, by the way. I'm aware. <laughs> that was new. <laughs> Snowball. What Here we I go. Did, like a, uh, like for Halloween, I did like a Gruntilda kind of a thing, only more my way. That'd be fun. <laughs> there it goes.
Oh. Oh, that's right. I can't do that without the clockwork kazooie egg, which means that's a jiggy I can't touch. No. It bothers me so. I feel like this room's gonna be more of a setup for the next one. Okay. Wait, don't fall off completely. I almost forgot about the notes. There we go. Let's see. There was... Let me think who's left. Oh, I could do... Maybe this. There we go. Give me that, Jinjo. Yeah. You just need one more pink Jinjo. And I'll get a G. Let's see. Let's check stats. So far, we've got two out of ten. All the notes. Missing two Jinjos. No Cheeto pages thus far. Let's see. So one's the fish Boggy wants. One's technically in there, which will be from another... L no, actually, I can enter there. Different way. Um, that'll be through the train station. So... Let me think of what I got going on over here. I want to say I can switch back to Banjo for now. That's okay. Go ahead and get all healthy here, and then switch back. Oh, wait, I can't... That's right, you have to hurt yourself if you want to get back into Wamba... Or Humbas. That still doesn't work. Thank you. What, I have to get hit one more time? Get in there! Uh-oh. Dang. It's pretty dark. Where do I come back from, though? Get used to that. There's plenty more of those nasty spells in store. <laughs> dip. Potato chip. Dip, dip, potato chip. Boring. You know, I could use fire eggs to warm up the Saber Man. However, we have Dragon Kazooie. I shall give him a good burning. Okay, that's one child. The other one required... Is medical attention. Yeah, so that'll be a mumbo thing here. I forget about the other one. They're, they were up on the one top part, but I feel like... hope they're not in a backpack situation, because if that's the case, I have to wait for that Shiggy too. <laughs> I th the thing is, is that this is World 7. I just came back. I just got done doing 4. So, there's a lot of things I can't quite finish. Yeah. But I'm getting a lot done still. Hello, Mr. Saberman. Okay, fine. Egg it is. There you go, buddy. He looks like the character of Jane's dad from Tarzan. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It does look like them. Being frozen for so long has tired me. I need a cup of tea and 40 winks. Ha! See what you did there. Could you possibly help me out just one more time? Of course. This sounds like a job for you, Banjo. Can you carry me back to my tent? It's over on the fiery side of the mountain. If it hasn't burnt down by now... Right, I can't eat. Ah, that's another jiggy I can't do because I don't have the backpack move, so. Wow, there's a lot to wait on. So, is this where you have to separate from Kazumi? Yeah, you would basically turn to Banjo, just have Banjo, and then put the guy in your backpack and take him over to the other side. Let him be on the warm side. Boggy wanted a fish, I swore. I don't remember anything about a fish, honestly. He wanted a big fish. Any progress with my fish yet? No. 
Oh, uh, keep looking, won't you? Now, if I set my satellite to 11671, I reckon it should be time for Baron, Babes, and Eskimos. Okay. Bear, Babes, and Eskimos. And yet the <laughs> wife's at Witchy World. I can't wait to send her back with all of her kids back home and let me get caught watching that television channel. Oh, God. that that That's bad, Spooner. <laughs> I I have like a Spider-Man joke for you. It's just like, who is that Pokemon? Shows a shadow of Diglett. <laughs> like, it's Diglett. It's Uncle Ben's gravestone. Oh no! <laughs> Trying to think, is there anything I can do now? I need more notes. Oi! I suppose for now. I shall leave this world. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that Pokemon? It's Uncle. I said Uncle Bill. Uncle Bill? Oh, who cares about Uncle Bill? Uncle, Uncle Bill, who Bill gives always. a frick? <laughs> it's about, about dang time. <laughs> it's Ben. Everybody loves, okay. <laughs> he made good rice. Uncle Ben's rice, right? Jambalaya rice and like fiesta rice and yummy rice. Da, da, da. Let's go to actually go back out. How many jiggies do I have now? Not 45. Okay, in that case, we'll go to. I know where I'm going. Let's see. We'll go to Pine Grove. Da, 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 da. Here we are. Actually, let me check backtracking in general. I don't. Nah, never mind. We don't have to worry about anything for now. I'm gonna go in here. Yep. It's Kazooie. Boom. I ate Uncle Ben the rice, I mean, pretty good actually. Uh, Uncle Ben's rice. You can microwave it now, too. Oh, can you? Yeah, there's like an instant microwave rice you can do now. But you know the funny thing is, I haven't What's used that? a microwave in about a few weeks now, and I'm actually feeling a lot better. That's good. It's Klungo Revenge Seeking Minion. Oh no, not you again. Her, her, her mistress said, Klungo must stop you or I get more beatings. We'll give you a beating too. No, Klungo, <laughs> win this time. It has new potion to try. What's the potion this time, Klungo? Is it the one where you split into a million of you? I'm sure it is. You're the real one. You're the real one. I shouldn't close my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. Pretty easy fight. Now you're gonna get even a bigger beating from Grunty. Yeah, you get a beating, then you get another beating, then when I meet you again, I'll give you a beating, and then you're gonna decide that's no good. <laughs> It can't be good for your health, Klungo. Why not retire? No, mistress needs me. Klungo returned for more beatings. <laughs> they work on new potion. Oh, Klungo. Klungo. Klungo is such a blockhead. They're going to take a couple of knocks. <laughs> oh, yeah. A few screws may come loose, but, you know, you make your own decisions. You, you sleep in your own bed at days in Klungo. Ah, here we go. Clockwork Kazooie eggs. The ultimate egg for you to hold a clockwork bomb that's remote controlled. You want to know something? 
What's that? This is the same music they have for when you go see Funky Kong and Donkey Kong 64. Right? <laughs> they reused it. <laughs> You're not saying anything. Did I say something wrong? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Now, which Jinjo's the real one? I already know. I already know what the real one is. And you want to know how? How? I collected the last yellow Jinjo in Jolly Rogers Lagoon. So you're the fake. The fake. Don't worry, buddy. I'll save you. Like I'm so movie. glad that was a color I already finished. I'm like, ha, now I definitely know. It's like the crow scene. I'm the real Jinjo. No, that's the fake Jinjo. <laughs> <laughs> that's what the fake one would say. There's no tier, which for most people, if you enter here and you're like, oh man, I'm missing notes. Most people don't even care to look here. Kind of in weird spots. Because we have 600 notes. I only needed 620 to get the one boots. Kind of want to just get enough notes to go back to the one area where I could finish a whole lot. And then... Ah, oh, what was the other thing that I needed? I need the backpack move, which is also in this next level. So I think I will sit tight in this next level. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. It's time for Dino Land. The land of the can dinos. I, can I ride on the big brontosaurus? Sure. You don't mind breaking your neck. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll take the I'll take the sharp tooth then. Here you go. <laughs> God, this is a level I am not a fan of, and it's not bad. It's just very all over the place. It's a big world. I'd argue this is probably the biggest world in Banjo Tooie, or at least I feel like it is. It's dinosaurs. Dino. I guess it's a big world because you have dinosaurs. <laughs> Springy step shoes. Heck yeah. <sighs> uh. I will never unhear it now. Frick. I am sorry. I am My so sorry. 20 God. plus years of hearing it and I'll never freaking untear it. No. It's true. It's all freaking true. I didn't mean to. I just like, this is, this reminds me a lot of Funky Kong Steve with Donkey Kong 64. I want a comic where you say that and I see a logo that says the year 2000 and I'm like, Hmm, I rip off the sticker that says it's 1999. I'm like, this ain't the year 2000. It's 1999 still. <laughs> yeah, you're fake. Dang it. You're a fake and a fraud. Come here. You're a fake and a fraud. God, I always say that quote, even though it's from somebody who's not very good. I'll have to show you the context of it sometimes. Or sometime. <laughs> there goes my stream plans for tonight. Oh no. No. What happened? What happened? Yeah, is there one more thing? Oh, right, you. Uh, uh, uh. Hmm. Sure. Let me try it. Too far. Too far. Too far. Al, too far. Explode.
There we go. There you go. Let's get that view, everyone. They got it. <laughs> I was going to be muted. Wait, I was going to do a muted stream playing Ghostwire Tokyo. I can't link my Bethesda account due to some ungodly reason. My Steam account was linked on my Bethesda account. I submitted a ticket to get it fixed. Oh, account stuff. I get you. Yeah. Ah, uh, you gotta love account stuff. I've had. A few scares recently myself because it's just like, oh, you need to send to this. You gotta re frick. Ow. Mm. How freaking dare. You freaking push the button. When will you learn that your actions have consequences? I could do this part. A yeet. Yeah, fun stuff first. You, you suffer now, Bethesda. They're, all, they're, they're the fun accounts to deal with. Yeah. Or Activision with freaking the Blizzard account if you've... How about Origin? Oh, no. Ah, oh, God. That's how Origin feels. Yes. Pain. I hate the ones where it's like, oh, you, you, you got Steam? Cool. Now you have to sign up for an Ubisoft or EIA. Or the, or the freaking Epic Games being like, oh, you got Steam and you have Fall Guys? Well, we run through uh, the freaking Epic Games store now, so you better have that too. You better sign into this. You better do that. It's like, oh my God, just let me play the game. I don't want to make any more accounts. I should just have one account if I want one account. Yeah. Epic Games account should be for those who need Epic Games accounts. For those who didn't get an awesome Steam train that we had before. Choo -choo. Wahoo! Think I got everything in this little area. Yes. Although I wouldn't more mind more Clockwork Kazooie eggs. Greed over fun. It's God. I feel like sometimes corporations are always greed over fun. Yeah, I the one I can respect the most that while it's still corporation esque is like when something is done really well and people love it, but you like you feel the hint of okay, you did that because you're a corporation, but at the same time yeah. it's like at least you did something fun. Like Nintendo's kind of that company where it's like a lot of their decisions is very corp, but like at days end yeah. we love what we get most of the time, so. Uh, it's... Well, it's also the big thing I have wrong with Nintendo is the backwards compatibility thing. Yeah. It's just like if you want to go back and experience your games, you can try. Nintendo does give you that, but nothing else really gives you that same feeling, and you can only do it for so long until you have to replace something. Exactly. Can you use my Xbox Game Pass? That's owned by EA and Ubisoft because account BS <laughs> emulation. Yeah, I was emulation. actually I, I was kind of going there, like I've been binge watching old Scott the Waz episodes and I watched the emulation one I think last night or this morning I don't remember, but uh, yeah. it, it might have been last night. And um, he basically speaks the truth on a lot of it, but it's it's a weird area, unfortunately. Yeah, it's kind of a huge gray area. Yeah. I mean, he, this is this is the most legal way you could probably do emulation. You have the game, and you can play it on a different device. Yeah, that's true. Like an emulator itself is not illegal; it's getting the wrong no. illegal. But like, let's say, for example, uh, you got a you got a machine that plays GameCube discs. Uh, somehow, but you own the GameCube disc, you're perfectly fine. Yeah. That doesn't exist, but if it did... Usually that's easier yeah. with, like, retro systems like NES, Super Nintendo, Genesis, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, that kind of thing. Right. Not so much the newer stuff. Now, let's say you started your game you loved on the eShop on the DSi. Well, um... Unless you saved it to a flash card that can actually connect to a DSi game, 
boy system. Uh, bye bye. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, you're not a pirate if somebody else did it for you. Thanks, Uncle. Oh, no. I mean, you're not wrong. My brother one time gave me a uh, 3DS. No, wait. It was, I think it was a, might have been a 3DS cartridge that apparently, like, it gives you a bunch of emulated games. Uh, long story short, I wasn't a fan of it anyways, just because it, yeah. some of the games were kind of bugged. But, I mean, like, it did work at Days End, but I, I felt weird about it. No, I was like, uh... Where is he? There we go. Got the train station. Hey. Help. Dude, let's see. Should be a warp pad up here. There we go. That's Wumba's hut. We'll deal with that in a second. Ah, uh, such a large land. I'm actually going the other way around. I normally go left or right. I'm going right to left. That's okay, though. Dolphin? Mmm, Luigi's Mansion on Dolphin. Ah, that's a trouble clap. I could use that. Don't touch me. Okay. There we go. Oh, come on, people. That's... What? That's taking uh, the, the Uncle Ben joke to another level, okay? Oh, no. I'm looking at. I was tagged in the meme section by Spooner. Oh no! And, and <laughs> they put in Uncle Ben's rice, and they have a crying Peter in the background in his Spider-Man outfit. You gonna cry now? No. <laughs> gonna put some dirt in your. <laughs> Get up there, Banjo! No! Banjo! Hang on, you got this. I believe in you, Banjo. I could do this. So, with Clockwork Kazooie Eggs, this is, you can get this a completely different way, but Clockwork Kazooie Eggs, you can cheese a lot now. Yeah. That's not what I had in mind. There we go. And then you got it. Nice. I love a good clockwork kazooie egg. Although, if memory serves me correctly. There you go, kazooie. Doot. It's the brown Jinjo. I'll let Kazooie specifically save them. Yeah. Number three out of four. So one more of those and we'll get a Jiggy. There we go. Bingo. Come here. Yeah. Um. You made this fun, didn't you? All right, in that case, I don't really use gold feathers in this. Oh, that doesn't work in this scenario, apparently. All right. My bad. Invincibility feathers, my left foot or left wing. Yeah, that would be more clever. Globo. Mo. Got found wing. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Here we go. To Cheeto Page. I'm gonna be right back. Okie dokie. 
da 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 Do 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 do. I'll take Mambo, sure. Go ahead and drop out of stream and work on my stuff. Have fun the rest of your stream, my dude, and have fun time with you and Trixie. Yeah, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Good luck on the working of stuff. Working on stuff is good. Hello, Mumbo. Hello, Peter. Hang on, I need to like, I realized my model was like ever so slightly. I think if I dive it down a bit, that should be better. I kept like looking up half the time. I'm not looking that up. Ow. Ow, God. Where do you people come from? <laughs> Don't answer that. Do, 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 do. Oh, fudge. I was actually shaking my head around really aggressively. Some of those hit, they actually look like they hit me. Oh, crimey. Just got ransacked. Oh, my God. I have to say the, the throwing system is definitely something people enjoy, and I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. I'm going to try. It's been a bit of a pain, but I'm going to try to keep... Um, items look exclusive to each stream. So like this one has like the jiggies. The Zelda one has like the uh, the rupees. But like at some point I might come up ow with the freaking uh, official type thing to be thrown at me. I know at one point we had the plushies. So I wouldn't mind bringing those back in. As fun as the exclusive items have been, uh, trust me when I say, um, oh my. Trust me. By the way, it, if you look at the shape of these rocks, it is what you think it is. It's, I don't think they did it on purpose, but it's kind of naughty. If you actually ever get the chance to like look up what a bird's eye view of this map looks like. I'll try to get a somewhat view here. See if I can get up higher here. Yeah, as fun as the exclusive sounds are. Maybe even for like Sonic games, I could even get out like rings or something. Ow. Here we go. So yeah, look at that right there. There's two spheres and the long part right there. Two spheres, the long part right there, and it's like no freaking joke. You can't make this up. <laughs> it's the groin. <laughs> exactly. Let's see, we have Mumbo for that. What else does Mumbo do in this level? I know he can make the wigwam bigger. That sounds wrong in its own right. Um, bird up. bird up. Heck yeah. I'm trying to remember what else Mumbo can do. I swear Mumbo can do one more owl thing. I think for now I'll put Mumbo away just to just to have him ready. Jerk. I'm randomly in the mood for like Fazoli's. Even though, once not, uh, what's the word, close enough to feel like a trip to Fazoli's. Uh, wait, why am I teleporting? I can just go in here. Sploog. Doot. Doot, 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 doot. Archie Sonic is trending on Twitter. Uh oh. That could go a few directions. <laughs> I just pray it's not who I'm thinking it is, who it could be. The possibility of the mother fricker. The one, the only scumbag. Um, I might go here. It's not chicken tenders related, is it? That's what I'm wondering. It better not be that chicken tenders guy. All right. I wonder if I can do a thing up here real quick. Da 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 your mom. What about my mom? Uh oh. <laughs> I didn't think you'd show up when I said that. <laughs> I'm just 
Holy frick. What a brute. Look at this fella. I barely made that. Do, 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 do. Hello. Goodbye. Nice. All go shape of the pair, but still two of us left. I didn't need to know that. So that's just eggs now. I don't need to worry about that. Um, We'll take the notes here. And then I think... I'll say a good chunk of progression we can have is going in here next. Behind the waterfall. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Let me check my phone. On the off chance that I've been summoned. 14 messages. Oh, were we talking about food? Oh, that's way past old information. <laughs> okay. Mm. I had to schedule something recently. That oh, I did you? Yeah! Now we're falling there. Did you? Haircut. I think I'm going to get a haircut this weekend, actually. I'm at that point I could use one. No mention of said s s creepy f answer or crazy person who believes he has made a whole race of creatures. Good. For the record, Archie Sonic was trending. It's like, it better not be what I think it is. Better not be that chicken tenders guy. Yeah. Got some notes down here. Is it what you think it is? <laughs> I'm assuming it's probably an appreciation post or something that just somehow got trending. I was telling Matthew the other day my favorite line of the Sonic Archie comics from Sonic when he... You know, like, Scourge and all the bad versions of everyone, except they're not, like, different looking. They're more like the classic Sonic look. He's got, like, the black jacket and all that. Yeah. I like the part where Sonic, classic Sonic punches, uh, I did not want to do that. I like the part where classic Sonic punches, uh, the bad version of Sally, and he goes, You're no lady, lady. Like in his in in his perspective, that's a bad version of his girlfriend. He just smacked, just hit her right upside the right. face. It's like, man, did you want to do that? You look like you really wanted to do that, Sonic. And I don't know how I feel about that. Well, let me see. If a girl is trying to kill you, what are you supposed to do? Take three hits, and then by the fourth hit, I'll fight back. Although it depends on the hit. Like if it's like a slap, I might wait. But if it's like two or three hits, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to defend myself. You leave me no choice. I've not been in a scenario like that. I never want to be. Oh no! Wait, I can just cheese this. Oh, you are a piece of frick. You know that? There we go. You can just cheese it. That's better. Taxi pack. No Kazooie means space in your pack. A way to fill it is what you lack. Pick large things up off the ground. In they go and carry him around. Now I can get that one kid and take him back to Boggy's wife and then they can go home. And then I can pick up the alien that is scared and take them back to their family. I have a lot of things I can do now. Ah, this banjo, I don't want you to swim by yourself, buddy. I know you're a bear, but we're good. You can bear it. You can bear it. You can do the thing, Banjo. You can beat the Totinos. Totinos. I'll go this way. I don't think this is the way I came in. So that'd be great. Yeah, it's not. The Archie comics are okay when he isn't involved. Yeah. 
People seem to really like the IDW Sonic Bow. It's gotten very good reception. Actually, Sonic in general has been getting very good reception, and this is a nice world we live in, finally. Or at least yeah. somewhat more. Can we... I just It'd be a nicer world if I can get rid of this pterodactyl. Come here. Nope. Oh. Wow, that pterodactyl was on fire. <laughs> Must be a new uh, breed of dinosaur. There we go. Da 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 da. Boom. A lot of health in there that I can't collect. Right. I don't think there's anything down here that I need. Okie doke, I shall go this way. Ah, oh, Globo, sweet. Nice. I'll take that. We need, that. we need this little fella. I don't think I need to go down there. Sure, let's see what's in here. Da, 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 da. Um Forget how I get around you. You seem okay, me let you in. Oh, I forgot you're friendly. Sweet. Yeah. Wasn't sure about that for a sec. I'll press this switch, and this officially connects us to the first world of the game. Oh, uh, let's see. I don't need to be here. There was... Where am I thinking? I don't think it's that way. Hang on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got this. Um... This would be... No. No, maybe it was up here. Okay. Here we go. Got the split up pad. Oh. There you go. Switch over to Kazooie. Um. What is this way? Oh, wait, there's that direction. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I know where I am now. Jeez, me. Okay, we can learn like this move. 420! Shoes. We got hatch. I can't believe that you're a bird who can't hatch eggs. It's so absurd. So hold down Z and press the B. Or then press B, then a... I didn't get through the rest of you. Are you throwing things at me again? Get the silo, darn you. Bird, I'll finally see. A. Then I shall finally be... Bird, and I can bird up. I know why they stopped giving Gruntel the rhyming. They gave it to that guy. <laughs> yeah, right. Go. Uh -huh. Let's see, so now that I've finished that. I'll take the shoes. First time you're using them. I usually never use the shoes there for the first time. It's always a little bit closer to the entrance of the level. I'm different this playthrough. Which is not bad, for we are doing pretty all right. Yes. It's time's up, but that's okay, because we made it to where I need to be. You down there stealing my eggs, are you? Then take this. Oh, great, it's another Terry. You got no. Chili and Billy, and then you got Terry. They all spit things at me in each level. Don't, don't diss him. Otherwise, if you die, you'll, be, you'll, be, you'll die of dysentery. No! I'll die of your puns. 
I'll go to that side after. First, I shall beat up a pterodactyl. What eggs do I need? A uh, grenade, ice. We'll go with some ice. Terry's nest. Hello, Terry. Terry's actually one of my favorite bosses for a particular reason. Give me back my eggs, you filthy light-fingered bear. Uh, what eggs are those? Don't play the fool with me. I want my eggs back or else. Or else what? You're due to become extinct soon anyway. Maybe so, but not before you two. Okay, here we go. Ow. Let me do my thing. Thank you. Switch to grenade. This usually chips down the health so much faster. There we go. Those eggs hurt. I'm off for a rest. For a rest while the mucoids get you. Okay. Fight me. I got some for everybody. Hey, where did all my snotty buddies go? I destroyed them. Ow. Oh, you're getting good. Dang. More of them, really. You know, if you just do more of the same move, that doesn't make it more powerful. This makes it more annoying. True. Doing the same thing over and over and over again is just as, uh... Isn't it the definition of insanity? It sure is. There we go. No eggs for them. Ooh. Nice shot. I'll finish you off now. Stop it. I've had enough. Now they're all sad. I tried my best, but I'll never get my eggs back from you now. We haven't got your eggs, Terry. You haven't? Oh dear, sorry about the rough stuff. That's alright, I enjoyed it. Perhaps we could keep a lookout for your eggs. Would you? That's real nice of you. There are four eggs to find, which must be ready for hatching around now. Leave it with us, Terry. Please find the eggs for me before I become extinct. I'll give you half the reward now, and half later. You say this as I know a thing. Although you're not wrong. And now they're going to show off the little eggs we got to hatch. To help you get my eggs back, I'll also let you use this. Flight pad's good. There they are. Yay! They're making a noise in there, but they can't be hatched. I got to help them. <laughs> the Oogle Boogles Cave. I'll get one of them a Big Al Burger. Cool. So, fun fact, you grab this jiggy. We're now at number 42. We jump down here. Jiggy 43. We get back out of here. <laughs> boom, boom. Back-to-back -back jiggies, everyone. That's how you do it. And then we'll come back later when we help with the eggs. I agree. It's like my favorite thing to do is just... Because in this game, the jiggies are very spread. You can actually get a few back-to-back -back jiggies in Kazooie, but in this game, it's very hard to do. That's the only instance I can think where it's like, here's a jiggy. Here, have another. Uh, 
I'll get this part out of the way. That was dangerous. Oh boy. Oh boy. Usually I destroy them. You can live with your failures. I'll get out the ice eggs. Also, I'm very excited for this weekend. We have a lot of Sonic Prime to watch. We got a Christmas special with everyone. We got a lot of cool stuff coming up. Yeah. I think it's like 7 o'clock your time. That's a good time to watch. 7 p.m. or 7 a.m.? 7 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, if it was at 7 a.m. and I'm at work, I'm going to be ticked. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I'll try the Banjo-Kazooie part first. Here we go. Yeah, honestly, it's been really nice because, like, I played so many, like, new games on stream for a while there that, like, I was like, man, I really want to just sit down and play something that I'm comfortable with and I grew up with, just something classic, and I've been playing so many of my favorites lately. Yeah. Home Alone is technically more violent than Die Hard. In a sense, kinda. There's a lot of things that happen in that film that, quite frankly, you should be dead from. Somehow they live from it. Dino foot. Oh, that's gonna hurt like heck. There we go. Hey, Jiggy. Give me that. 44. Blue Jinjo for Kazooie, and then Banjo, we can unlock that side with that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a hit here. It's Flat Frick Wednesday. Oh, it takes me back here. I didn't know that. Ah, fudge. Okay. I'm going to teleport, but still. Stumping planes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, now with full health again, I shall try the banjo run. I don't think I can. Oh my god. I'm not gonna make this, folks. Banjo's too slow. Hmm. But I really want it. Very badly. That one jiggy you said earlier, like, can you blast the ice down and get it? That would be that jiggy over there, connecting-wise, and I want it badly. Yeah. Uh. Oh, that's a dinosaur. I thought it was ah. Goodbye, me. I have it. Effort and curves flat. You soon took the dinosaur's foot and went flat. <laughs> Here we go. Ah! Oh, wait! Wait, did I learn something just now? Hmm. Hmm. If I were to get hit before... It reaches the floor. What does that do? Let's see. No, that still hurts like heck. Hmm. There was one part where I only took one piece of damage. I'm wondering how that works. If that was the case, I could do this. Is it because I did my backpack? 
I'll never know. All your life, God. Oh yeah, he hurts. You you take one hit, the next hit you dead. There was a way where I was able to do it where like I only took one piece of damage. I'm trying to figure out how that worked. I want to say. Can you go invulnerable? I gotta replicate that somehow. Oh well, I have another idea. Not that it'll get me far, but worth a shot. That's not what I had in mind. Go ahead and kill me. In the ditch you go. Okay. Let's try... Not what I had in mind. I'm not gonna make it. Uh. Hmm. There's a move you get later where Banjo can sleep in his backpack and heal. So you, in, typically you're actually supposed to take a beating, heal up, take another beating, heal up, take another beating, heal up until you get to the other side. Yeah. But I'm trying to see if I can cheese it now. Frick you! Uh, the game said no. Oh well. What? All you did was just jump up. Yeah. Basically step on you. I want to know how I did that one where I only took so little damage. That was awesome. Live, die, repeat. <laughs> hmm. We could do the Kazooie part first. Let's try to get the hard part out of the way. Because yeah. Kazooie's fast. All you gotta do is this. Nah, it's okay. That saves the Jinjo. Hmm. Maybe you were supposed to be Kazooie first and then try to avoid that. Fudge. Wait! I did the thing. How'd I do that? He only took one damage. It was like right before he steps on you. Yeah. Ah, that's difficult though. Let me try it again. Ah, it's hard to test it out when you get one hit. It's like, oh, there goes the rest of your health. Hmm. Jump before he steps on you. Yeah, I need to try. I need to get my timing down right. Let's see. That's not it. Ah, the bitch. <laughs> Poor guy. I feel like Banjo's getting too much of a flat face. Yeah. Okay. Bird up. <laughs> Bird up. Bear it up. Okay, I'll... I'll try one more time to try to do this invincibility thing, and if not, then... Mm, yeah, I need to go home to mom. <laughs> Holy frick. Yeah. <sighs> Ooh. Oh, you did it! You did it! You did it! Okay. Hello. That's okay. I don't know if I can make that. <laughs> There's nothing to work with. Fudge. 
I'm gonna get out of there, Banjo. Oh, Banjo. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know how many people thought this was the. Oh, okay, Kid Me definitely thought this was the only way you could do this. I know they're the legitimate way. I just want to see if I can beef it. Don't touch me. <laughs> what I would have given. Okay, I might be able to still get across. No! You want to see it, everybody. It'd be so cool. No. Okay. Dino anyway. Stomp on a Don. <laughs> what I would have given. Ugh. Get me in the hole! I just wanna- I just wanna die in that hole. Let me die in that hole. <laughs> no. Okay. You wanna go to heaven. You wanna go to heaven, but God tells you, do it again. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get stomped on stop. stop still You'll get stomped on stop stop I can't say it. You'll get stomped on stop on a don before you die. <laughs> Um, for the time being, since we have the flight pad and the eggs we can hatch, let's go to, hmm, outside the world exit. Here we go. Hmm, hmm. <laughs> There'll be some split pads in here too. Um, am I thinking the right area? Oh, I am. Are you gonna go get that that thing for banjo? Thing. That backpack upgrade so he can heal himself. That might be another world. <laughs> they make you uh... backtrack a lot. Okay, there is that. I still Try remember this. the commercial for this game. It was like, Banjo jumps out of an airplane to skydiving and is like, let's go, Kazooie. Yeah, I <laughs> love that commercial. Kazooie? I've said this story yeah. before, but I've watched a commercial so many times. <laughs> I wanted this game so badly as a kid. Um, is there a switch I can press? Well, that's just rude. It'd be Grunty's Industries. Is this I don't want. No, it's not. Well, I don't think it is, but I already knew it anyways. Yeah. Oh, right. Um, um, I'm going to get Banjo. It's just the move is in Grunty Industries. It's kind of what I took that as. Da, 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 da. Yeah, out of all the levels in this game, I'd say this is probably my least favorite. No, I don't like Grunty Industries. <laughs> There's part. I wish you had a boat. That way you could just stay up one. Yes. <laughs> Yay, a pathway. Ah, uh, okay. Let's go up here. Chomposaurus. Chomp, chomp. You don't look very friendly. Looks can be deceiving. He ate us. That's okay. Inside Chompa's belly. You can hear me in there. I will digest you if you help me out with this little stomach problem. Do you want to hear what you got to do? No. 
Ready, three, two, one, go. Blue is three points. Red is one, green is two. I usually just spin in a circle and you get a pretty dang good score. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not meant to do it this way for say, but it gets results. Uh. Hey, Matthew just started. Hey. Where's a green? There we go. I'm happy. I got 69, 69. points. Wait, that's failing. How much more did I, how much did I need? Oops. Yes. I thought all right, you asked for it then. Probably was 70 knowing my luck. I did it for the joke people. Come on now. Yeah, forty six. My eyes. this awful thing earlier I thought it was a biscuit <laughs> please take it with you when you leave they thought it was a biscuit what a good dinosaur do you want to play again why <laughs> I thought you said you felt better well, some people like it people shooting inside them well, I mean, I guess if it gets rid of the bad parts of you, sure. Ah. Oh. Goodbye, Mr. Dino. Doot. Doot. Aw. Oh. I was gonna jump into the water, fun style. Wahoo! Oh, that's one of the eggs I can hatch. Um, we'll hatch an egg. Let's see. Oh, I know what I can do. We'll split them up. Go to Kazooie. You can't climb a vine, so we're gonna go ahead and just kind of. There we go. Go all the way back up. And we fly so much higher, faster, because we have no bear. No bear this time. There we go. Oh, wrong button. So you have to nest them like that? Yeah. That's one of the children. A cute's a word, sure. Alright, Banjo. Go. Uh -oh. I think I have one of them st stuck to the split pad here for a second. You ever gone cliff diving? Nope. I have. 
I would perish. It's scary at first, but if it's not too, too high, you'll be fine. I will hit head on rock and die. <laughs> and there's not a... I mean, depending where they cliff dive, they usually remove a lot of big rocks so you have a safer place to land. Fair enough. Can I, I know a lot of people have a fear of heights. And that's why they don't do it, but... I feel like I could overcome that if I had to. Huh. For the life of me, I thought I could get up here. Um, I have an idea. I will say my other friends were very crazy. They would actually take the cliff dive or whatnot we had to get to. Some of us chose to take the safe route. Some of us decided to take the more dangerous route. And one of them decided to jump from the highway bridge. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh, that's not open yet. I see. And I was just like, are you dumb? There could be currents over there that could sweep you up and drown you. Some people like to live dangerously. That's true. That's their way of living until they can't. It's like a lemming. A lemming. Woohoo! Let's take their chances. Oh, frickin' fiddlesticks. Yahoo! It's like the Koopa Troopas. They're like, hey, you know, I'm a green Koopa Troopa. You know what I do? <laughs> I, I fall off cliffs like a lemming, dude. <laughs> <laughs> The red ones are the ones that aren't stupid. The red ones actually turn around and go back. <laughs> there we go. That's number two. Yeah, you said the other one was cute too. Or said that about all your kids. By the, by the way, kids, have you ever found your dad? By the way, have you ever found your dad? Hmm? <laughs> what if it's possible to cheese it from up here? I haven't tried this. I don't think. Cheese it. Cheese it. Yeah, you can. Nice. What else can I do is just Kazooie? Now that I don't have fat bear. I'll go down here. Wait a minute, I think I have an idea. Oh, okay. This is something I don't think I can do yet. You need water. You need water to be able to come in here and grab the Cheeto page, however. I should turn around better. Almost. Come on. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Is it possible? Should be. Got it. Yeah. Yeah, you usually have to wait for this to fill up with water, but I was like, I'm gonna try to cheese that too. Ah. Oh well. I'll get my flight back somehow. Let's see. Oh, it's Drippy. Or Dippy. One of it. I think it's one of the two names. They thirsty. Dippy, seeker of beverages. That's my title. Blah, so thirsty. I need water badly. Why not go and look for something? It's not going to just drop out of the sky. The sun burns poor Dippy, so I must stay in my cave. Please give me a drink. We'll help Dippy eventually. Eventually. 
I might save him after Christmas is done. <laughs> It's a bit of a, a bit of a wait for a drink. <laughs> All right, that's how you get that Jinjo. Um, let's see. There are those shoes nearby, if I'm not wrong. Oh, there they are. Wahoo! What if I go in here? Ow. More jiggies. More jiggies. Really, that just connects that? Cool. Jiggin this and jiggin that. Jiggin, jiggin, jiggin with this and that. Ooh, what's in here? Oh, right, you. So if I stay here... Since he's facing my way, I'll spit out one of these. I'm not gonna... Oh, I made it. I thought I jumped way too early. Here we go. You made it. Boom! Mine! This we need to open up with dinosaur form. Wahoo! Let's see, don't need to go to the top anymore. I think I'm doing better than I thought I would. View totals. Five out of ten, all the notes, two missing two Jinjos, missing one Cheeto page. That's not bad. Considering a lot of the Jiggies are always kind of, not all of them, but a few of them will always be backtracking. So there's you, who I need to scare off as a dinosaur. I don't think there's anything I gotta do with Banjo, so I might have to go back to Banjo. Oh yeah, and the last Jinjo is gonna be, oh, I know what I can do. Um, Get that flight pad one more time. Right. Well. May miss it by just a little bit. But just that, much. that just gives me an excuse to use my moon shoes. From Nickelodeon? Yeah. And you won't break your leg? And you won't break your leg. And it just requires a bunch of freaking... What's those called? Rubber band thingies. Yep. Doink. Wait, did that not? <laughs> Please don't tell me I have to use a freaking grenade egg. I will. Gonna miss. That's enough. We're good. Right there. That should do it. Jinjo! I got you, little guy. That might be me making mistakes. <laughs> this is quite the view. Oh, I can still fly. That's okay, we need to go in here anyways. Make some eggs. All right, Banjo, I'm, com I'm coming back, and when we combine our health, I'm sorry that I might be a little hurt. <laughs> Let's see, Banjo's got how much health? He's got four, and I have two, so when we combine, we've got six. Take a little bit of your friend's pain away. Be equal. Let's... Back, I'm gonna throw my laundry in real quick. Okie doke. I'm gonna do dinosaur shenanigans. I'm surprised they didn't get me. Don't touch me. How dare. Ow. You're a motherfucker, you know that? Gimme that, gimme that, gimme that, gimme that, gimme that. Fudge. 
Stop going down the hill. Frick. Frick. I'm gonna frick you up. Come here. You've embarrassed me to no, to no end. I have one health now. Oh, you better not come back to life. Frick. I'm gonna live? Jiggies. Ow, my shin. What if I did this? Nice. Not quite what I thought would happen, but sure. Thank you. Perfect. Back to full health. Okay, so small dino banter should be fine for a second. Then we'll get to large. Hello, Humba. You have Globo. Want to give to Humba? Yes. Sure, I'll just throw it in. Magic ready. Jump into Mumba Pool. <laughs> what am I call this baby T Rex? Uh, okay. Da, 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 da. A dinosaur will step on you if you were a baby T Rex. Um, that's a good question. I mean, technically speaking, maybe, but the thing is that that switch requires Banjo to step on it. Uh, if that makes any sense. Although, that's a good question. I never thought about going there with the dinosaur. Although, I think it'd be kind of sad to see a little dinosaur banter get stomped. Try my roar. Oh, that's right, I can't roar. I don't know the speak the language of dinosaurs. You have to speak the language of dinosaurs? Yeah, so this is one of the more unique power-ups. So if I go to this guy... Wow, a new dinosaur. What are you? A vicious T-Rex. You're not that vicious. You don't even know how to roar properly, do you? Or, no, I don't think we do. It's easy. Just tap B for a short roar and hold B for a long one. Thanks. Let's go roar at someone. Ow. Yeah, we got a small roar. Roar. The small door. Okie dokie. I don't get any. I don't get any sound from the the, the stream you're giving me. Oh, I get you. Yeah. Let's see. Another small dino spot. I think I can. Am I allowed in the water? I am. That's how physics work. Kind of want to use a teleporting pad. There's a certain dinosaur puzzle that I don't know if I remember the puzzle by heart, but I kind of want to try it. Uh. Yeah. That's how to mumbo skull. That's not quite what I'm looking for. Top of the mountain, maybe? It might be. Is there any kind of shortcut I can take here? Shot in the dark. Frick it. Might be what I want. Actually, that might be great. Actually, yeah, that is great. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea what I was just aiming for. I was just like, sure, let's see what happens. This is what I'm looking for right here. So there's a puzzle. So I think it, I, I'm just... Don't remember it, my mind-wise. There's, like, a thing I feel out, so it's... Is 
that Aurora hit someone's truck back up into the side. <laughs> right. Forget the order. It might be, let's see. It might be Roar, Long Roar, Long Roar. Oh, uh, sure. <laughs> I knew what I was doing. Nice. All right, so that's 47. <laughs> I had to like actually really think about it instead of just guessing it. Um, so let's check Jiggy Progress. So six out of ten. You get one Jiggy for helping out the dinosaurs. Mumbo can heal one of them, but the other one we're gonna have to heal at a different location, and the other one requires the backpack, so that's seven. Then there's Dippy. We can't do that till another level, so that's eight. And then there's oh, who am I missing here? Think, think, think. Do 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 do. Then there's the hatching of the eggs, that'd be nine out of ten. And then, I don't think the Hailfire Peaks Icy Side Jiggy from trying to get past Stepanodon counts. Let me double check. Banjo, Tui, Terry, Dactyland Jiggies. Sometimes these things get weird. Um... Defeat Terry, we did that. Under Terry's Nest, we did that. The Chompa's minigame with shooting all those viruses, we did that. Defeat the Rock Nut Tribe, I did that. Roar the Gate at the Mountain with the T-Rex, we just did that. Warm and Feed the Oogle Boogles, I did think about that just now. So that's one. Hatch and Return Terry's Eggs. One is an Ungbunga Cave near it, is an opening of the wall that leads to one of the eggs, and one inside the mountain split up to Kazooie and Hatch Eggs. We could technically do that. Uh, get past the stomping planes, which I can not... Oh, I did do that, technically. So that would be a Hellfire Peaks Jiggy. And then get Dippy some water. Okay, so that's not bad. Um, in that case, I am going to... <sighs> Let's see. I'd like to hatch all the other eggs, but that requires scaring off the other guy real quick. So let's go ahead and become a big T-Rex. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and get Mumbo to upsize the Humble Wumbo's Wigwam, which in turn makes us a bigger dinosaur. So I might as well get the Mumbo stuff out of the way, which means I should also use Mumbo to heal up the dinosaur that's sick. Although I don't think I can do that yet. Ah, never mind. Well, maybe I can. I'll go in here first. We'll get Mumbo first, and if that fails, we'll just come on over here and do the thing. Nice. And does Mumbo make you just bigger? Yeah. He makes the wigwam here bigger, so, like, the, the whole hut gets bigger. Ah. Which, in turn, uh, makes Humbo Wumbo bigger. Uh, outside Mumbo Skull. She's a big girl. She sure is. Al, I understand. Have a great day. Ah, oh, God. Oh. Ah. Uh. So many. Ah, oh, God. The jig <laughs> is up. You're not the one who released those few jiggies, are you? No. Okay, I had a feeling. Any crystal. No, but like a moderator has to like release a good chunk of them at once. That's I think uh, that I think that Zinny holding on to points but wanted to throw several jiggies at once for a cheapy. No, no it was Ocean. Ah oh, God, it was Ocean that wanted the free jiggy. Uh, let's see. So I've got Mumbo. Let's go to... World Exit? <laughs> That's the most vanilla answer I could give. The same one who threw 51 rupees at you. Uh, 
Why 51, if I may ask? Why not 56? Could have went five one more to get my favorite number. Yeah. You are tabbed out sulking on YouTube. No, that's all good. I was just wondering what moderator had released all those jiggies at once. There was like a, maybe about five at once or so. Ah! Oh, God. My back. <laughs> oh, my back. Rick. Dude, I'm going to Humble's Wigwam. You need to not. Ah, God. Don't oh, fudge. Ah! Fudge bars. Why don't you save him up and let him be crazy like the other people? Ah, oh, God. Ah, oh, God. No. So many jiggies. Out. With how many I'm getting, uh, I'll be able to win the game. I'll fudge. Oh, Stop. Stop. I know, I Stop. know what you're all doing. You're trying to build up as many jiggies as you can so someone unleashes all the jiggies. Oh, she okay. keeps oh, keep spending them really quickly, though. There'll be like six that hit me. Ah, God. Fudge. Frick. I say this as they're compiling. Crimity. Go. Oh, God. Well, oh. that's a big wigwam. I hope the chat I go we <laughs> as it stops. That's hilarious. Um. Hey, Mumbo, I, I can't, man. If I go this way, you come here. Oh, it's not because I used up all- oh, I lost all my ammo. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Frick. Shoot. Oh. Throw the jiggy. Throw the jiggy. Holy frick. That's it. No, frick. I made everyone spend their points. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> I'm dying. We over 50? Uh, we're at 57 right now. You hoarding yours? Uh, I oh, God, 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 God. They're, they're all gone. <laughs> I'm tired, boss. Uh, I'm freaking dead. Okay, so you're better. You are sick, which means we need to put you in the backpack and take you to the train. The other one we'll bring back. So let's see. Bring it back. I can. The train... I could probably also do that. Oh, that's tedious. I'd rather get that done in this stream, though. I don't want to think about it next stream. So that means it's T-Rex time. Actually, I'm going to use the rest while Mambo dies. No, Mumbo. Mumbo, don't die. No. Save the Bumbo Wumbo. Yeah, his neck's gonna break. It's gonna snap like a twig. Keep twisting that neck. Bam, 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 bam. Is that going to have a good surprise when he comes back, if you know what I mean? 
Ocean. I'll show you a good surprise. Why is my deck broke? <laughs> it's been like that since you took it off. Guys, I want to say thank you for all the hair, the the freaking bits from the past few weeks. It has acquired me hamburger. 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 Dang, it's pretty good. I'm trying to eat. <laughs> Try to eat, boss. I think Ocean found a new toy to play with. The ocean got sniped. Well, no, I got sniped. I'm the one who's dying. Also, because it was from Wendy's, uh, they s they saved me a what I'm assuming is a peppermint blizzard, which I did not know they had. Yeah, they've had it. I. I I tried it. I mm. I don't really like it. There's not a lot of minty bite to it that I look forward to. I was gonna say mine has a lot. I didn't have a lot of mint bite to it at all. A little, little bit known fact about Wendy's because I've not Wendy's. <laughs> little known fact about Dairy Queen, uh, from the little tiny bit I worked there, and uh, and other various things. There are times where when somebody works where they put the stuff in there to like mix it up and make it a, the flavor. I've had strawberry like uh, what's the word uh, strawberry milkshakes where they barely put any strawberry in there and it's so flavorless. It's because the person didn't care. You saying I should try again? Maybe. It's really good, in my opinion. Yeah. It. it, it... Well, not the first time I tried it, I was just really disappointed. It was just like, there's hardly any flavor in it at all. No flavor. Let's see. Wombas Wigwam. I sense the cute Suki. They just not chatting right now. Um... Leave Natsuki alone. They are just moderating right now. Are they? That's what they say. They see them. Hmm. Let me double check. I thought they were at work. This is about the time they usually get back home. Yeah. Yeah, I guess, yeah, yeah, getting home from work. Wumba call this daddy T-Rex. Oh, my. Let's see, now that I am big dino, I can do big dino things, like stomp. Oof. And yes, to get this little green Jinjo... You hit the switch as the big T-Rex. You have to go all the way back. Transform. Get out of there. Go get the green ginger. I hope you're fast. Gameplay. Whee! Actually, it doesn't take too long. Is this the last ginger for that color? Uh, that's a good question. We shall get our update here in a second. Hello, green Jinjo. Four out of five. And do me a nice color. It's Let's my see. favorite colored Kios Emerald. Yeah. Why is there a timer? Oh, right, for that. I'm like thinking of something else. Um... That's a good question. They really want to see you run back to Humble Wumba's place and transform again. For some reason. In my opinion, that's definitely one of the weirder Jinjos. 
Okay. Now that we are large dino again. You wonder how something against uh uh what's his name? Wombo? Mumbo? Yeah, does they do they have something against Wumbo? They hate each other because they're both shaman and they think uh one's better than the other. I see. Yeah. And nuts and bolts they're married. Uh what? <laughs> yeah. It's a bit of a love hate relationship. Like and nuts and bolts are like, yeah, we're we we cool now. Hello, Mr. Caveman. Ah! Aye, that's scary. <laughs> Must go change the loincloth. Oh boy. <laughs> Actually, none of them thinking about it. I don't think there's a whole lot of use for the big dino banjo. Like, I think we're already done with him. Already? That's, that's the one that, like, I don't know. I love this game. Been growing up with it and whatnot, but like... Uh, I don't know. I, I start to realize just how underused certain transformations are. Like, the, the last game is kind of like that, but, like, in this one, it's like you had the big dinosaur and the small one. So, in a sense, if you combine both, you do a couple things. But if you count them separately, that, like, that ain't nothing. <laughs> I, I, I freed one Jinjo and scared one caveman away and called it, called it a day. That's kind of... Underwhelming? Okay. Yeah. Like, you get to be a big dinosaur in a game. You should make a big thing out of that. Shouldn't, I mean, a lot of people would like using the big dinosaur a lot more. Yeah. Well, at the very least, I scared off that caveman, which means I can go back to the world, exit, hatch another egg, maybe feed the oogle boogles. I'll think about it. The oogles, the boogles. Nani. I'm time to get low poly drip. <laughs> I don't think I. I don't know why. I feel, I feel like models wise, if I went up to Colin, I was like, "Hey, can I get a drip outfit?" She'd actually be behind that and be like, "It'd be funny." To ask for a low poly drip, the guy would look at me like, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> and doink. Oh, there we go. Have a nice warm fire, Mister Google Boogle. Me warm, but still need food. Junk food, good. <laughs> I'll get you a Big Al burger. Are we going to Big Al's? Oh, we're going to Big Al's. Oh, no. You're going to be able to meet the legend himself. <laughs> I didn't realize the thing he was there. Here we go. Well, you taught me something. If I ever eat while playing this game, do not eat while I'm at Big Al's. <laughs> you, you should consider yourself lucky right now. I just got a hamburger. We're about to go meet Big Al. <laughs> I've played myself. Yeah. It's gonna get bad. I better eat this quick. Oh, I have two though. Shoot. Bad feeling just thinking about it. God. Junk food good. Junk food, don't you want good food? They're cavemen. I think junk food to them is like the biggest delicacy in the world. Surprised I don't want some, like, meat or something. I made something uh, very healthy today. Ooh. I made some shashuka today. Nice. They all want junk food, man. Oh, yeah, there's split pads over here. It's it's an actual recipe, everybody. <laughs> Heck yeah. And it's very healthy for you. Perfect. Next that egg, Kazooie. That's number three. 
You say that every time. And then we got all your precious children. See, if I were a person who could mod games and like dialogue text and all that, I'd have her say that three times in a row, and then on the fourth one she goes, Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Bird up. Bird up. Take some feathers while I'm at it. Here we go. Wait, do I have those? Oh, I don't have those yet. Ah, that requires going back to Hailfire Peaks. I'm going to cry. All the backtracking. Although, technically speaking, someone in my position who has now access to a good chunk of World 7 who really shouldn't have been there yet. All I gotta do is go back there and learn to move. But that's just not okay. good enough. <laughs> nah, it's good. Um. Hmm. Okay, I know what I can do next. I need those shoes down there. I need them, them real, uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Real Jordans, I guess? Oh, let's go aim for something different. I still love that video. You don't got a Dito, you got a Dito. You got a Dito. A Cheapo Dito. At the Cheapo Depot. I forgot what game it was I was playing the other day where like a bridge got completely destroyed. I was, I was like, that's okay, nothing. I tripped to the home. Oh, wait, no, no, it was Banjo Tooie. It was when Banjo's house gets completely destroyed mm. and uh, everything's wrecked. And I went, nothing like a good old trip to the Home Depot won't fix. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, oh no, Bottles is dead. Now see that? I can't. I can't fix that. Not yet, anyhow. You! <laughs> the Home Depot theme? <laughs> Why does that sound familiar? There we go. Yeah, Home Depot has their own, like, theme song. They're just that cool. Oh. Yikes, she's a big girl, isn't she? You're right, she can't even fly. Hmm, I'm not sure if I if there will be room in our nest. You couldn't just hit it with one of those grenade eggs, could you? You heartless. Only joking. Bring her back to me and I'll work out an exercise program for her. I'll just go and find Banjo then. What the fudge? Wow. That's a certified yikes, ma'am. That's okay, I can take things in my backpack now. Banjo can fit things in his bag. Come here. Get in the bag. Get in the sack. That's a big backpack now, Banjo. Ah! Don't mind if I do. No, I hope you don't mind. I used your child to lunge an attack at a killer honeycomb box. Now, if there's some damage, we could probably work out something, okay? There's classes. Worst case scenario, try again. <laughs> you could at least buy me dinner first before asking me to the sack. Hmm. Sack dinner. <laughs> Get you a sack of burgers. At the good old hall. White Castle or Crystals. Actually, we'll go to White Castle. We actually went to Crystals not too long ago. We sure did. And we got. <laughs> did, we get, did we get chili dogs? We did. We got chili dogs that day. I still remember that. Got like the little mini ones. Or, well. Yeah, yeah, we did. It was something else they didn't have. Corn dogs. That's it. They didn't have the mini corn dogs that Casey wanted. Yeah, that was her favorite thing. That was like her incentive to want to go to a place called Crystals. Yeah, it's just like when we get there, we're like, where's the corn dogs? And. She had to ask the people there. I was like, where's your coin dogs? And they're like, oh, we don't serve them anymore. And it 
I, I don't think she didn't have crystals for the longest time. Oh. It, it feels like she was there not too long ago. And she asked when they stopped doing that, and they said, oh, it was like a new thing or something like that. Yeah. Here, have a child. Yoink. God, they are big. Yay. Take some more of that. Yeah, in terms of... Do you still really like this game? Sorry. No, no, it's fine. Um, that's actually a good question. Um, so, ukulele is like the spiritual successor to... They say it's like the spiritual successor to Kazooie. Um, I'd argue... It was their way of being like, let's continue off of Banjo Tooie and how that worked. And they went for like bigger worlds. So I think in Kazooie, I think you had like nine levels. This game has eight. And I think in Ukulele, you only get five or five or six or something. But it's like they made the world so massive that, like, you know, when people are like, oh, would you recommend somebody play Ukulele if they haven't played Banjo Kazooie or Tooie? If you think something like Tui is overwhelming, where there's like all this backtracking going back and forth, like Ukulele is a whole nother level. It's it's very ambitious. It's a they're very large worlds. It's very much like these type of games. They're very fun. Uh, that being said, it is a little overwhelming even for me. Like I had the background of playing all these games, and when I went in, I was like, oh my god. And by the end of it, I was just tired. I'm like, oh my gosh. So. I, it's definitely a lot of fun. Um, if that's not your cup of tea and you prefer... Yeah, yeah, the Impossible Lair. The Impossible Lair is, like... It's, it's as simple as... Do you like Donkey Kong Country? Go play Impossible Lair. It's a side-scroller. That one I didn't finish, actually. Neither did Matthew, apparently. Somehow we both fell off. I was like, there must have been something that came out during that time that you and I just kind of went, Oh, we gotta go over here now. <laughs> Um, Possible Lair is only $4.99. Oh, that's a good deal. That's a great deal. And it ends on the 19th. Yeah, that's not a bad deal at all. I'd say that game's worth even 10 or 15 at least. Like, if you're getting cheap. Five bucks? That's easy. So, let's see. Seven out of ten. The Oogle Boogles want fed. Then that's done. That's 8 out of 10. Then it's the dinosaurs that I need to work on later. That's 9 out of 10. And then I hatch all the eggs. That's good to go. And then there's Dippy. Okay. So. If you get. Oh my god. I'm looking at this deal. Yeah. Ukulele. And the impossible. Ukulele and the impossible air. They both together. Yeah. 721. Yeah, that's not bad at all. That's honestly, if you're a streamer and you're interested in that kind of thing, that's an easy, easy pick. Like you'll get you'll get content out of that, and you'll have a fun time. And if you're just playing it for yourself, then yeah, you'll have a lot to play with. And there's been a bunch of updates since then. So there's like the retro 64-bit mod, not mod, but like uh, thing in the game where like if you you know take up one of these tonics, you'll make the game look like a 64-bit game. Uh, it's a whole thing. Yeah. I'll have Chuffy come here, sure. Da, 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 da. Very tempting. I want to try them both, but I'm just like, should I? Or should I just get the one? Funnily enough, um, I got, so I got KO the Kangaroo the other day, and because they had a collaboration with Yuka Lele, and you could have, like, a Yuka outfit, because that was on Steam, they did a bundle for the two, and since I already owned Yuka Lele, they were like, oh, KO? That's like, I think it was like 20-something dollars at the time, they sold it to me for like, I think 16 or 15 dollars, because I already owned the one game, and I was like, sure? Nice. That's a discount just from the collaboration. 
It's awesome. I'll, I'll get them both then. How about that? It's worth getting both. Okay, so that's one child healthy, one child that came back. The other one's sick. I might actually be able to pull this off without too much problem. Oh, I'm still Banjo. That's good. I just... Here's that sweet game for the price of $7. Sweet. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, when I bought ukulele, shoot, that game was, what, $40? Wow. And then the Impossible Lair was... I don't remember how much the Impossible Lair was. They Do gave... people play Impossible Lair? I don't think so. I could be wrong. Actually, I didn't pay for the Impossible Lair. They gave me a review copy. <laughs> So you didn't get Impossible Lair. I have Impossible Lair. You got it? Yeah, I think I have that for my Switch. Don't touch me. I think I got it for my Switch. Through my YouTube partnership, they always were able to like acquire a few games from us. It wasn't like directly from the... Uh, Platonic, but like through that partnership and whatnot, they were like, Oh, here's a few games if you're interested. And one of them was The Impossible Lair, and I was like, Yeah, I'd like to play that. <laughs> nice. Although I'd still like to buy it again, I think for Steam. I don't have it for Steam. Uh, let's see. Uh, da -da 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 -da. The Sick Child, you. It says you already own it on The Impossible Lair. On Steam? Yeah, it says you already own this game. Shoot, did I buy it? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> you bought it. I bought Let it. Let me take a look. Let me, yeah. The only person who's played it recently is Frank. <laughs> oh, yeah. So worried about the rest of my family. Look at my eldest, Scrat. He's very sickly and needs a doctor urgently. Which doctor? Ha! I don't care. Any doctor will do. I've heard there's a crazy shaman that lives on the cliff top who might help. Wonderful. It's nice to know not every character in this game is bad. Sure, I can't scoop you up. There we go. I don't know why I wasn't working before. I guess we had to talk to you for a sec. I'll heal you up. Also, my goal today was going to be uh, 60 jiggies, but I, of course, I should have known uh, not to underestimate how long this game is. So we'll aim for 50. We're currently at 48. If I can get a few more than that, that's easy. That's fine. You got it. I will have done the do. So let's see, now that I have th this down from the backpack, let me go to the train station. Yeah, ukulele is a lot of fun. Ukulele. You know, I know we were talking about John Tron earlier, but he was supposed to be an ukulele. Oh yeah, he was supposed to be the voice of... The outhouse? I th yeah, I think it was like the outhouse part of potty looking thing. And then, yeah, things happened. Then stuff happened, yeah. Stuff happened. Yeet. There you go. Really makes me think, you know, he could have done so much better if he didn't do all that stuff, you know? Yeah. yeah. He could have been immortalized in it. Immortal. <laughs> Well, I guess in a way he is kind of immortalized. Uh, Hat in Time, he's in that game too. Oh yeah. He's the Albert. This is true. I love that game. I like it. All right, hope I don't... That's not where I want to go! I'm okay. 
I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm okay. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, I can do that here? Okay. I just need to make it back to Banjo. So when you said Donkey Kong Country, you meant like, uh... Like the play style. The play style, so like it's a 2D game? Yeah. Okay, cool. Like if someone were to say, I want more Donkey Kong Country, but they ain't releasing it anymore, that's your best bet. It's made by the Platonic, who's done rare stuff, so it's, you know, a lot closer to home than most people will probably get it down. I say that as there is... I believe another game out there that's very similar to Donkey Kong Country, specifically two, and I think it involves some kind of rabbit girl. Rabbit girl? Yeah. I've heard very good things about it. I'll have to look it up here in a sec. You'd definitely be interested in that kind of thing, too. I've I've had my eye on it for a sec. Let me I'm see. I'm seeing it. Whoa. DKC rabbit girl game. I have no idea that this will give me the results I'm looking for. Uh, but that is not what I'm looking for. Uh, style. Ah, somebody's hitting me. No, bird girl, I know that's you. you hitting me. you hitting me upside the face. Uh, rabbit. Oh, God. Ah, I keep almost hitting that. Bird up. Bird up. Bird up. Oh, probably have to look this up later. Oh, well. That's okay. All right, Chuffy. Let's go to ILO Hags. Guilty is charged. I'll go ahead and see hmm. if I can find it. Let's see. He said it was by T Platonic Games. Which one? The game you're describing me of, of the buddy girl and whatnot? No, it's up by Platonic. I don't know who does it. Okay, uh... Let's see. I pray this is... God! I can't Google bunny girl game without getting, you know, other things. Google just gave me a whole bunch of not what I was looking for. How can we burn up? In the wild masks. That might be it. Oh, and, it, uh, it got released in two. It was talked about in 2017. Yeah, that's the game. Apparently, that's very similar to like Dixie Kong gameplay from Donkey Kong Country 2. Somebody I follow for like reviews and whatnot. Oh, Kaze in the Wild Masks. Yeah. That's. I've heard really good things about that one. I definitely want to get that someday. I don't even know if... Uh, I should look that up, actually. Archive Rule 34, I guess. Yeah, kinda? Like, before you reach that, it's, like, on the line of it. Like, But, like, those, like... Almost kind of like Honey Pop. I looked up Bunny, a bunny Girl game, and that's a bunch of stuff I was getting. I'm like, that's not what I meant. <laughs> Want Mumbo's help? Yes. Oh, Mumbo's so enthusiastic. Do, 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 do. Oh, God. Oh, that's really neat. You can actually transform into, like, different animals. Yeah. Hope this works. Yeah, it takes some pages from everything, which just sounds really fun. Umanaka. Sorry for the throws, I give you something in return. That's okay. 
sometimes being thrown, having things thrown at your noggies for the best. It makes you learn things. Oh, a thing. Major League Gaming, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Frick Nation. How's it going? <laughs> there we go. I was like wondering where that was. Da, 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 da. I find it funny. He used Mumbo for only just a little bit of time and then he just takes off. Yeah. Go ahead and sit in this lovely chair. No, no, no. I could use some health, I think. There we go. Da, 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 da. Okay. I need to go back to Terry Dactyl Land. Then don't get close to me. Thank you. Oh, the freaking health vanished the second I got to. That's rude. Hello, Major Link Gaming. I'm okay. My stream was less than I wanted, but I made it count. That's good, at least at the yeah. at the, the counting part. I've had yeah. streams like that. I feel that. The most important thing is make sure you're streaming what you want for fun. Okay? Yeah. Oh. Do you think a crude platformer similar to Conquer would be more successful these days now that offensive humor is more popular than back in the N64 days? Probably. At least in the sense of like, oh, they can say that? Like, like if something is allowed to get away with language, it, that'd be more accepted nowadays. Back on, like, this was what, 2001 when Conquer came out? This was the N64. Saying those types of things on that game console was like, whoa to people. Check something about a conquer. Pterodactyl land is worse than Grunty Industries. I, I understand that. I was thinking about it too. I was like, "What's my least favorite level in this game?" I was like, "It was either this one or Grunty Industries." But there's parts of Grunty Industries I respect. Whereas with this particular level, like I've been happy that it's went okay so far. But like that being said, like oh my god, like it's like when you enter Pterodactyl land, you feel like okay, you're like I gotta go to work. Yeah. I don't know. Like, it's it's a lot of work. Would you like to know how much Conquer is being sold for now these days? Sure. Um, Around 90 to $130 for a copy of Conquer's Death per day. That sounds about right. <laughs> oh boy, money. Always love Grinty Industries despite its hard difficulty. That's fair. I really like some of the music of Grunty Industries. I think that saves a lot of it for me, too. Other than maybe, like, the outside. I feel like the outside is kind of, like, it's kind of disgusting sounding. But, like, the rest of it's kind of fun. Regardless, of, for the record, I love Banjo-Kazooie a lot, so. And Tui and Nuts and Bolts. Too much money for the N64 cartridge. Uh, you're not just buying a cartridge, so to speak. When buying you're a buying fairly a heirloom. <laughs> You're also buying a part of history as well that it, you have no more product on. Yeah. <laughs> See, so the Oogle Boogles I need to defeat, that requires one thing that I need to get in Hailfire Peaks real quick. And then other than that, what was the other thing I do? You're dippy. So, I shall go to Hailfire Peaks real quick. Love killing people with underwear. That's fair. They found use for the washing machine banjo in Grunty Industries, so that was good. Yeah. And then every time you hit you hit them, it goes, and then the guy goes, and dies of underwear. You were so happy to catch that on stream when uh, Banjo turned into a washer and Banjo and Kazooie. Yeah, because it's one of those things like when you do a Banjo Kazooie playthrough, you don't always get the washing machine. When you go to Mumbo, like, Mumbo has to mess up somehow. And I got that. I was just so happy. that Like, that's one of those things, like, when it's on stream, you're like, ooh, you can see the, the thing that normally never happens too often. Mm. Go to... Actually, let's go to Plateau real quick. I have a lot of empty honeycomb pieces. We can get to more health. True, but I don't want to pay that much to experience the game with a diarrhea cow. Hey, they each their own. Dude. But... 130 something dollars to be able to play a game where there's the diarrhea cow. I'm willing to spend about 50 60 dollars 
for a uh, for a drink called Mighty Poo, <laughs> with a little with a little figurine. I'll I'll take the diarrhea, Cal. Sure. <laughs> Hello, honeybee. I'm honeybee. I'll trade you extra energy units in return for empty honeycomb. You have enough honeycomb for one extra energy yeah, unit. Yeah, your best bet's rare replay if you want like the uh, experience. experience without having to fork over a bunch of money. And if you really want to go the extra mile, you could get Conquer Live and Reloaded. Uh, you can even now digitally download that on modern day Xboxes and play that version, which in my opinion is a worthwhile try. I still love the original at Days In, I think, but the uh, the newer one is, I say the newer one, uh, the remake uh, has its own fun factor. <laughs> you have no intention to. I, I love Conquer's Bad Fur Day. That was one of those games, like, when I found out that that was a game way later down the road, because I already loved the N64 by then, but I didn't find out about Conquer until, like, 2010, and my mind went, oh, what? I missed one? It, but it was so bad that, like, of course I didn't play that when I was the age I was, because it was just so bad. Not that I wasn't allowed to play bad games. My dad let me play stuff, but Conquer just went underneath the radar, which, fair enough, I think by the time Conquer came out, like, I think seven months later, uh, no, I'm sorry, eight months later, the GameCube came out, so people were already kind of ready to move on to the GameCube when that was rolling out. God knows my dad was more fixated on probably the PS2 by then, because that came out in the year 2000. When he got that, it was like, the PS2 did your DVDs, it did your even your CDs, games. Kind of took, kind of took the world by storm, so. Yeah, PS2 was Blu-ray, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Uh, PS3 was Blu-ray. Really? Yeah, PS2 was DVD. D they were the first console to ever do DVDs in general, like anything oh, like that. Right. You could also play your PlayStation games on PlayStation 2 as well. Yeah, I think it was the first console to ever give you, like, first big console to give you, like, backward compatibility. Like, all of that alone, they, they were genius, honestly. Like, a simple concept looking back at it now, but still. I say simple, it's, you know, there's work into it. Um, what am I looking for here? I wanted the upper area. I don't remember what they were calling it back then, the GameCube. They are calling it like Project Dolphin, I think it was. Mm-hmm. Now we have Emulator Dolphin. Yeah, it's a <laughs> Dolphin Emulator. Let's see. I guess I could technically enter in from this side. You enjoyed this place? Oh yeah, good old Hailfire Peaks. I kind of jumped over to Hailfire Peaks earlier than I really had to. But like, I got a good chunk of it done. So now I'm coming back here for the suction cups. I could probably do a bit here. Then go back to feed the Ooga Boogles. And then I'll probably wrap up for the day. But pretty good progress overall. The most important factor is that I'm having a blast playing this. Like, once you've done this for the internet a couple times, it's like, you just take your time. Just enjoy it. Yeah, enjoy it. Yeah, oh. Doot, do 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 not I'm gonna break the ice. Now, technically speaking, this will be something we can do with um, the next move we're about to learn. However, I'm going to cheese it. Well, you know, I want to say, Major, there's one thing you need to realize. Companies don't really set things based on what your standards are. They set things on what their standards are. Yeah, Nintendo's kind of... They've got a certain mindset, which, you know, it days in, they're allowed to, but... Yeah. Ow. You know, because I used to think, you know, I'm just not their audience anymore. It's not that at all. It's just that they have ways of doing their own things, and you have to find games based on what you want. Right. So don't... Don't take a side, you know what I mean? Don't take a PlayStation oh, right. side, don't take an Xbox side, don't take a Nintendo side. Take your own side, you know? Find the games that speak to you. Yeah, I kind of like, especially with like developers and teams and whatnot, 
It's like you could take someone like Retro Studios who's like working on like Metro Prime Four right now, and like, am I going to judge Nintendo? It's like you know they could have their hand in certain reasons why certain things are the way they are. But at days and I need to remember like, okay, the devs, they're probably trying their best. They're doing what they can and so forth, and so forth. Like I'm not gonna. Kind of like with Sonic, too. It's like people always go, oh, Sega, what'd you do that for? It's like, maybe it was a Sonic team issue. <laughs> you never know. Could be the other way around. You never know. Okay. Yeah, dude. Got a split. See you both later. Thanks for having me. Merry Christmas. Yeah, have a Merry Christmas. Thanks for following once Merry again. Christmas. And have a great rest of your night. Really appreciate you. Careful platforming. Oh. You got it. I'll just kind of skip that. <laughs> oh, Zach, I quoted you earlier. Yeah, quoted me. You got me a quote. A quote, I'm going to take a look. I'm a cellular phone. I did not mean to go back in there. Go back out. Ah, oh, crime it is. <laughs> it's the poo talking. It might taste good. It might. Oh, good. It, it's probably gonna be a six out of ten. <laughs> I can glide in the air now. Yes. This is incredibly handy. There we go. So I think if I do that, there we go. Quick question. If you had a choice to make stew or ramen, what would you make? Ooh, probably ramen. Ramen. What if the stew had like potatoes, carrots, and uh, beef? Ah, uh, that's a good question then. You're making it hard to choose. I'm going to be attacked. <laughs> Ah! I love a good stew. So, but I do love a good ramen as well. I'm going to commit and die. I got an idea. What if I just put in the noodles from the ramen and then just put it in the in the stew? That's true. And that way, I get the best of both worlds. Exactly. There we go. Life's what you make it so I don't want to get sued. <laughs> you would continue, but I melted ice cream considered a soup. Is melted ice cream considered a soup? Um, it's no longer uh, a solid. It's no longer ice, just cream. I'm going to commit die again. Well, I, I have some bad news for you people. There's also something else that's considered a soup. Oh no. Coffee. True. Coffee is a soup. How am I here? <laughs> How dare you, game? You're lucky there's a pad here. Let's see, I'll go to Humbas. Or is it Humbas I want to go to? Eh. I, I drink food and eat coffee. <laughs> yes. So let's see. You're here. And... Your hot chocolate is a soup. Your little floaty marshmallows are part of that soup. Oh my. There's nothing in that hole, to my knowledge. Him. Ow. There's two more. I swear. Adams? This, are, you, are you referring to the Adams family? You know, Mumbo and Humbawamba hate each other, but at the same time, when you bust their walls down, they connect to each other's houses. 
That is true at the end of the day. What are the shaman up to? It's like they're getting to know each other a little better, little by little, and the more closer they get, the more their walls kind of crumble. Yeah. I want to look into getting somebody to fix that. <laughs> Do they have any kids in the future? No. Okay, thank goodness. I'll... I hate to see what they look like. <laughs> I don't know what the frick Mumbo's made of. He's really just eyeballs underneath that skull. In the first remake animated movie, Gomez eats coffee grounds. Well, to be honest, people eat can, can eat coffee grounds too. If y'all want. not unheard of. I mean, I, I've seen ice cream where they have gr grinded up coffee grounds inside of it. You just, I don't know why the talk of eating coffee grounds made me think of somebody eating a full-on banana peel, and that makes me want to shoot a goat. <laughs> ah! I've been freaking hit. Hope this works. Here we go. Time to cure an alien. Come back to life, little baby. Not all brain dead. <laughs> Oh. I want to say the last one's probably a banjo backpack situation where you swoop them in and you bring them back. Hey, Humba. He eats it after water has passed through it. Not unheard of. I, I think people know that there is such thing as coffee chips. You just kind of, you know, eat the chips as if you went to, like, Starbucks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love the topic we're on. <laughs> yeah. I, I will have to say, I'm, I'm more... I'm enjoying tea a lot more than coffee right now. Ooh. Yeah, I usually have some peppermint tea. And that makes that me sounds happy. nice. There's no caffeine in it or anything. Ah! So if I want, if I want that peppermint bite, I I grab that. Yeah. Al, watch where you're going, you fool. I need to seek shelter. Burn, baby, burn. Just go and burn now. <laughs> you like yeah. coffee on ice cream, but I don't have it often because I usually stay up all night afterwards. Frick. Yeah, you better stay over there. Gotta somehow get up there. There is. There's. What are you, I don't know if I had that ability yet now that I'm thinking about it. Oop. Don't touch me. No, don't touch me, please. I break Do not this touch. Thing. I don't think I can get those yet. These are claw clamor boots, but you'll have to come and find me before you can use them. I don't know why in my mind I thought I could get that here. Um... I guess that would be a Grunty Industries thing, now that I'm thinking about it. So... Uh, let me check my stats real quick. View totals. Um, there's one move I have yet to learn here, though. Huh. 
really. We have one more gingos to collect. Yeah. Um. I feel like I've definitely done more here. Jeez. Oh, I know a thing I can do. It's not I too like far from here either. I like what uh, Linksy calls the gingos. Oh, what'd she call them? Gumby men. They do be like Gumby men. He's like, you need to save the Gumby man. <laughs> here we go. Oh, I forgot it was the silly me. That's not a clockwork Kazooie location. That's Banjo getting in his backpack and going down in there situation. I'm sorry. My mistake. <laughs> uh, in that case, Quiet Dragon, I'm thinking. I need to move, don't I? Hmm. I really should buy Sherbert. I love Sherbert ice cream. This is like the best time of year to have Sherbert. Right? <sighs> thinking, thinking. Hmm. Let's go here. Oh, I know what Fudge, I leave the second I found out I can do a thing. Uh What was that? I could take this the Saber Man in the backpack to the warm side. Oh yeah. Which means I could probably go here. I was trying to think of things like, why can't I not? Like, oh yeah, we can do that. And then the... Yeah, here we go. Oh! How that calls it counts as fall damage is beyond me, man. Come here. There we go. You just gotta put an old man in your backpack, and everything's fine. You ever seen a big old fat bear carry a man in a big fat blue backpack going on the other side of the mountain to the fire album? <laughs> Time to uncork the volcano. Just because you didn't see it didn't happen. It can't physically happen. I want an IRL photo of the description we were just given of taking old man a backpack by a fat bear in a blue backpack. <laughs> I just think that'd be really amusing. There you go. My tent. My equipment. Heck yeah. That's 50. Switch over to good old Kazool here. like coffee on ice cream but I don't have it often because I usually stay up late all night afterwards I might have, I, you might have already read that ah the other day I, I woke up had a little bit of like one of those kanji fuels and I was like I'll wake up for the day I slept just a little bit conked back out for four more hours right like, nope. I don't think caffeine does anything for Hexonic. I think it basically makes us more tired, if anything. Probably. Probably makes you use of energy twice as fast, if anything. Ah, I didn't mean to fall in there. No. Pain. Wait, what if I...
Give me my full health back. By the way, how was that Minecraft uh, ice cream you got that one time? It was pretty good. I will say, in, like, in the sight of, like, what I buy it again, mm -hmm. probably not, just because it's kind of pricey. Like, per one, I think a day said they were all valued about nine or ten-ish dollars. I think it was about nine. But, like, for how much you get and how tasty it is, you could probably do better. Like, for example, it's like, oh, nine bucks for one of them. Okay, let's say you like one of the flavors a lot. That's great. But for six dollars... You could have had a really nice session at Cold Stone. Maybe it's one go, but you'd be satisfied with that at days end. Whereas with the Minecraft ice cream, there's a point in which, like, oh, it's nice, but you really try to get rid of it at some point because you had four things of it, and I don't know. Yeah. It's just better to, like, like it's a, it was definitely a fun experience, and I could say, like, oh, hey, I had Minecraft ice cream. That's fun. But, like, would I ever want to consistently get it? No. Now, the Sonic Popsicles, yes. <laughs> I will take more. I will take more of those. <laughs> I still have a good chunk of them. I don't know how many I have, but it's about 10 or 11. Nice. Those are special events, though. They are. I haven't had one since I played Sonic Frontiers. I think on one of my stream sessions, I was so tired and burnt out afterwards. Like, oh, I'm so tired. I just had a Sonic pop. <laughs> Please, now my precious water again. Did I not finish this guy off last time? Do it again? Or is it Chuffy? Oh, it's Chuffy. I gotta get Chuffy here. Yeah. Would you like Chuffy to pick you up? Yes. Yes, please. Never see those out in the wild here? Oh, is it like the Minecraft ice cream? Because the thing, the thing about the Minecraft ice cream was, it wasn't like a thing I could find at a store. I have found that brand in a store now. But the Minecraft one was, like, on the website, yeah. and they had to, like, deliver it to you with dry ice and everything. Like, it's a whole nother thing. I I saw that it's brand not at Walmart. Yeah. Oh, the Sonic ice cream. Oh. Aw. Yeah, I'm just sad. That's right. They probably don't have it over there. Sonic ice cream is very... Say it won't go away, but they are very select when they actually drop it. Yeah. It. I saw someone playing Shadow Frontiers. Nice. Someone really went, wow, you know, Sonic Frontiers is neat, but it needs to be Shadow. No, it doesn't. <laughs> like, I want Shadow. I want the option to select my favorite hedgehog. Uh, options? Well, I like Sonic, therefore my option is already picked. <laughs> my option, my option's already picked because that's how we freaking roll. <laughs> I don't need options, I got my king. They don't call it Shadow the Hedgehog all the time, they only did that once, and people make fun of it. You don't care if it tastes like Garbo? Well, if you don't like blue raspberry ice cream, then it may not be up to your taste. Jumbo. Mm, jumbo. Okay. Now that I've got Chuffy here, is that what I'm supposed to do? Let's see. I thought he was going to pick you up. He can. What, should I grenade egg this guy? I don't remember how to get rid of Gobi. I, I don't think you need to hit give him more water. I think you're good to go. I'm gonna beat the frick out of Gobi. <laughs> trying to remember how you get Gobi out of here. Let's see. Hail. 
Fire peaks. Jiggies. You want to play silver? Oh God. <clears throat> Look, there, there, there is no silver frontiers. I'm sorry to say, there's only a silver lining. There is no Shadow Frontiers, there is no Silver Frontiers, and there is no Chow Garden. Yeah. <laughs> Coliseum Kicker <laughs> Tournament, climb the Coliseum inside the volcano. Feed the movie All the fish. um emotes. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love Kazooie and her little playful antics on Banjo. Okay, I think I know what to do now. It was actually quite simple, but I thought there was a way to like make Gobi go away. He just kind of sits there, I guess. Yep. Time to take that ride. I didn't actually need the ride at first, or at least I thought I didn't, but it turns out I'll take that ride. To the ice side. I said. By the way, I still think of that train ride we took uh, when we went to go to where we. Oh yeah. At. That was a nice train ride. Never had cinders on my whole body before. <laughs> right. <laughs> it kept getting me on my glasses. Uh, how much longer are we planning to go? I was gonna grab this and finish. Yeah, it was just one little thing. Yeah, it's all good. It was technically a bit more than I told myself that I would do, but after I came over here trying to do a different thing, I was like, oh, I'll see what else I can do. This is probably the last thing I need to do for a second. Right. Ow, ow, ow. Little booger. You're not a knife. That's it. Oh! Gone, 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 gone. What if I walk out here? You just exploded him. To bits. There's my prize. Yay! There we go. Cheeky number 51. Technically, 50 would have been an even number to work off of, but uh, I'm already here. And then if I go over the list one more time, let's see. Through the stomping planes, which I cannot do for I need to have that one. I kept having that guy stomp all over me as Banjo. We'll have to deal with that later. Kickball tournament I did. Climb the Coliseum. Uh, that requires... Oh, wait, I already did that one. Inside the Volcano. Uh, I didn't do that. Feed Boggy some fish, which I know how to do that. Defeat Chili Willy and Chili Billy. I'll have to do that later. Save the Saber Man. We did do that. Help the alien kids. We're almost done with that. Activate the oil drill. You have to have the shag packs. So we'll have to come back for that. And then the Icy Side train station, which we just did. So. I want a shag pack. Shag pack. I'm talk about shag pack. I think there's one thing I'm going to do, just because, it's not like a jiggy or anything, I don't think, but there's one more thing I'm going to do because I will totally forget about it if I don't do this now, and I'm not coming back to this game next week, I'm going to come back to this the week after, or the week of Christmas, so, before I freaking forget, let me do that real quick, uh, Hailfire Peaks Lava Side. You know, if I ever get a pot belly pig, if it ever happens, you know what I would name them? What's that? Shaquille Squeal. That's a good name. I was eating ice cream. <laughs> <laughs>
That's a good name. Shaquille O'Squeal. <laughs> Shaquille O'Squeal, that made me fucking smile when they say it. This pig still can't do the free throw. <laughs> it's okay. I still love him anyway. That's true. <laughs> Shaquille Foo. My cousin was all like, I'll, I'll get a pig too someday. You know what I'm going to name them? I'm like, what are you going to name them? Dinner. Like, oh. Like, I thought she was joking. She was not joking at all. And she was only like five or six. That's such a nice name. Don't touch me. Dang. <laughs> sure. Deku makes the same jokes, Trixie. Well, where do you think Deku gets them from? The uh, fair. You're going to turn to bacon. Believe me, I, I've had people say similar jokes ah! that I have told people. Listen here, you. And I'm like, oh. Oh, my, oh no. Grab the ledge! God! All I want to do is get here. I, I once worked at this job where, you know, I told jokes to pass the time one week, and then the next week, um, I was going to tell the same jokes to a different batch of people. Yeah? Like, oh no. All the, all the people there are like, we've heard this one. I'm like, you've heard this one. Like, yeah, we've heard this one already before. And I'm like, who told you this one? Nobody should have told you this one. And they're like, this person. I'm like, that's the person I work with. Oh, and no. I, and it's why I actually went up to them like, why are you telling people my jokes? They're like, I, 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 I didn't have anything to work off of. Oh. Like, you understand those are my jokes, right? My brother <laughs> does that. Yeah, brothers tend to do that. Oh. Ah, uh, the Elmo problem. Like Rocco. Rocco! <laughs> Rocco! Ooh, okay. Jiggy! Okay, so this was a jiggy. I don't know why I was thinking it wasn't. Oh, I guess I did pick up the empty honeycomb piece here already. Never mind. <gasps> Grab the ledge. There you go. Nice. I don't know which direction I'm going in. Holy freaking crap. Don't let that guy get you. I gotta get out of here. There you go, Kazooie. Grab that and that. Okay. What if there's just one thing I could cheese? I don't know if I'm over there. Yeah. But you know what the best thing is? They take your jokes, but they can never come up with any any of the new jokes that you can come up with yourself. They're the one-hit wonder at that point. Ow! No! I'm going to commit fry. You do fry good. And I fry all the time. In this institution. And he breaks. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh my god, do I pray? <laughs> you and your glorious he man will mm, fall before yeah. me. <laughs> mm, yeah. Yes. 
Oh, don't touch me. Ah! 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 I'm okay. I has backup plan. Ah! Listen here, you! Is that something I already did? It sure was. Holy freaking crap. Yellator says, The only part your reflection you can lick is your tongue. Until next time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I hate it here. <laughs> 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 when a pregnant woman goes swimming, she is a human submarine. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> People. <laughs> Cheese is just a loaf of milk. <laughs> Can't be saying these things. He <laughs> can't be saying these words of wisdom, God. <laughs> One health. <laughs> these are pretty good, not gonna lie. Tell us more. Okay, here's a good one. <clears throat> your thoughts matter, your dreams matter, and your life matters. You matter. <laughs> That's just wholesome. <laughs> okay, here's one. Not enough sleep cause being overnight, over drinking, drinking alcohol, smoking tobacco, and using drugs, as well as poor academic performance. Until next time. <laughs> God, I love all these. They're so cute. <laughs> They're nice. <clears throat> oh, here's one. Someone's mom has probably used you as a good example to their kid. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, hatch the egg, tip top your dad. Yeah, your daddy. <clears throat> Thank you so much. Wait, something looks odd. Oh no, he's upside down. You mean he's tipped up. That's Please not funny. Not Please help him. Doink. Oh, that's much better. I found this buried in the sand. It's yours. Now come along, son. I'll take you to meet all your sisters. Oh, boy. Oh, this is horrible news. Oh, no. Whales don't die of old age. They get weak to surface and drown. Oh no! <laughs> Yolator says. 
stomach acid can dissolve metal. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> I try to leave this level without Banjo. <laughs> I hope I'm not a, a very bad example. Nah. My brother is probably used as an example. That, that, that's, that's a good point. Can I, should I, will I? Maybe. <gasps> Darn. That's a black ginger, okay. We're getting a little closer. A few more of these, let's see. Ah, worth a shot. If you eat coconuts, it means that you're eating the balls of a coconut tree. <laughs> <you eat again. laughs> oh my god. <sighs> These are very disturbing facts, god. They sure do sound like it. Plastic is made of oil. Oil is made of dinosaurs. Plastic dinosaurs are made from real dinosaurs. <laughs> oh, that's what that egg does. Frick, that's right. <laughs> oh, I hate you, Skeletor. I hate you so much. Oh, no. 2050 is closer than 1990. Wait, 2015 is closer than... 2050. Oh, 2050 is closer than 1990. That's awful. That's yeah, awful. That's awful. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Holy frickin' crap. How? How does he get this? So, if you don't get it, 1990 was 32 years ago, but 19, or sorry, but 2050 is 28 years from now. We're yeah. closer to the year 2050 than we are closer to 1990. Yep. God, I can't place these for life, me. Some of these are just ridiculous, but I'm trying to find the ones that are actually pretty funny. There we go. You have completed Jiggy Wiggy Challenge number eight, so now the great one will show you the way. Remember, an empty search history reveals more than a full one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this unlocks, um, Cloud Cuckoo Land. This kind of makes sense. Not tucking in your shirt into your pants is tucking your pants into your shirt. That was the worst sound effect to hear after you said that. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, God. 
What the hell, game? God. <laughs> Flapping is just hitting yourself because you like something. <laughs> Ah, oh God. I am broken. Come here. There we go. All right, let's view your turtles real quick. Isle of Hags, four out of ten. One Jinjo missing, six Chiggies. Which, those will be a lot of Jinjos. Yeah? If you say... I am a little rusty at games. You are generally a good person. If you flat out say, I don't play games, neither should you, you likely are egotistic. Until we meet again. <laughs> You're also going to be meant to me. Oh my god, I've done this. And he's right. If you've ever donated blood, the blood could be in someone's bone <coughs> right now. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I'll stop. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I crossed the line. <laughs> I crossed the, the, the freaking line. <sighs> Give me a minute, everyone. Uh, I'm not wrong. <laughs> the skeleton said it, not me. Hi, uh, I'm sorry, that was a little too much info. <laughs> oh no, I added it to quotes. Oh. Uh. Oh. In quote. Ow. Oh no! It's over. Your whole your whole no! career's done. Ow. No. Ow. I'll I'll never be able to sleep at night for a week. <laughs> I'm gonna look at you. You didn't earn that. <laughs> That also means they needed help getting it up! <laughs> oh god. Uh. <laughs> Skeletor says. Skeletor needs to shut the frick up! <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I'll stop. I'll stop. Not you. Everyone's throwing jiggies at me. You keep going. Okay. Skeletor says... Uh -uh. This, is actually, this is actually really bad. Yeah. Uh, but it's kind of true. Okay. <laughs> uh, your butt has excreted all three forms of matter. <laughs> Which is a solid a liquid and a gas. <laughs> I'm 
try to find the good ones here. I'm going to play puzzle game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here's a funny one. Uh-huh. Nothing spells backwards still spells nothing. Wait. No. <laughs> <laughs> I hate Skeletor. <laughs> I hate him. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> well, he wanted to go to heaven, but God said, Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here's one of my favorite ones. The reason dogs love squeaky toys is because it sounds like the tiny animal is dying. <laughs> I just unlocked the last area of the game. So all I need to do now is just skip over everything else, beat the final boss, and throw this game in the dumpster so I never have to think of this ever again. <laughs> Finish. Wheel. You're not completely useless. You can always serve as a bad example. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. What do you mean, 10? Freaking <laughs> Jiggy Wiggy Challenge number 10. I need a shower, like a long, long shower. You're gonna hate me when I say this. A long, long shower, everyone. One that'll, like, make your water bill look like, what the heck happened? All the dogs you saw in childhood are dead now. Oh my god. <sighs> this one's good. The last kid to leave the school bus knows where everyone lives. <laughs> so we're we're going to be rating somebody named Orange is Born for the record, everyone. Orange is Born. <laughs> Today's stream has been great. I'm just letting Trixie finish out. You got one more for us? Do you got one more? I think I got one. Hang on. Okay, let's let's get one more, everyone. Okay, we, that one isn't... For the record, everybody, I'll, I'll be playing Cult of the Lamb tomorrow. We're going to be rating somebody who's playing Mario 64 right now. They got a really cool model. <laughs> um... You only got so much time. I know, I know. I'm trying to find the good ones. The ones I'm looking at are always bad. Um... Uh... 
Okay. Most people won't swim in a pool with a dead body in it, but are perfectly comfortable swimming in the ocean, which has an untold number of them. I'm going to drink. <laughs> uh, thank you, everybody, for listening to Skeletor quotes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh... Zatch! Yo, thank you so much for that raid. Can I get a shout out for them, please? Nice to meet you. Hi, everyone. Banjo Tooie! I need to play Banjo. I have raided. I know you've raided. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's I really can't you don't really grind my gear. You're following orange and far range on 